Hey, hello, hi babies, hi babies, hi my starlings. I'm sorry, waifu. I had you. I you were silenced. You were in the no talkie zone. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Welcome in, welcome in. I forgot to disable Evo only mode and subscriber only mode. I'm so sorry. But well, welcome in, welcome in. Hi waifu. Thank you for the first. You waifu got first, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi waifu, hi waifu, and hi Mimi. Hi my beautiful angel. How are you? But don't scream at me. I'm sorry. You can talk now. You can talk. You don't have to use emotes. <laughs> You can talk now, I promise. You don't have to speak in emotes only. <laughs> you got first 30 seconds in? Really? Nobody else was here? Damn. Damn, you didn't even have to swipe it. You didn't even have to snipe it. Okay, fine. Continue talking in emotes. Fine. Fine. Hm. I will talk in emotes too then. How about that? <laughs> Just kidding, I can. I'm the streamer. I must talk. <laughs> Mimi, how are you doing? How are you doing, Angel? I saw Callan. Hi, Callan. Welcome in. Welcome in. All right, come here then. Oh. Ah, thank you. <laughs> now that's a good email to you. That I like that one. I like that one. No, Mimi, no. Mimi, come here. No. I give up. I give up. I give up. I give hug and kiss. I give you all my love. Caleb's on his way. Yay! A lot of work stress. Ah. Severe neck tension? Oh no, that's not good. Time to do some stretches. You should do some yoga, Mimi. That looks good for you. I love you. I love you. My day's okay. I am EP. My head hurts. We're supposed to get a freaking severe thunderstorm. That's why I've had so many migraines. <sighs> but the thing is, the thing is, like, I, I freaking 
I get it gets really bad when it's like on the way and like once it's actually raining and storming I'm fine but like it's the buildup that is really bad and then like so when it like doesn't rain the migraine just fucking continues and it won't go away so it's like I want it to fucking rain but it won't rain ah evil <laughs> mother nature is evil <laughs> I hope you're doing okay, wife. I hope you're doing okay. Wow. I know, I know. Literally, please just rain. Please just rain. I'm begging. <laughs> I'm freaking dying at, at Abyss imagining me going wah all the time. <laughs> Should they make a sound alert of me, me just going wah? And you guys can just redeem it all the time. <laughs> Do I really say it that often? Enough that it got stuck in Abyss's head? Really? I, d I don't even realize I'm doing it. Yeah, like a like a channel point sound alert. Wow. <laughs> I thought I only did it when I was changing scenes. Oh my guys. Oh my, oh my guys. Oh my god. I can't even talk. This, the new stinger is done. Yeah. Okay. Can't wait for the end, Callan. I'm hyped too. I'm hyped too. I'm doing genuinely great. Yay! I am experiencing a numbing rage that consumes my entire being. What happened? What happened, wife? Tell me everything. Spence! Hi, Spence to me! Are you still at work? But welcome me, welcome me. You are. I hope you have an amazing stream. Mwah, I love you. Thank you. Started adding audio commands like Matt does and they crack me up. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, like, oh, I see what you mean. Oh, we could do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow I'll be in Washington to go look at apartments. Oh, Callan, that's so exciting. Whoa! Yippee! You'll be visiting. Are you just going for like the day? Oh my god, me, Callan, and Mimi hanging out? Go for a lunch date? Oh. Of course you can send me something by food. Uh, you wanna add like privately? Do you wanna add me as a friend on Discord, or do you want to just send it in the Discord, or what? <clears throat> okay, you might have to send me a friend request, Waifu. Um, I plans at 7 a.m. tomorrow. I leave Washington Sunday at 7 a.m. So 24 hours, no sleep. Oh, oh, for no sleep, surely you can take a little nappy nap at some point. A little power nap, surely. Surely. Or maybe you can send it on Whispers on Twitch. Something, something will work. Is this Mimi? I promote. And no sleep. Yeah, what the heck? <clears throat> Cal doesn't need sleep. The job just mailed me and said we did an oopsie and gave you the new higher rate. You should get the experienced higher rate. Oh! So you're getting even more than you expected? Yo! <laughs> What a wonderful surprise! Uh, heck yeah! Let's fucking go! Kellen! Let's go! Let's go, Kellen! Okay, let, let me send it, waifu. Let me send it. I thought- I thought others could send it. Um send me a friend request but 
I guess not. Where are you? There you are. Okay, I sent you one. Yeah, you deserve it! You work so hard! That's so exciting! Let's freaking go! Oh my god, that's awesome! I'm so excited for you! That is so cool! Oh! What is that? Oh boy. Someone got in a big boo boo. <laughs> Long story short, my boss destroyed my trunk, being the dumbest and not taking my. Your boss did that? Oh, so he's buying you a new car, right? Your boss is an absolute piece of work. I'm gonna go over there and talk to him. I'm gonna send him a strongly worded letter. There's a huge dent in Waifu's trunk. Of the of the their car. Oh, you just need a new trunk. Okay, so it's not like intern it's not internally damaged from that. That's good. It better not be. Make sure you get it inspected and make sure it's not internally damaged from that because that could like ruin your integrity of your whole car if that happens. Something like that can happen. That's what happened when my car got freaking trashed. Like it couldn't be fixed because the the integrity of the car like frame was damaged. <clears throat> I want to send Sky a cutely worded letter. Please do anytime, anytime. I love to woo. It's not okay. 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 Just need to report the supports of the. Show. Okay. 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 That's good. That's good. I just want to make sure you're 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 good and you're covered. Okay, but still, what an ass. Frick! Uh, I'm still sending him a strongly worded letter. It's not gonna be as intense, but it's still gonna be strongly worded. <laughs> what the frick? We ride at dawn! We're going! We're just gonna talk. <laughs> I just wanna talk. Okay? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna share this thing that Mimi was talking to me about. Really quick. I'm gonna pin it. I tell you for sure that tonight will be different. I promise you'll understand. As the moon rises, the dark sets upon us, and then I will take your hand. I didn't even know this was happening. Tell you that I want you, and that I need you. Apart! Thank you! I will tell you that I want you, and that I need you. Make me the happiest man. We're voting. Voting. You can me. <clears throat> can I nominate myself? <laughs> Is that fucked up? <laughs> oh, here's my. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. Let me redo it. Okay, pin that one. Don't forget my underscore. It's dangerous to go alone. Mod of the year? I don't know, Mimi's email. <laughs> Hands and heart. Streaming is much more than video games? No, it's not. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Music. No. Patterbox. Community first award. It's weird that you need their email. Spidey sense. Embraces the horror genre. Guys, I pulled not one, not two, not three, but four hairs as long as my entire length of my hair that were completely gray out of my head yesterday. So no more horror games for a while. <laughs> I think they're getting to me. I think they're getting to me. <laughs> it, it, it expedited the fucking growth of my gray hairs. Holy. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's a register thing, so you might be able to spam entries if you want. Since I redid mine, no problem. Ayo! We might do that for a while. <clears throat> if I can find some other people's emails, like I'd like to nominate some other people, but I'd have to find their emails. Like I'd have to go to their Twitch page and find their emails, their contact emails. <clears throat> Mine's pretty... you can see mine pretty easily in my about, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. Uh... Shit, I thought it was here. Business contact. It must be in there somewhere because pe places have been contacting me. I just don't know where. Now it's easier to find. It's right there. Here we go. Okay, cool. Voted for you and hi, Jules, because that's how I found the award thing. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I didn't hear about this at all. <clears throat> huh. BIPOC. I've never even heard of them. What the heck? <sighs> what is sleepy? <clears throat> I was bitching at him for hours. He paid me extra to replace everything. He's damn right. <gasps> Yo! Good morning! Let's go! Hello, everybody! Hello, hello, hello! Hi, 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 hi! Hi, Kybeer! Yo, yo, we are, yo, yo! Followers, follow! Ch chill, 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 chill! Yo, chill, chill! You guys, you're being too nice! What the heck? Nobody even freaking said anything and you're just all following! Hello? <laughs> it's never happened before! You've been told to call me stinky? Get out. Literally get out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hi, Kyberian. Hi, welcome in. Welcome in. Hi, Raiders. Hello, hello. My name is Sky. I'm the Cat Moon Goddess VTuber. I'm not stinky. By the way, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Whoa, what the heck? What the heck? Hello. Back to back double raid. Oh my god, says, wait, is this who you were streaming with? You were doing a collab, weren't you? Ah! I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out. I'm gonna freak out. Okay, stinky. No! <laughs> oh, hello, 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 hello. Hi, friends. Hi, 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 h
Hello! Let me say hi to everybody. Holy sheesh, Kiberian. It's so nice to see you again. How are you doing? We were here too. Yeah, you were doing it. You were doing a collab. Yes. Dirt Wailing Otter. Is that how you say your username? I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm gonna call you Dirt. That's so cute. Um, welcome in. How are you? Uh, Rika, welcome in. How are you? Don't call me stinky, please, unless I have the stinky uh, sticky note on my head, okay? Please. I'm not stinky, I promise you. Thank you for the hydrate. I'm gonna do that really quick. Hi, Via! Hi, welcome in! And Bella, it's so nice to meet you. Hi, welcome in. Thank you for the raid as well. It's so sweet that you both raided me. Thank you. Scott, you're being too nice. Also, Scott, get out! <laughs> <laughs> Get out! <laughs> hello, hello! Welcome in! You're doing called. How did the game go? You're very cute, thank you! Can we do the thing but again? Wait, what thing? Stinky yet cute? Yeah. Sure. Sure. You pulling for Stinky? Don't you dare. Idiot and 100% booba and 0% brain. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll even take my coat off for you so there's extra booba. <laughs> 70 percent stinky! Ah! Not, not fair. Not fair! Not fair! <laughs> we made it through. It was interesting. Did you have a fun time though? Did you have fun? That's what's most important. I hope you had fun! Thank you, thank you for all the follows and thank you um, for the raid. Thank you so much, it's so kind! Uh, no, the Christmas music! There's too much happening. Okay. No, I'm not thinking! Now, I promise, Nightbot's a liar! Nightbot's a liar! Night all that Nightbot does is lie! <laughs> You're just a little EPVL! Oh, welcome new starlings. Welcome, welcome. It's so nice to have you. Welcome, welcome to the starlings. Um, I am, I am debuting this year. I like to announce this because, um, because I'm very, very excited for it. There's so much cool stuff happening. Um, this is a customizable model. I'm, I'm debuting with my first ever original model. Um, and, uh, I'm very, very excited for it. There's going to be, um, a mascot. Uh, reveal there's gonna be a lore video there's gonna be um, a bunch of toggles and um, a bunch of hairstyles and outfits and uh, new overlays new emotes uh, new everything so I'm very very excited and I hope you'll you'll be able to come see um, the new model when it's all ready and everything's all ready wow, wow, wow. So excited! So excited! I hope you guys had fun. Um, let me give um, let me give Bella this other shout out so I can easily give you a follow without having to open another tab because my computer hates that. Who hates when I open tabs? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I got you follow. We're all set. We're all set. So many one new wonderful things in store. Mimi herself is working on one of them. Ah! Who did that? Kiberian, I hate you. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kiberian loves doing that, and now I guess you have more points to do it. We're not even playing a scary game today. Well, we kind of are. We kind of are. <laughs> We're. Ho I'm hoping to do to 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 finish. Uh, a long sh a lo um, oh my god i'm too flustered now i can't even talk <laughs> i'm hoping to do a long stream to finish this game today and um i really want to so please go please go follow um my my friends um Kiberian and bella and um yes I would, I would. I, one time, Kiberian told me that I was the one that inspired him to make a VTuber model, and ah, ah, that's special. That's special, guys. So please go, please go follow them, and also be friends with them because they're pretty cool people. Because if Bella's friends with Kiberian, I like Kiberian. He's pretty cool, and if Bella's friends with him, then that's cool. So she's definitely cool too. Um, so you already do. Well, that makes you extra cool. So you're already cooler than me. So. You win, Pikachu, you win. <laughs> also, Pikachu Myers, I'm imagining Pikachu dressed up as Mike Myers for Halloween, and it's a really funny image for, to me. <laughs> a 
imagine a Pikachu with like a Mike Myers mask on. He's just running around going Pika 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 Pika, like trying to sing the Mike Myers song. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Perfect. <laughs> I love that. I love that so much. Oh, I love it. We were um, we were playing Bloodborne um, on Wednesday for the ninth anniversary, and we part of the part of the ninth anniversary thing is the community is doing like a special thing where you just like summon as many people as you can and like just have a good time with it, right? And we, someone, someone got summoned, and their name was what? Wait, what was it? Obi Wan Benoli. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I fucking lost it. I'm trying to like beat the hell out of Gascoigne. <laughs> just seeing, just seeing the username had me up fucking almost out of my chair on the floor, losing it. Dude. <laughs> So good. <laughs> Chai! Chai's here. Hi, Chai. How are you, honey? Welcome in. Welcome in. How are you? How are you? I hope it's doing well, honey. How are you? It's so good to see you. How is Soma? God, I love that game. I love that game. So good. <clears throat> Warm and cozy energy. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but also Kyberian and Bella, if you need to go G stream, eat, drink, sleep, eat, drink, sleep, anything like that, um, please go and take care of yourselves first and Raiders as well. If you have to go, um, that is okay. If you're here to stay, um, I hope you enjoy your time here. And um, if not, enjoy your evening, enjoy your daytime, whatever time zone you're in. And uh, I love you. And take care of yourselves. Uh, I hope to see you again very soon. Mwah, mwah, mwah. This isn't how you all around. Doing all right? I'll bundle up and cozy in the thick cardigan. Let's go. Let's go. I'm I'm warm today. Like, I I don't know. I don't know what it is, but my nose and my feet are always very, very cold. I don't have great circulation, I guess. I don't know. And then, and then the rest of my body is always, like, freaking hot. I need help. Oh, my God. So I was going great. I was gonna stream it last night, but I had no energy. Ugh. And also, apparently, I can't stream more than two or three nights in a row without needing a day in between. Oh yeah, I need. I, that's why I stream like every other day because I need the break in between for sure. <clears throat> I've also been so into Final Fantasy Remake. Nice. Are you in the? Are you in the first part or like the rebirth part that just came out recently? I haven't touched it at all yet. I want to. But... <clears throat> My hands are always cold. So are my feet. My circulation is great. It's always my feet and my nose. My hands are okay. First part, nice. Itchy. <laughs> my nose is always cold. <laughs> it's like borderline, like that. Like I borderline look like a freaking clown because it like gets red. I'm so cold. I look like freaking Rudolph. <laughs> I'm like, what is- why? <laughs> so chilly! Keep it out. The like cold. Heck. <sighs> so good. Literally just think of Matt's name for everyone whenever I see uh, someone play it. Oh, because he played the original, right? Hi, Aslana. It's not a 24-hour stream. It's not a 24-hour stream. Cloud butt. Rudolph the Red Nuts Kitty. Yeah, I've always been like that, though. Whenever it's chilly outside, my nose just gets, like, bright red. I didn't see much of his playthrough. What was he doing? Was it last night? What was he doing last night? I was... I had a, such a bad migraine. <sighs> it's not a 48 hour stream. <laughs> Talking about his band reunion. Oh, that's nice. Playing live again for the first time in a while. Oh, that's fun. I wish I could have been there. <clears throat> I saw something about Chrono Trigger and then.
I saw he was like just chatting. I also. Oh, sorry. I also think of Julia's uh, reaction to Cloud's attractiveness. I'm also excitedly messaging her as they play as well. Nice. You think you're finishing this? I am. I have an energy drink. This is so fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna start right now. I'm gonna open the game right now. No more poppy playtime. Thank fucking Christ for that. You eating? Then I get to you work on your drafts. Yippee! I love you. I know it's been incredible. Do we have sound? No, we don't. So I need to do this and then do this. There we go. Pause. 48% only 48 uh -uh. No -uh. Whoa, okay. I guess Mimi's spicy today Make sure you draw those booba first <laughs> Feel only 31 whoa only 31 It's because I'm here 26 could be what what I was on a 75 spice Whoa. Well <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're way over here. We got okay. I remember. I just finished watching the bot. Uh, the the bod. The vod. Ninety four percent. Yo, you guys are spicy today. Forty two. Wow. That's what spiced me. Fifty six mid spice for wife and mid spice. So this, I remember, when this is cracked, does that mean it's unfinished? So I remember I have to go see, I have to go see this fucking creep, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't fucking trust him. I don't want to go see him. Until we maybe talk to the detectives. No, he's fu he, honest, he scares me, I don't like him. <clears throat> um... So I think we're gonna go here first, and then here, and then maybe back here. What do you mean I only have the first three chapters unlocked? Helen said I would do it in like two more streams, so I'm doing like two streams worth today, like eight hours. <clears throat> You're cracked? Thank you, I know I am. Uh, must use up all my spiciness in the Outer Wild stream at the start of the week. Let's just say there was a lot of joking and innuendos about whole a hey, yo. <laughs> at the Shiri, uh, Shiraishi house, or home, I should say. It's uh, more of a house. Uh, Tatsumi and Ariel learned the truth about many things. Um, yep, including the death of Iwa. They hurried to the high school after learning that Michio, um, knew the whereabouts of Nejima's hideout. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and I think maybe Sandy said something about Machio possibly possessing Yako, but I'm also wondering, like, wouldn't Mio be picking up on that if that were true? But while I was watching the VOD, I feel like she kind of was, but she wasn't, she wasn't saying it out loud. Because there was one point right before we ended stream where Mio said, Something about where Yako went to leave flowers for Machio. And she said, the day that we did the spirit board, did you go there? And she said, Yako said, yeah, I went before I went to school. And Mio said, did you feel anything different? And Yako just casually was like, yeah, I like passed out for a second, but then I woke up. 
<laughs> and Mio's like, oh, okay, that's all I wanted to know. And I'm like, is that her, like, fishing for information? If she was, like, if she, like, got possessed or something? <clears throat> yeah, Yako just, like, casually being like, yeah, like, whatever. I just, like, passed out. <laughs> like, totally normal to happen randomly when I go to my friend's site of death. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> So maybe she is possessed and Mio is just kind of fishing for information right now rather than going right ahead with an exorcism because maybe being possessed by Michio might be helpful with everything going on. I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, yeah, there's... Might be here, actually. Yeah, now Yako's saying he's seeing flashbacks. You're in the driver's seat. And she's like zoning out and stuff. So I think Namigaki. I think he was driving and she was beside him and they hit Michio. Michio. Why? Maybe it was an accident. I don't think it was on purpose because the spirit board said it was an accident. But the detectives were also saying to hit her at that speed they wouldn't like there were no um there were no skin marks or like brake lines so like why wouldn't they break unless it was on purpose i shouldn't work <laughs> um so oh see here that day i suddenly felt like i had it ended up passing out for a bit and she said that's all i was wondering about did you seem did anything seem different that day Yeah, so that was interesting. So she might be possessed, maybe? I don't know, I'm unclear, I'm unclear. Hi, Abyss, hi, welcome in. You gonna eat the car? Oh, Machio's gonna eat the car, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boss, I just talked to the Samita police. Oh, what now? They found an abandoned van in the Chiba Mountains. <gasps> that looked like it'd been in an accident. They couldn't lift any fingerprints from it, but they found blood splatters on the front. Yo. I guess what? The blood is a perfect match to Machio's. They didn't even try to clean it off. Brother. Oh, ho. So it must have been the van that hit Machio. You got it. It's all thanks to Yoshimi that we were able to find that out. The license plate had been removed, though, and they even scraped off the vehicle identification number. It'll take a while to identify the owner. Now they're trying to figure out if the van was sighted anywhere between the scene of the crime and where it was dumped. Got it. Thanks for the report. Cool, 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 cool. We got some more information. <clears throat> Speaking of a new window, I was chatting with another streamer earlier this week who's planning to come to New Zealand uh, for a holiday and they were how cold it was. And I was like, only on the ass end of the South Island. I live on the ass. <laughs> I live on the ass. <laughs> Is it nice and squishy? <clears throat> Abyss baby. Hope you're well. Aww. That puddle of blood? That's for future me to worry about, really. He still doesn't look tired after all this running around. Wish I still had all that stamina. Hey, yo. It's nice that we got permission to use the school as our base of operations. I'm just gonna crack this. Can't open. Ah. Doing well. Hopefully, you had a great Friday, Mimi. Aww, you're just so cute. Principal and head teacher were a little reluctant at first, but they were convinced that it helped the investigation. Dealing with all this must be a real headache for those guys. I should thank them again later. Are there any stickers around? Oh! Oh, fabuloso. It's a duck! Mwah, Mimi. Drawing booba. I mean, what? Drawing my booba specifically. <laughs> else to check out here okay let's talk oh let's think first i guess we can still rule out the possibility that Mishio did commit suicide she was so young and all the adults in her life uh did was push her around yeah. orc slayer streamer getting mocked by birds i'ma eat them I'm, i am a kitty after all sky booba even better mm -hmm. oh respectfully <laughs> Achievement for five bird stickers, yeah! Burb, burb, burb! I'll the burbs. 
I want them all. There was one in the there was one in the cafe we went to, but I couldn't freaking grab it. Uh, it wouldn't let me. Yeah, <laughs> By the way, boss, we've confirmed that Michio died in a vehicular collision. But are we sure that it really that it was really an accident? That's what I'm saying. Are we sure? Good question. I was wondering the same thing. The damage done by the collision indicates that the driver was traveling at a considerable speed, but there were no brake marks to be found. That's what I'm saying, bro. Exactly, which suggests they may have been intentionally targeting Machio. Then what was the motive, you think? Who would have a reason to kill Machio? So how are they connected to... Yeah, how are they connected to them? The first person that comes to mind was Kankichiro Iwa after all she knew about his crimes. But then Iwa was supposedly able to control Machio by intimidation alone. Then there's also that teacher who was taking advantage of Machio, Kohai... Or Ko... Kohi? Koha... Whatever. Junoshi. Um, but to say he killed her to stop people from finding out that he was blackmailing her doesn't seem likely somehow. Right. Though both of them have fallen prey to her curse. That's true, in that case. It's quite possible she'll also decide to exact revenge on the person who ran her over. Not just possible, she may have already done it last night, just like with EY. Is there anything else that could have served as a motive? That talisman, maybe? The one Yoshimi was looking for? Oh, do you think someone wanted to take it from her? Well, that talisman wasn't found on her remains, nor in her house. Hmm, but doesn't a hit and run seem like too drastic a measure to go for a little talisman? Then, in the end, it might have just been an unfortunate accident after all. Don't eat her talisman! It's obviously special to her! Yeah, it looks that way. Hmm. Either way, what we need now is a testimony from Machio herself. With a bit of luck, we may be able to ask her what happened during the crash ourselves. Oh no. Mio's gonna like bring out Machio out of Yako. It's gonna be all creepy. Oh dear. I can't wrap my head around that particular uh, development. I still have my doubts that it'll be so easy. Either way, we won't be able to do this unless Mio and Yako turn up. I'd rather have him come sooner rather than later, but I guess we just have to wait. Shall we head inside? All right then. All right, let's go wait inside the school. We're literally on the way. I'm sure they'll be here any moment. Yeah, I don't want to go see that freak until we see the detectives. <clears throat> oh, look at this little picture. The Record of Fate's Yin Scroll may contain a way to put a stop to the curse. Yako and Mio head back to Komagata High School to share this information with Tsutsumi. 1 p.m. Ah, <sighs> oh no, you got 10 star bits. Let's go. Ain't that interesting. The record of Fate's Yin Scroll, huh? Very interesting. Well done, you two. That's some good info you got from that teacher. Thank you. Good job, boss. Operation Schoolgirl was a success. Excuse me? Ariel, stop making things sound weird. <laughs> anyway, let's share what we found at Michio... Uh, Shira Ishii's house. Yes, please. Oh, no. Don't t Oh, my God. Why would you tell schoolgirls that information? Hopefully, they didn't tell them everything. Yes, the man named EY kidnapped sacrifices for black magic. Okay. And Michio helped with the kid. Okay, they're telling them everything. And Mr. Junoshi used that to blackmail. Okay. They're telling them everything. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're done. You're done. You're all done. You're done, detectives. Why would you tell high schoolers all that shit? <laughs> Literally everything. Oh my god. Did you tell him he's also obsessed with fucking a serial killer and everything? Oh my god. I can't, dude. I can't. Flair! Hi, Flair! Welcome in! I'm gay. I'm just a baby. And an, an idiot. Oh, dear. That's too bad. <laughs> and a loser! I'm an idiot loser. Oh, dear. Aww. Hello! Just a few little tidbits. <laughs> the most important and gruesome ones. <laughs> you know. Two good ones, two not so good ones. It evens out. Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you doing? Okay, about Machio. Based on the report and looking at the circumstances surrounding the deaths of Junochi and Iwa, uh, if Machio did it, it would make sense. Furthermore, there are signs that Machio 
uh, wanted someone to notice. Huh? Really? The ribbon that was left at the scene of Kohei's death is proof of that. Who- wait, who's Kohei? Wait, I'm perplexed. Huh? Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, sometimes they use their last name, sometimes they use their first name. I'm like, huh? Who? <laughs> Three star bits flare, let's go! Mio, I'm guessing you knew that already. Ah, yes, ever since this morning. But there's one piece of information I need. But I think we're near her limit. <gasps> she knows. She knows! She definitely knows. Yep. Ooh. Sometimes you are called YZ. <laughs> oh, shit. That look is kind of creepy. Um, about the record of Fate's Yin Scroll. So if we get this record of Fate's Yin Scroll, we'll be able to dispel the curse? Yes, the source of this curse is a tragic event called the Honjo Incident that dates back to the Edo period. An Omnyoji named Simon, big word, um, is said to have recorded a way to deal with the curse. So I think there may be a way to dispel the curse. Right, I'll leave how to approach this to you, Mio. I'll check with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau as well, but please make findings. Please make finding the record of Faceian's rule your top priority. Understood. Oh, shit. Not my meds falling all over the place. I need those, man. I went AFK for one minute and streamer turned into a gay baby loser idiot. That's what happens. <laughs> Yin scroll is in here. No, I need it, Aslano. I need it. Please, Gib. Please, Gib. But how do we go about looking for it? It's possible the descendants of Seaman have inherited it, but I don't think we're aware of its existence. Of course, it's in the Edo period. <laughs> when in doubt, blame the Edo period. So much happened in the Edo period, dude. How many mysteries have we solved so far? Uh, I mean, a lot, but there's still some questions. <laughs> It'd be nice if we have a clan crest or something to go off of. Maybe we'll have to ask the paranormal affairs. Western black magic. That reminds me, Mio. Was the Western black magic used by Iwa and Najima really just an imitation? Huh? Why are you asking me? Oh, uh, boss said that you knew about this sort of thing. Do, do you not? Um, well, I mean, I have some knowledge, but... How strange. I don't think I've ever told anyone that. It's okay, Mio. No one's judging you. Right, but it still feels a little weird. What? Why would they know? So what's your opinion on it as someone familiar with Western black magic? She literally just said she's not really familiar. Hmm, if I could have a look at their grimoire, I could be sure, but... Based on their methods, I'd say they imitated black magic popular around 300 years ago. I don't think it's that they knew. Oh, they just kind of, like, assumed? <clears throat> it was advertised as magic anyone could use and was employed as camouflage to evade witch hunters. It's notable because they purposely required living sacrifices to make it difficult to disprove its authentic... Authentic... Authenticity! I did it. Stereotyping her? Yeah, maybe that's why she got uncomfortable. Wow, you know so much! I'm impressed! It totally matches with the vibe you've got going on. What do you mean by that? It's, uh, yeah, they are stereotyping her! That's not very nice! Don't worry! Have some confidence! <laughs> um, right. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> if that black magic is just an imitation, then we probably don't have to worry about it. I'm just glad things aren't getting even more confusing than they already are. What do you mean you don't have to worry about it? How many people have fucking died already because of this black magic imitation? Hmm? How many? How many, huh? You have a serial killer on your hands? Plus this EY guy who killed a fucking like nine year old? How many more need to die over the imitation? Jesus. About the mastermind. Oh, right. About the mastermind. I had an idea. Huh? What is it? This is about the chairwoman of Hihaku Soaps, isn't it? You mentioned her when you were telling us about that EY person. Yep. Whether the goal is to restore youth or to resurrect someone, she's got her hands all over this. She has money, too. It would also match Hideki Araishi's account of that woman's voice. Of a woman's voice. An evil business lady with supernatural power is a classic setting. If only we could confirm those powers of hers were actually real. We'll need to keep an eye on her. Um, I'll tell HQ to look into her. 
Now then, if we're nearing the limit, I'll stop beating around the bush. Time to tell it to you straight. Yako Sakazaki. They all know? Wait, they all know? No way. Just did a nomination for you. Thank you, Chai. I really appreciate it. Hello, Mali! Hello! How are you? Guys, Mali is my model mama. Go give her all the love. Please, please, please. How are you, Mali? Ah! Oh, what? Me? Yes? Take out your curse stone and give it to me. Oh, boy. Oh, no. You are good. It's all good to see you. My curse stone? It's just been in my pocket all this time. Thanks. I'm just going to bore it for a second. Well? Yes. There are soul drags inside after all. <gasps> That was too big of a breath. I'm <laughs> choking. Choking. You're rigging another model already? No way. Another sister or brother for me? So she definitely killed... <clears throat> she definitely killed Jinochi and Iwa. I get no bricks. <laughs> you certainly don't. I'm fast as fuck, boy! You already- did you draw it as well, or did somebody else draw it? How did this happen? I didn't do anything, I swear you have to believe me! It's okay, we know. You draw- what? Mally! Jesus Christ! Giga rigger, giga drawer, giga everything. Yako, calm down and listen to what I'm about to tell you. But- There's no mistake that Jinochi and Iwa were killed by that curse stone. But the one who committed the act is... Michio. The ghost of Michio Shir Shiraishi that is inside of you. Grass. Yako Sakazai. What? What? Inside me? What? What do you mean? Okay, Yako. Please calm down and listen. You've been possessed, Yako. Oh, shit. By Michio's ghost. Oh my god. The hand. What? It's probably happened when you were offering flowers at the site of the accident. Filled with regret, her lingering ghost reacted to the presence of her old friend and entered you, Yako. Don't anime pose at me, woman! <laughs> no way! You mean Machio's ghost is inside me? I've explained this once before, but just because you've been possessed doesn't mean that you lose control of yourself. Normally, the mind will reject such attempts, and it do nothing more than affect one's mood or energy levels. But Michio had powerful spirit sense to begin with. And because she was your friend, your mind was open to accepting Michio's spirit. So for those reasons, your minds merged without any issue. It's going to be difficult to separate her from you at this point. Which also means it will be difficult to guide her spirit to the afterlife. No way, we've merged? Me and Michio's minds are... But I don't feel different at all. I mean, I'm me, I think. That's because after she merged with you, Michio started to believe she was you as well. As a ghost possessing you, she's not fully conscious, only really a jumble of vague memories. Still, there are traces of her consciousness and memories as Michio Shiraishi. You have been acting a little different from usual. You would also sometimes react when coming into contact with things with a powerful influence. Really? That having been said, if we don't have a proper understanding of the regrets Michio had when she died and why, it would be difficult to separate her from you. That's why I didn't say anything. I'm sorry. If I carelessly provoked the ghost, her ghost, it would have risked causing her to dig even deeper into your mind. Oh no. Chai, thank you. When you mentioned limits earlier, we mean that by letting things proceed like this, there's a possibility that you will join completely, making it impossible to separate her ghost from you. If that happens, you'll never be able to tell which of your thoughts belong to her and which belong to you. What? That's so scary. You mean I won't be myself anymore? Oh, but if it's Michio, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad? Oh, I don't know. What should I do? But... It was actually Michio who used the curse stone while I was unaware, wasn't it? Doesn't that mean her ghost has already taken over my body? Well, about that. 
I think that's probably the effect of the curse amplifying murderous impulses and the influence of the Feast of Shadows. While you were sleeping, the ghost's power was were boosted. And strengthened by the feast, Machio's consciousness surfaced and took control of your body. That's... And that means... I was the one who killed them. I cursed them both. Oh god, no, it's okay, Yako! Yako, no, you were being controlled. Right, Inspector? Yeah, that's right. It's likely she's she'd be recognized as not being responsible for the crime due to the possession. It's not something you can control. No need to worry about that. No, you're wrong. I wanted to kill them too. Those feelings must have come out. It's not only Machio's fault. I mean, when I learned that Machio didn't commit suicide, I wished that all the cruel adults around me would just die. I had the cursed one with me and I wanted to get revenge for Machio if the chance came. That's how I felt. Yako, because, because Michio wasn't able to escape her terrible situation. It was so hard, it wouldn't be unusual for someone to take their own life. And I, I had this curse stone. I made Michio get revenge all by herself. Michio tried so hard to keep on living in silence, and I treated those feelings like they were worthless. I should have done it myself right away. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, Michio. That's why I killed them. Echo. Oh. Here you are. Oh, hi, Michio. What's up with you? You had me worried sick since you haven't been coming to school lately. It feels like it's been forever. I'm glad you seem to be doing good. Yeah, sorry. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you why. I've always regretted it. Oh, come on. You're acting like we aren't buds. You tell me if anyone is making you sad and I'll take care of them. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Yako. Actually, I'm here because there's something I wanted to tell you. Really? What's the matter? You can tell me anything? <gasps> Hi! What? Thank you for paying forward your sub. I appreciate it. And we hit our monthly goal. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And to useful. Yay! I love useful. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're so kind. I appreciate it. Mwah! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, the truth is, I did something unforgivable to an innocent man. Saying that I was forced to and didn't have a choice doesn't undo it. I'm sorry, I feel so guilty. Oh, to the little boy. What? I've done so much I can't take back, all because I was weak. There's no escaping the hell that I've created for myself. I couldn't handle it anymore. I started thinking about killing him and dying myself. Neither of us deserve to live in this world anymore. What? It, but something went wrong, and that's why I died with regrets. Oh, this is like a- this is- no, this is not the past. This is something different. <clears throat> a little Easter weekend love. Thank you! I really appreciate it. But thanks to you, I finished what I wanted to do. Thank you, and I'm sorry for dragging you into this. What? Wait, you don't need to apologize. It's only now that I realize. And I know how selfish it is. But I hope you remember the time we spent together as friends. And how we were able to be together at the end. Please don't forget me. Huh? No, Machio, wait! What is going on? being exercised right now? Hmm. Oh, I think so. Huh? You're awake? Do you feel okay? I'm sorry I had to spring that all on you, Yaku. What? Is this- are we in the classroom? Huh? Was I dreaming? I'm sorry to rush this along while you're still gathering your feelings, but we need to hear what Machio has to say now. Right. So- 
And so, after considering what to do... Is it true that Machio's consciousness has mixed with yours? Wait, is that what she said? Did I read that right? It is true that Machio's consciousness has mixed with yours. Okay. But if I summoned her ghost, we may be able to establish some con communication. Oh, I understand. So you thought to use the spirit board again? Yep, I have a hunch. I think the spirit we called last time may have actually been Machio herself. Really, you think? And that her spirit has been close to you ever since then. Then let's do it. I think we should. And I want to hear from her. Very well. I have no idea if this will work during daytime, but let's give it a try. You ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Do you remember how to do it? Place your finger on the 10 yen coin. Right, like this. Good, now do as I do. O Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. O Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Please tell us if you are there. Here. Now, is it the spirit of Machio? Yako, would you ask the spirit? All right. <clears throat> Gonna drop a lurk as I try to work on a cover letter for this graduate wool I really want. Awesome, Chai! Good luck! I believe in you. Thank you for the lurky. It's much, much, much appreciated. And um, good luck with your with your um, cover letter. And good luck with the, the submission and everything. I believe in you. Are you Machio Shiraishi? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. Are you the spirit of Machio? Right? Ah, said yes. Don't be so sure. Some spirits like to play tricks. Can you try asking it a question only Machio would know the answer to? <laughs> Imagine it says no. And no, bitch. <laughs> no. B. I. T. <laughs> a question only Machio would know the answer to. Let's see then. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. How much did the ribbon I bought with Machio cost? Four. Nine. Zero. Four ninety yen. That's right. Well, it seems you have the right spirit. Okay, can I have you ask her a question? Okay, what do you want me to ask her? I want you to ask her the location of the Fumichika Najima's hideout and the location of the talisman as well. Okay. Where is the where is Najima's hideout? Oh, oh specter of the spirit board. Please tell me the location of Najima's hideout. Please, terrible things will happen if he isn't captured soon. I'm sure it's painful to try and remember. But you're the only one who can help us, Michio. Please. It moved. This is it. An address. She's giving us an address. Amazing. Thank you, Michio. Okay, I have the address. Thank you. Alright, Ariel. Get a move on and check out that address. Yes, sir! I'll contact you and order a simultaneous house search and sweep of the area. Go, Ariel! Go! I just hope the information is accurate. I know it is. Okay, where is the talisman? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, do you know where the talisman that you had is? Yes. It does know. I wonder if we can find a way to narrow it down by asking. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, did you carry around the talisman with you at all times? Yes. You did carry it with her. Then, did you have it with you when you had your accident? Yes. So that guy might have it! Huh? She had it with her. But there was nothing resembling a talisman in the articles left behind at the scene. Maybe that's what he wanted to talk to us about. So that means someone took it with them and ran off with it before the scene was investigated? But who would do that? That would mean someone knew Michio had died before the police did. 
First person to discover and report it was the caretaker of the apartment building next door. Should we check with them? Let's see. The other possibility I can think of is the perpetrator of the hit and run. But it was a hit and run. Wouldn't they have run away? It might be possible they came back, driven by fear or something else. Even if so, they didn't report it and went through her belongings. But to only take the talisman seems hard to believe. Unless they were after the talisman from the very beginning. How likely is that, if the talisman really is so special? Ariel mentioned the same thing, but to run someone over just to take something from them? It's possible they just picked up the talisman after hitting her for no particular reason. Either way, if it really was a hit and run, then I hope they get caught. Possible she remembers something after seeing that picture of the car. The picture of the car? Did I read that right? Yeah. Then shall we try asking? I'll try. Who was responsible for the hit and run? O oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, do you know who was behind the hit and run? Yes. Joko? That she knows. That's a relief. If she hadn't known, huh? In order for Machio's spirit to find peace, we need as much detailed information about what happened as possible. We can't send her off to the afterlife if we don't know what happened when she died. This isn't like a forced exorcism. Exorcism. Huh, so that's what it'll take. Alright, I'll try asking. Right. The Spectre of the Spirit Board. Who was the one who ran you over? Hope she knows the name. I wonder. Yep, it's that guy. Nami, whatever. Yeah. Namigaki? Yeah. That fucking bastard. Huh? Namigaki? What the? You mean Yutaro Namigaki? You two know him? We talked to him after we left the cafe. He used to be a curse bearer, right? Ah, I see. So that's why Yako had that reaction when she saw him. What? Come to think of it, that guy said he wanted to talk about Machio. What? The hell is he planning without his curse stone? He said he'd been waiting he'd be waiting near Rio Goku Bridge. Got it, I'll join you there once we're done. Thank you! If I went alone, can you imagine? He's the bastard who killed Machio. Mm-mm. Yako. This should be enough information. We can release Machio from her suffering now. Let's do it. Oh, all right. Say goodbye. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board. No, Machio. Thank you. You helped us. This is the Long Dong Stream! Welcome to! <laughs> you know, I'm so sorry I didn't know about it all. Your family, the kidnapping, Mr. Genochi. I'm so sorry. It must have been so hard. Not that I could understand, but I'm sure it was so hard. I mean, of course you would want revenge. I wanted it too. We've all done things we wish we could take back. But I'm glad that I at least know the truth. Yako. There's so much I want to say, but that's enough. Let me just ask you one last thing. Someday, can we hang out again? No way! You mean it? Okay, it's a promise. Have you asked everything you wanted? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to guide Michio's spirit now. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Michio, with this, I'll finally be able to free you. Hey, Yako? Yeah? You never accepted the idea that Michio took her own life. I'm glad you never stopped trying to find the truth. Yeah. You're right. Even though I didn't realize just how hard things were for her. Mio? Oh, 
sorry. Just Michio. She was taken advantage of by so many adults around her. She put up with so much. I should have tried to talk with her more. I know how you feel. Thanks, Mio. It hurts thinking about all the things I could have done. Why did this have to happen to someone so kind and hardworking? I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Fuck. Feels like she was ill-fated to the very end. It's just too cruel. But even then, she didn't even tell me about this stuff. She let herself worry more about revenge than living. I'm mad at her for that. Sure, I should have noticed something was wrong, but come on. Ugh, what was she thinking? Seriously, I mean seriously. Am I really that unreliable? Of course I'd help you get your revenge, you idiot. I don't care how much- I don't care how you had changed or whatever, I just wanted you to live. Yako. I'll take responsibility for what's been done. But one day, if we meet on the other side, I'm gonna have to give her a good punch, and then I'll tell her she's the real fool's procession or something. And we'll hang out, like always. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Alright, sending her off, okay? Oh, wait! Look, the coin. It moved to no all on its own. You're right, when did it do that? It seems she still has something keeping her here. Yako, do you have any idea about what Machio wants? Me? Oh. Please, don't forget me. I think she told me that she didn't want me to forget. I see, then. Michio, if you can hear my voice, let your feelings that you won't ever forget her let be, be known. Show it through an action. What? Do something that shows you won't forget. Uh... What? What? Do what? Do what? What? How? What? Ow! <laughs> I'm too emotional for this! <laughs> he's sorry because he's dead. <laughs> I wanna like, I wanna like, use her ribbon to tie my hair or something. How's Paranormal say It's good, it's good. What? Like, what? Has to be something in the menu. I don't know what to. Yeah, I want a hint. I don't know what they want from me. easy huh <laughs> thank you i'm not gonna save over that one i'm gonna save on a new file thank you though i don't really want you to punch me so live a long life okay <laughs> Aww. we'll see you later oh not me saving over my pepe hands oh that's one oh come on now <laughs>
<laughs> well, I don't want to save over it also because I do want to go to the bridge without getting the detectives first. See what happens. <laughs> Yako, are you feeling alright? Yeah, I'm fine actually. I feel a lot better. I guess I really wasn't feeling like myself recently. It was like there was a part of me that I had no control of or something. Yeah, I think you're back to your normal self now. I'm glad there weren't any problems. I wonder if Michio was able to find peace. I know she did. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, you're right. It, it is separated. You're right. It seems that her regret was not um, being able to tell you that she was... What she was going on and growing apart from you. Well, I guess I can forgive her for that. Not the see you later. We all die eventually, Vale. But there's still something bothering me. Really? Yeah, I wonder what this feeling is. It's like there's a piece of her that hasn't left yet. Hmm, it may be an after effect. Maybe because you gave your stone to Chief Inspector Tsumi? Doubt it. Having a curse stone shouldn't have an effect, any effect on your body. But dealing with four curses sounds like a lot of stress. Good work, Chief. Sounds like a completely different person all of a sudden. But are you really sure about this? Having us arrest you once this is all over? You might be able to get your case treated as just an accident. It's fine. Treat me the same as someone who used a curse stone to kill someone. If anything, I should be thanking you for letting me go free until this is all over, so thanks, Chief. Whoa, whoa, you didn't say anything about bringing the police. Sorry, but we don't have time to care about what you have to say about us. What business do you have with this girl now that you've lost your curse stone? I'll tell you this for free. I have her curse stone already. Hmm. Yeah. This is the bastard who ran over Michio and drove away? If that's true, then why does he... Yutaro is visibly shaken. That must mean there's some reason he doesn't want the cops around. Freaking freak. Any bird stickers? Ah! Ooh! Nice. Crane stem. Quackitude! Ha <laughs> ha! Cute. <clears throat> I don't have any ill intentions. I wanted to tell you that I want to help if you intend to resurrect Michio. That was my intention from the beginning when I received my curse stone. Whatever, bro. Pfft. Yeah, right. And that's why I took your curse stone. Man, can't be too careful. Besides, what connection do you have to Michio? We uh, met once when I ran her over. I was so sad to hear the news of her death the other day. Uh-huh. Met once. I see. Well, I'm sure it must have been painful for you, but... Do you think bringing back the dead will erase the fact that you hit her with your car? What?! <laughs> I ran her- I ran into her one time. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I'm sure that I have no idea what you're talking about. What the fuck kind of sentence is that, bro? <laughs> There's a lot of traffic around here and it's very noisy during the day. I don't see any cars. The amount of exhaust coming from cars is overwhelming. I hear it's not healthy. What? What? Well, I'm not playing as him. The chief uh, makes some weird jokes sometimes, but still it's reassuring to have a veteran policeman with us. Well, leave this to me, okay? <clears throat> Hi, Otaku dude, welcome in. You guys your first star bit, let's go. <laughs> if you don't know, I'll tell you and you'll let me ask you some questions in return. Did you just get your license recently, hmm? We found a van with bloodstains on it, you see. It's only a matter of time before we find out who the owner is. What that's, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, why don't you tell me a little bit more before your relation more about your relationship with Michio? Not only that, you killed someone with your curse stone, didn't you? Stop! Stay away from me! Uh-oh. Uh 
You're acting a little bit cray cray. Damn it. Okay, okay, I give up. Ah, uh, it's all over for me. Yeah, you're damn right. Afterwards, Yutaro gave his confession. He admitted that he was behind the wheel of the van that hit Michio. Well, that was easy. He explained that he was speeding in order to impress a girl that he had in the car with him. After hitting the schoolgirl, he drove away and planned to watch the car in secret to destroy the evidence. But he became nervous and went back to the scene of the crime at the urging of his passenger. When they returned to the scene, the female passenger went, in, went to check the victim alone while he sat panicking in the car. When she returned, she told him people were unlikely to, just, to assume a hit and run as it looked similar to a suicide by jumping from height. Afterwards, the pair parted ways and Yutaru dumped the vehicle deep in the woods under the cover of night. That is so fucked up. Two of them, two of them decided to keep the accident a secret. The next morning, Michio's body was discovered, and luckily for them, her death was ruled a suicide. However, a darkness lingered within his heart. From that day on, the schoolgirl appeared before him covered in blood, her limbs bent and broken, despite him in his dreams every night. Even when awake, he would see a phantom of her corpse in the dark, moaning and cursing him at all times. <sighs> Troubled by the constant hallucinations, it was only a number of days before he suffered a nervous breakdown. He couldn't bear hiding what he'd done anymore. He planned to turn himself in, but was stalked by the passenger from that night. It was then that he first heard rumors of the rite of resurrection. He thought that if he could resurrect the schoolgirl, that it would be like it, it would be like if the accident never happened. And with that, the darkness enshrouding his heart could be dissipated. From then on, he searched the areas associated with the seven mysteries of Hanjo every night. He's fucking crazy. He received the curse of the foot washing mansion as a re result. Star bitch! No. <laughs> I see. That's right. I'm not a bad man. I wanted to turn myself in. It was that girl who tempted me. Okay, okay. Calm down and listen, son. If you don't think you've done anything wrong, what, what would these girls think if they saw you run over that poor girl? There's something I want to know. Do you know anything about a talisman that Michio should have had on her at the time of the accident? Talisman? What are you talking about? Hmm, so you don't know anything. In that case, what about that woman who was with you? Can you ask her? Oh, that's right. Everything is her fault in the first place. Well, that may not be exactly wrong. Just riding passenger in a car involved in an involuntary vehicular manslaughter isn't a crime in and of itself. But according to your statement, she neglected her duty to seek aid and insi instigated you to neglect your duty to report the accident. And if she took the article from the scene, she's also be charged with theft. Can you tell me who she is? You have no intent of hiding anything anymore, do you? Yeah, that's right. It's her fault. Do what you want with her. It's time for her to face what she's done. Her name is Ayame Tono. She's an art student I met in town. Well, why is he freaking out? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this game is such an anime moment. It is. It is. What? An art student named Ayame Tono? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you absolutely sure of that? What point would there be in lying to you now? What, do you know her or something? She may look nice, but she's rotten on the inside. I'd like to meet the parents who raised someone like that. Shut up! That's his daughter! Oh. My. God. Bye, Otaku, bye. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Mm. What? What's wrong, Inspector Susumi? You're drenched in sweat. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Damn it. Why? How could this happen? Listen up. I'm taking this one with me down to the station for more questioning. You two go after the record of Fatian Scroll. Got that? Uh, okay, we will. Come with me. Whoa! God. Um. Let's get going. Yeah. Fuck! That's his daughter. The way he reacted? That's his daughter. Oh. 
fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, let's see what happens if we do this without the... Uh. And then we're gonna go to Michael Jackson. together ah <clears throat> okay well i suppose uh we may as well hear what it is you have to say not to hear it then shall we relocate elsewhere mj after this after this <laughs> <clears throat> okay let's see what happens here i'm worried but let's see this might be a death that i need you know So what do you want to discuss with us? Let's see, how do I put this? I'll tell you straight. I want you two to use your curse stones to bring Machio back from the dead. What? It's why I was pursuing the rite of resurrection in the first place. Why are you scared? Because he's weird. Unfortunately, I had to give up my curse stone before I could succeed. But you two are curse bearers with some kind of connection to her. Which means this is a perfect opportunity for me to ask you for this. Um, well... I'm sorry, this is also sudden. I still don't understand why you would want this. What exactly is your re relationship with Machio? Oh, I just- I killed her, so I feel bad, you know? Well, we met briefly once. I was so sad to hear the news of her death the other day. Right. <laughs> well, it would be great if we could bring Machio back. But we've already decided not to use the Rite of Resurrection. Is that so? Like, he looks like he's gonna fucking snap any second. Like, when he does that with his glasses, he looks like he's gonna fucking sumo wrestle me into fucking death and snap my neck. Like, it's- I don't know what it is about him. He's so scary. It seems, however, that we share a goal. I wouldn't mind collecting the soul drakes for you if you gave me your curse on, you know. We'll have to decline that as well. Our goal is to stop this curse. Yeah, that is so, Aislano. He's creepy. <laughs> you see, well, that's too bad. I suppose I'll have to give up on the curse stones. Thank you for your understanding. I don't think he's understanding. I think he's creepy. Phew, I thought he was a little suspicious, but he left without making a fuss. Why does he want to bring Machio back? Huh? Yako? Like, what's happening? Uh-oh, did she go off somewhere while we were talking? Hello? Uh-oh, see what I mean? Finally caught up to you. I don't know if you noticed me following you or not, but leading me to a secluded place, you've got guts. I'm sorry, but I'll be taking your curse down. Either you hand it over, I'll have to take it by force. What? Why are you doing that? You don't have a curse down. What? What are you? No, 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 she's here again. I don't understand. Oh, wait, it was just an accident! <laughs> I swear I didn't mean to! He's gonna get it instead. This is why I was trying to bring you back! <laughs> You're already too late. <laughs> the credits rolling. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious! Oh my god, <laughs> uh, GG guys, GG. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, if it's a performance, I don't want to skip it. <laughs> oh 
my god. <laughs> GG! We did it! Well, Paranormal said, what a good game! Yay! Well, they're over. After this, Nijima went on to use the power of his curse to commit mass murder, shocking the public with an unprecedented tragedy. Tra tragedy. And from that day on, Yako was never heard from again. Oh my. Ending one, Machio's grudge. Oh. This, this is yellow now. We got two endings. Why is this yellow? Has this always been yellow? I'm yellow. yellow. I'm yellow. I'm in need of a die. It doesn't. It does. Doesn't work as well as blue. That's the first ending. Well, I mean, this was... Whatever. Okay. Oh, it's just game over. Okay, to MJ. Too much to handle. Hari and Richter break into the um, Shiraishi residence with the detectives. They find a journal left behind by the deceased Iwa. Um, finally revealing the mystery behind the kidnapping. However, Haru remains unsatisfied. Unsatisfied is not a word I would use. I would use the word, um, disturbed. I would use the word, um, not at peace. I would use the word, uh, insane. I would, I, 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 mm. I would not use unsatisfied. She seemed off the hinges. <laughs> Hi, Flower! Thank you for the sticky note. Mwah. Hope you're doing good. And further news! Today, the body of an adult male was discovered in the residence of one uh, Toshiko Shiraishi around noon. Yep. Hi, Nax! Welcome in! You got those dead eyes. Yeah, they're kind of sexy. The man identified as Iwa said to have been in a relationship with Toshiko. He was unemployed at the time of death. Wow. Okay. While further investigations are still underway, it's suspected that his death is connected to the recent serial killings in Hanjo. Evidence on the scene may also implicate Mr. Iwa in the unsolved child abduction and murder case from last year. Yes, sir. Fuck him. He's better off dead. Well, ma'am. It seems like we managed to settle one part of the kidnapping case for now. Let's begin discussing our next steps. What, what next steps? What are the next steps? Right? What, what are the next steps? Next up, what do we need to do to get our hands on a curse stone filled with a soldier? Oh yeah, I guess she still wants to resurrect her son. He's always going at his own pace. He's rather fascinating. I feel like... I'm gonna swing! It's a little dim, even during the day, but I like it that way. Me too. I feel like... Even the clock gets on my nerves. Yeah, I can't stand clocks that tick. We got that one already. I wonder what kind of music Richter is into. I imagine he likes English songs. No matter how much I look at the flowers, they don't make me feel anything. I mean, they're just flowers. I'm so used to seeing the scroll, I don't really give it a second thought. I don't have a reason to use the phone right now. Fax machine sends images to other places along with telephone network. I rarely find a use for it. Who even uses a freaking fax machine anymore? Stopped watching the news. There's too much fluff. I wish they cut out pointless stories and just reported on what's important. Okay. I suppose I should offer him some tea, but I don't really feel like it. That's that's fair. That's <clears throat> Okay. Ugh, big stretch. Ah! Uh. Okay. <clears throat> Sippy water. <clears throat> long cat. Long, long. Okay. About the kidnapping. Judging by the official announcements, it seems that Iwa wrote what Iwa wrote is likely true. With both the kidnapper and his young accomplice dead, the uh, police should be able to handle the rest. Now that it's over, I can't help but think how pitiful it all is. We never would have known a thing had we not found his journal. Carelessness is what usually leads to crimes like this being exposed. 
It was pretty much the same with Nejima's murders. But stumbling across the answer by pure chance really makes you think. It makes my skin crawl to think of how many cases like this are left undiscovered. Me too. It's certainly disturbing. Indeed. Well, with the kidnapping case all wrapped up, we can focus our efforts on obtaining the right of resurrection, yes? Indeed. Counting on you. But the remaining curse bears. <clears throat> Alright, let's reassess uh, this curse situation. Right. I must admit, I never expected the police to be so on top of things. The Chief Inspector Tatsumi, uh, Tetsuyo Tatsumi provided us a good wealth of information. I'm surprised he knew so much about the curse bearers. Do you think they noticed I'm one of them? I'm pretty sure Ariel didn't. The Chief Inspector, on the other hand, will have to be careful around him. But if he had suspected anything, I'm sure he would have detained us. We should stay vigilant moving forward. Agreed. Even if we steal a curse stone, you may not be able to successfully perform the rite unless you're a curse bearer yourself. Would you be okay with hanging onto the stone from now on? Of course. Just don't use it though, okay? Oh, she's still willing, I think. Alright. <clears throat> if what we heard is true, there are just three curse bearers left to be discovered. These are the Whispering Canal, which I think is this frickin'... This frickin' hoe who's not dead. I don't think she's dead. I think she has the Whispering Canal, Yoko. Um, the Beckoning Light. Who is... Aka Ishi, no? Arishi. Oh no, he has the Everburning Lantern. So we don't know who... He's the one who pulled us into the dark room when we were playing as sh a Shogo, right? But we don't know who that is. True, 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 true. And then the last one was this. Yeah, we don't know who that is either. We're missing three. And the Taiko of Tsugaru left to investigate. It may benefit us to visit the places connected to these stories a few times. Let's see. It's still highly suspicious that the people at... Of the people at Hihaku Soaps, they could be the ones pulling the strings. That uh, Takumi Yumi Oka fella is pretty, probably aware of the curse bearers we're searching for. Tracking his movements may prove to be useful. You want to follow him? If we were to follow anyone, he'd be my first choice, but... Damn it, times like these really have me wishing I had more personnel. I imagine it's tough working on your own. It's the flight, flight of running a small business. I'm always on the hunt for a skilled assistant. And then there's Najima, who appears to be a curse bearer too. The one-sided reed, I think it was. If we want to look for someone that's likely to gather a whole lot of soul dregs, we'll look no further. He did say he would unleash his curse on a large number of people at nightfall. If he gets the chance to, if th if the chief inspector manages to track down Michio, then well, there's a chance he'll manage to apprehend Najima before he gets up to no good. But why did you tell the chief inspector about the safe house if he hadn't had that lead? It was written in Iwa's memoirs. It was just a matter of time till he found out. Besides, we're talking about a massacre here. I can't just turn a blind eye. How different it, is it from any other curse bearer collecting soul dregs? Well, if we're talking Nejima, it could be a lot more dangerous. We'll just keep a close eye on Nejima and the cops. Hmm. What about that girl from before, Ayame Tono? Do you think she could be a curse bearer? Well, there's a chance she could have gone and stolen someone else's curse stone by now. That's possible too, but... Hmm. We haven't been to Midorichi Park yet, the place connected to the Taiko of Tsugaru. Ah, right. That's close to where she lives. No, didn't we go there? What if she was a curse bearer this entire time? She could have lied. Possible. It would make her a brilliant actress to boot. The idea has got me itching to investigate her again. Oh, we went there. And then he couldn't go, like, to her mailbox or her window or anything because the cops were there? That place is rather suspicious. If only we could run into someone there. Again, maybe we have to put someone there to meet me? Richter? Yes? Um... Oh, that was Machio's house? No, 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 no. No, I found the bird in the tree there. Machio's house was in the alley. 
Oh, that's right. Would you mind if we make a stop on our way? We can make it quick. I apologize for the diversion, but I'd like to visit a candy store if possible. Um, I suppose I don't mind. Yeah, wait, we couldn't get to the mailbox because of the cops? Yeah. In this part on, you will be given the option to finish investigation, which will allow you to immediately end this part. When you can continue on the next part, you may also come back and restart this section from the part we left off. That was here! I've been here before. There she is. No, I've been here with these guys. I'm not crazy. I've been here before. <laughs> I swear. There was a bird in a tree. Hey, that lady over there. That's a Yame Tono. She seems to be trying to hide. Watch in silence. We don't want to startle her and have her run off on us. Let's sit and watch her for now. Everyone was relaxing so peacefully um, in the park. It's hard to imagine it was the site of some horrid curse. Why is it so difficult to move around? The cops have yet to determine who the remaining curse bearers are. We have to find them soon. A little nervous when a Yami Tono was mentioned, or was I just imagining it? We have reason to believe the curse bearers of the Taiko Tugaru was here last night. It's possible they're already dead, but we haven't found any def definitive leads. Oops. Okay, let's try and talk to her. Alright, I'll be right back. Ah, uh, he's gone. I suppose he really wanted to talk with her. Up. Oh. <laughs> Birds are government satellites. True. The Komo the Komoda is not not a curse bear. Does he mean to jump out and surprise her from behind? <laughs> Does he mean to intimidate her? Ah, oh, she noticed. I guess his purpose was to talk with her after all. I wonder what they're talking about. She doesn't look like she's planning to run. Oh, they're coming here. <laughs> what the heck? Here she is. What do you think? Smooth work by the master, huh? <laughs> Very smooth. Hello, thank you so much for yesterday. I know this is sudden, but I'm actually being pursued right now. Pursued? By who? I think it's the police. Would you be willing to provide me shelter? From the police? I figured we could hear her out and see what kind of mess she's gotten herself in. Does it make me sound like I'm some kind of crim- Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of criminal, please. That's why she's being chased. Pills by consumption. Those who wag their tails across the street. My tail's not up! Really? <laughs> the police have my apartment staked out, so I haven't been able to return home. I heard they say something about wanting to protect me, but something didn't feel right and I got scared. Oh, that's right. Do you have any idea why they're after you? Well, I have been searching for the curses, so... We shouldn't trouble ourselves with hiding you if they're after you for a good reason. Ah, how cruel! But this handsome investigator wouldn't turn me in so easily, would he? It's unfortunate, but we've got reason not to get involved with the police ourselves. What shady reasoning! But if we got some murky secrets to hide, we might as well cooperate with each other, no? Anyway, how are your plans to resurrect Okasai going? Ah, uh, fortunately they've been going quite well. Oh? Does that mean you found someone to steal a curse stone from? 
Not exactly, but I found some kind of lost resort, which is why I can't let the police get me. What do you mean by lost resort? You really asking me that? It doesn't concern you at all. Why should I tell you? Ugh. What if we make a deal? In exchange for keeping you hidden from the police, you'll tell us about your last resort. Huh? Is that what got you interested? Oh, I've got it. You're meaning to uh, steal it for yourself. Not at all. I'm just curious. That excuse will just not do. I don't need you two. I'll find a way to stay safe on my own. That was a close one. I should have known you only... The only one you can count on in this world is yourself. Huh. Can't let her get away. Let's go after her. What? Stop it! Get any closer and I'll scream! Please wait, we'll help you out with no conditions. Oh, well you changed your mind quick. That just makes you all the more suspicious. <sighs> I tried my best, but I couldn't convince her to stay. Could it be that you don't know how to handle a girl like that? Hmm. <laughs> Victor said, hmm. <laughs> Since she's looking for a safe haven, would you mind me sharing your address with her, just in case? Well, it doesn't really bother me, but you do recognize there are police officers in my close family. At least it'll allow us to keep uh, us a way to keep in contact, no matter how small. Okay. Fucking weirdo. She wants to go to the candy store! Ooh, this music! It's jazzy! He's up front uh, with the kids to participate in a raffle. It's weird seeing an adult his age enjoying himself so much at a candy store. <laughs> Look at his smile! He must have won something! How nice! Ah, damn! It's Mockingbird number 10! Ka -kaf Kafuni? He's a nihilist! And he gets the job done! Oh, well, you seem pretty happy. Yay! Oh, right, ma'am. Should we go for Monjiyaki or something? That's sweet of you, but I'm not hungry right now. Cacophony. <laughs> That's too bad. I haven't had great luck with this Mockingbird raffle. Would you mind if I tried a few more times? Apparently, most of these are just replicas of the real deal, but even so, they're well worth the price. Some of the kids were saying they managed to snatch some real rare finds in this lottery. Go ahead, don't buy them all now. Hmm, Sanoya. The children seem pretty fond of this place. It looks comparatively new. They must have had renovations done not long ago. Do you think there's another bird hiding around here? Ah! Whoa, no way! He's losing it! Jeez, you made me jump! <laughs> it's walking bird number 14! Falconman! That guy's a real speed demon. Oh, is that right? Kind of scary how you even know the exact number of just a simple class. <laughs> So nice to see you. How are you doing? There's some vending machines you can buy canned juice for 100 yen. These days, vending machines sell a lot of things besides juice, too. Nice. Did you find any more, Richter? Let me just know if you want to leave, okay? Jump over the. Uh, yep. Did you get any more? Oh, it seems he didn't win anything. He's pouting so hard, even the kids are laughing at him. Come on, win me some birds, man. Come on. Ah, uh, more! Yes! Ah, oh, same thing. Has he been anything different? No, oh, I guess not. Mabi? Ah. Let's go! Good job, Richter! 
beautiful Onji Bridge. I don't think we've been here. Oh, we haven't been here since the beginning. This is where we met MJ initially, I think. Three in one area. Oh, let's go. Mm. Look at that. Someone must have received the beckoning lights curse here last night. Beckoning lights. We don't know this one yet. Yeah, it looks just like that emo. Look at that. Richter, what do you think that is? Oh. Um, I don't see anything. Really? You don't see that? That thing looks like a phantom ball of flame floating in the air. Ball of flame? It must be the curse echo. Maybe only the curse bearers are capable of seeing it. Could such a thing happen in broad daylight? Gone. Hmm. I wonder if that was the beckoning light's curse echo. That phantom flame you saw might have been the manifestation of the lantern. In that case, does that mean a curse bearer is nearby? Oh, because we saw that in the park when we were playing as Shogo, uh, Shogo as well. Curse bearer might be lurking in the vicinity. I'm going to check the surroundings. Uh, don't leave her alone, dude. W what did you fucking sprint? Nothing. I didn't find anyone who looked the part. See, I don't doubt something happened around here, but something might have changed in the area. Keep your eyes peeled. Oh, okay, let's look around. Hmm, doesn't seem like anyone's been here for some time. I wonder if it's one of the factories that got shut down when they tightened up the regulations. Hmm. Any bird stickers? You told him not to leave her alone, then you can play that he rushed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't complain that he rushed. I was complaining that he was freaking panting. I am greedy for bird stickers. Hmm, doesn't seem like anyone's been here for some time. I wonder if it's one of the factories got shut down. Okay. But why is there no check mark? Maybe we gotta talk first. Did something draw your interest? No worries here. I made sure to take a, qu a quick shower this morning. What you saw earlier must have been the beckoning light. Something might have changed after what just happened. What I saw was the curse echo, the beckoning light. Wouldn't that mean the curse bear is nearby? I feel any strange presence, but that could be because it's midday. You're a check mark. What? There isn't a curse bear in sight. Can't talk to these shadows. So something might have changed elsewhere. Search the area, my froggies. <laughs> search, search, search. Stops close to a park, so children have been coming and going. But pause. for the mitered mission achievable through this last resort. Does that mean she's given up on our plan to steal a curse stone? Victor? Hmm. You know, I have one as well. A last resort. You do? Uh. Even if we don't steal another curse stone, I already have my own. If it becomes necessary, I am prepared to use it. Hmm, so you think it might be possible that she has one of her own too? But that, she despises the idea idea of using it to kill others, so instead she means to steal a cursed stone with soul dregs already in it. It doesn't contradict anything we know. She lives nearby, which means she might have the Taiko of Tugaru cursed stone. We still don't know much about that one. 
Victor. Oh, this is a sensual. That last resort Ayame spoke of. It could be our chance. We can use her. Hear you loud and clear. Hey, yo. No, 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 no. checked in here? No. And I'm not gonna. The area was closed off for the public this morning after his body was found, but police quickly managed to complete their investigation and reopened the park as if nothing ever happened. People in the area are shockingly calm considering what happened here. I think they'd put off they'd be put off knowing that there was a dead body here just this morning. From what I heard, it happened right about where you're standing now. Ugh, eek! Get me out of here. Oh, I wanted to click on that paper specifically, but I guess that's nothing. Telephone booth doesn't look like out of the ordinary to me. Trash! I'm the trash man. You look at that. That's a pretty unique playing ground. Did it actually catch your eye? Perhaps not. Now's the time, though. It, it, but it did get you interested. Did you want to play on it? <laughs> go ahead, Richter. It made it quite the challenge to pass through it. You'd have to go underneath there. He definitely wants to play on it. <laughs> you can go take a look if you're that interested. Mm, all right, I'll go check it out. Just to make sure he's adorable. He didn't have to think long about that. Hmm? What's that? Did he find something? I found a mockingbird under the playground equipment. Damn! Talk about lucky is number 19, Penny Prattle! Oh my god, I got 10 mockingjay bird thingies. Let's go! I see, congrats. <sighs> Playgrounds always get me all fired up. Um, I wouldn't say that out loud, buddy. Someone might be concerned. <laughs> a bunch of kids gather around Richter to poke fun at his clothing. Oh, it seems like kids come running for him uh, wherever he go. Not all too surprising with his attire. He hasn't complained about it though. I wonder if he has a spot, soft spot for kids. Aww. They don't call they don't call him MJ for nothing. That's right. Nice little jazzy mood going on here. Is that the game? It is. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. This place is associated with the Whispering Canal. The canal must be connected to the man who was found drowned in the park. Agreed. Wasn't the victim uh, Hihaku Soap's employee? That's right, his name is Shogo Oki. Considering his occupation, he probably came here in search of a curse stone. Dreamer Stinky, it is no- no. What- what heckin' emote is that? Fish moly, huh? I can't even tell- I can't even tell what that is! If people in the company know about the right, it only makes sense that they'd be looking for curse stones. You think the chairwoman and Takumi would send their regular employees out to hunt for the stones? If that's the case, perhaps that Shogo died trying to take the stone from someone else. Either that or... He was killed precisely because he was a curse bearer with a curse stone. But all that is holy, we summon the... what? so but considering the location wouldn't that mean the curse was used the curse used was the whispering canal good point that would mean shogo oki wasn't the wielder of the whispering canal curse himself yeah i think it was freaking yoko could he have had the beckoning light or even the taiko tsugaru i was here last night and there weren't any dead bodies then it's highly possible he was brought here from somewhere else if that's the case the wielder of the whispering canal has already collected his stone uh, ma'am, excuse me, but there's one more thing I'd like to try. Oh, be my guest. What is it? Shogo Oki is the name of the person who died here. It's hard to believe he was here by chance, only to end up murdered with a curse. Given the ties to Hihaku, we can assume he was aware of the situation, but somehow involved with these curses. 
Is that it? What about this? What about this situation? Click on like a certain part of it. Something might have changed after what just happened. Maybe in a different timeline? Like in another person's route? Right, Sky? I am sneaky. That's right. You are. I did the thing here. I'm not gonna forget, it's in my save file. What do I have to resume here? I wanted to ask you something. Aye, aye, boss. Geez, you're an eager beaver. I haven't even said what it was yet. Right, well, what is it then? Can't remember what you had for dinner last night? Looks like that agent over there is having some trouble with his pen. So if you got a spare, go lend it to him. And for the record, I had Katsudon last night. No need to worry about giving about me going senile just yet. Uh, I know I look like a genius, but I didn't think I came across as the type to carry spare pens on my person. You a genius? You're dreaming. But if his pen just stopped working, he can get it going again with a bit of nail polish remover? Nail polish remover. Yeah, you know when you use what you used to remove nail polish, never used it before? Do I look like I would've? Don't make me sound crazy for not having used this stuff, I doubt you have either. Oh no, I used it alright, do you know- Did you know that it can remove oil-based ink stains? Which is also why it can be used to fix old dried up pen nibs. Whatever's in there that removes the ink also doubles as a way to unclog pens. Huh, good to know. Still wouldn't call you a genius, but it's something. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you gotta make sure the remover doesn't mix with the ink though or it'll ruin it. Doesn't that defeat the purpose? Not to worry. I don't have any nail polish remover on me right now anyway. Oh, no problem then. That doesn't fix anything. Long story short, I don't have a spare pen. He's all right, I'll let him know. What the f What the frickin' hell is happening? Common office conversations in Japan, I suppose. <laughs> That's what you get for dodging that other chapter that unlocked? How are we gonna wait for Machi on the school? What, what else do I have to do here? Oh, okay. Cool. Okay, so let's go here. A bunch of question marks! Do I look like I do my nails? I actually don't. I'm unknown. Question mark, question mark, question mark. What is this? My head! 
Another curse bearer. What's happening? But I hit my head, it's killing me. My vision's all blurry, is that the ceiling? I feel the cold floor against my back. I must have fallen or something. Get up. Who the fuck am I playing in? My body won't move, why? Why am I on the floor in the first place? No. Hold on. More importantly, who am I? Who am I? Recall. Okay, think, think, try to remember something, anything. Resurrection killed him. Revenge. Ah! Oh shit! Ah! It feels like my head is gonna split apart. Or Hajime? Wait, no, this isn't the same room. What? What was that? That man's face. I think I've seen it before. No, no. Okay. Think. I'm sure I know it. Enter that man's name. It's Hajime. Oh, you want the full name? It's Hajime Yoshimi. Just the last name? Yoshimi. Hajime Yoshimi. That's it, I know that name. The dark mist obscuring my memories is slowly starting to clear. Oh my j oh my god. Oh either works, okay. I just I hit enter, but I have to like actually click okay. Oh my head is hurting again. What was that? A memory of mine? Hajime and I, I think we were close. But the first thing I saw, he was dead. Did I? Just what kind of person am I? Get up. I can move again. I think my head is starting to clear. But looks like I'm in some kind of warehouse. Maybe I can find some clues as to what happened. I should take a look around. You can press suspend at any point in this chapter and start again from the same point. Then you select resume. If you get stuck, play a different route before returning to this one. There's a key to the sink. What? There's a key to the sink. If I can use this to see what I look like, it might help you remember who I am. No good. The mirror is completely unusable with all the grime that's built up on it. Fuck! I wonder if I could clean it somehow. An escape room! There's a little sink here. It's pretty dirty. I hope I, I hope I don't have to use it. There's water dripping from the faucet, but the knobs are stuck. I can't move them in either direction. <sighs> it won't open. Must be locked from the outside. So I really am locked in here. I don't know what's going on, but I doubt I can afford to take my time here. I played enough Zero Escape. I'll get us out of here. There's a bunch of garbage in the corners. My guess is that this room isn't used very often, if at all. I can't just wait here for someone to come to my rescue. I need to look for a way out. Sure. Folding chair, all alone in the middle of the room, gives me the creeps for some reason. Must have me sat. This must have sat. They must have sat me on it earlier. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Probably passed out. Fell off. The, fell off the chair. <clears throat> An air duct? Mm, maybe a way out? Could this have been place have been a factory at some point? Oh! A factory! Like the factory I was clicking on 10 billion times a second ago? Wish I could call through it to escape, but I don't see any way to get into it from here. Well, we'll find a way. Locker. Open the left locker. There's a bucket and a mop full of that wet ass pussy. Sorry. Um, and the left locker, I guess that's where they keep their cleaning stuff. Open the right locker. Nothing inside. There's a piece of paper uh, stuck to the front. What does it say? Chemical, flammable, liquid, ventilation. If leaked, emergency, integrity, thoroughly. Quite the collection of words. What could this place be used for? That's a song. The vocal office desk. There's all kinds of stationery on it. Oh, a pen. But I don't really need it. I'll leave it here for now. Doesn't look like there's anything in the top drawer. Middle drawer. Some kind of note in the middle of the drawer. Oh dear god. 
names of chemicals. Maybe this is some kind of chemical plant. Nothing in the bottom. No, wait, there's something stuck way in the back. <gasps> a cursed stone. Oh, no, it's a bird. No, take it! I need a light or something. Ooh, that has a lock on it. <clears throat> Cabinet straight out, of the, straight out of an office. Let's see what happens if I slide this open. Nothing inside. Got the drawers starting from the top. Oh, just the middle one. It's really empty. Hmm? This last drawer is different from the others. Oh, combination. Padlock with four-digit combination. No idea what the combination could be, but I'll leave it for now. Looks brand new compared to everything else in the room. At the bottom. Okay. The old shelf. Big shelf. The kind you always see in warehouses and stuff. Wish I could find some tools or something, but no such luck. Mm, what's this? Label's been torn off, uh, but it must be soap. There's quite a bit left. Might be able to use it. Um, Alright, soap. How am I going to use soap for? Cardboard boxes. Bunch of messily stacked cardboard boxes. Take a peek inside. Um, but it's too dark to see much. I need more light. Yeah, we need more light. Which board? That might help. Looking inside, seems that the room has electricity at least. Okay, fucking turn something on! Oh my god. Light switch or anything. Seems this room has electricity at least. Does that mean someone is using this place for something? Can I wash the mirror off? I could use a soap to clean off the grime. Should have known just putting the soap on the mirror wouldn't do anything. I need something to wipe it with. Frickin' hell. Use trash. I have a pen over here. No. <clears throat> I guess I'm stuck. Anything else I can... I can do? I turn on a light. Get some done. Eat, perhaps? Eat the soap! You're crazy. Manhunt? Let's do this. I can do more? Well, then I need a hint because I'm a little perplexed. Wipe it with your fucking fingernail! Like, uh, use your hands for something! Mop. This is not my basement. Oh, 
Oh, clean in one swipe. Could have used your hand, probably. Soap is pretty good. I have to remember this brand. Yo, it's his girl. It's his fiance. What the heck? That's why they can't contact her. She's been fucking kidnapped. So this is what I look like. Yeah, right. This is me. I know this face. It's 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 Hajime's freaking fiance. But something doesn't feel right. Something's missing. She is very pretty. Oh, my name. I can't remember my name. I need to figure out what my name is. Recall. I know what I look like. Next, I have to remember my name. Is there a woman with this face in my memories? Come on, I need my name. Fuck, I don't remember her name. Uh, is she in Persons of Interest? The shorter name. Oh, it's in Files. Shit. I know I have her name somewhere. Chozawa. Ah! Yes, that's definitely it! My name is Mayu Chozawa. Mysterious woman. My... <clears throat> Her design is very nice. Yeah, isn't she pretty? Aslano! Let me get it! Grrr! This guy is stinky.com. Oh! Don't click that. Don't click the link. <laughs> my name is Mayu Chozawa. Oh. That man I saw in my memories, Hajime Yoshimi, is my fiance. Wait. Is what I saw from my past? And Hajime's? No. Hajime could never be killed so easy. There must be some kind of mistake. Knowing him, he probably worked himself into a frenzy looking for me. I have to get out of here and let him know that I'm okay. Aw, Angel. Okay. So what is next? We need to find a code. How do we find a code? Need some light. How the fuck do we get light? I don't hear anyone out there. No reason uh, to waste my energy banging and yelling. Gives girl boss vibes. True. Chemical flammable liquid ventilation. If leaked, equipment integrity thoroughly. <clears throat> hmm. Emergency integrity. Equipment integrity. <laughs> no emergencies here. Did I say emergency? In the top drawer. Name of chemicals, maybe some kind of chemical plant. And then bottom drawer, I need light. Hmm. Oh, 
Now, now I can click it. It's still so dark. There's dirt all over the bulb. Time for that moth to make another appearance. Hey, yo! There's a little brighter now. Should have an easier time searching now. I just hope I can actually find something. Okay, first the sticker. <laughs> that is most important. Spooky, mysterious music. I know, we're doing an escape room now. Yo, look at him! It's freaking Mondo as a penguin. <laughs> Looks like a delinquent penguin. Is this stuck on something? If my memories weren't so jumbled, I might actually be able to remember. What? I can't take. Stuck on something? What? Why can't I take it, brother? Can you just take the pen? I really want you to just take it. <clears throat> okay, the other thing you should just such need light for was this. Strange boxes and bags full of some kind of powder. Hey, yo, crack cocaine? If this place is a factory, these may be their products. There's no telling if they're dangerous or not. Better not touch them. This part, looking inside, seems the room has electricity. Okay, I can't do anything more with that. I listen close. I can just make out the sound of air blowing through the duct. I don't even know if I'm above or below ground. That doesn't really help. Oh! <gasps> a curse stone! There's something on the floor here. Was this here all along? I had no idea. A lantern carved out of wood? It's kind of creepy. Something about this feels different than all the other abandoned junk in here. The beckoning lights! Uh-oh. Ah! What is this? Ugh. Such terrible regret. A resentful memory is flowing into your mind. The evil ones. The curse bearers. Kill them all by their own bane. You require the power of the curse and the beckoning light. You can use it to kill curse bearers using their own curses. What? That's the power of it? Ugh. A murderous impulse seeps into your skull like thick black tar. Using their own curses? Okay, so here's the false story, an enduring superstition. While walking along the road near uh, Hoonji at night, one might spot a hazy lantern, lantern light up ahead, despite there being no one around. Following it will cause it to go out suddenly when getting near. But just when one fears the darkness might swallow them up, another light will appear further ahead, as if guiding one who sees it. Some say the flame is benevolent, leading people to their homes, while others believe it is a monster leading people astray. Some even believe it's a vengeful spirit of someone that died, luring the lost to the land of the dead. It's a curse power, kills by means of the curse they possess, one who has become a curse bearer. The real story is, a vague silhouette is framed by silvery moonlight near, near uh, the bridge. It is a man hunched over a near death with regret carved on his face. Visions of the past flash through his mind. Memories of the young couple and their daughter, but he has lost everything. He has repaid the kindness shown to him with evil. Through regret, no though regret gnaws at him now, it is too late to undo it. His mind turns to the Omnyoji woman. It is all her doing. No, the blame laid with him and his inexperience. He had foolishly involved himself with the forbidden, inviting evil into his life. I should have left the rite of resurrection well enough alone. The light to the man's life begins to fade as regret and anger wash over him in turns. If only I had accomplished it in the end. Alas, it's too late for that now. I am prepared for hell. Perhaps in another life I can fulfill my dreams. Even if this body perishes, I can atone for my sins. Oh, I wonder if this is... Simon's. Oh, my chat crashed. Chat, where'd you go? Oh, you are back. What did it, what did it, oh, you're back. Meanwhile, Yaka has um, to channel for 30 seconds. Like, what is this about? Literally. <laughs> Kills one who has become a curse bearer by means of the curse they possess. That's crazy. Because um, that Aka Ishi guy was saying that one of these memories was of Simon himself. 
But then he allegedly brought himself back to life. To him saying, I'm prepared for help, perhaps in another life I can fulfill my dreams. Maybe this is his. And he was saying he had a rival um, uh, on Miyoji Woman. <laughs> fucking, fucking OP, mate. Please, Niff. <laughs> That's crazy. I remember now. I remember everything. I, I know why I was brought here. That's right, earlier. What happened earlier? Tell me everything. Sick. Where am I? I see there's soap. Yes, that is correct. We finally have a confession. Someone's talking on the phone? Brother. Yes, yes. Quite stubborn. We had to use the maximum dose of truth serum. Not the truth serum. That's just not real. Truth serum. Did they drug me with something? There's someone behind me. Can I get a look at them? Yeah, my body won't move. Oh, this bitch! Oh, you are awake. <sighs> Your head must be beginning to clear right about now. You, Takumi? Shit, you tricked me! Such a harsh accusation. It was you who was being own cooperative. What did you do to me? What was that about a truth serum? I assure you, you have nothing to worry about. You are in no danger. That being said, there may be some side effects. Memory loss, brain fog. It was you. You were the one who hurt Hajime. <gasps> Try all you want. I'm not telling you shit. No matter. I already have everything I need. What? I'm in the middle of a call with the chairwoman. Why don't you have a rest while you wait? Hey, stop. Get away from me. No. Dead hey, stop. Nah, it's flat as fuck. Ugh. So conscious, if only barely. Concentrate. Focus on Takumi. All I need is the information I can glean from his conversation. Focus on Takumi. Correct. She does not seem to know where the blank is hidden. Hajime was the same. Yes, was unexpected, but... No, he really did do something to Hajime. Damn it, I'm fading. Take your head, stay awake. That was close. I have to keep listening. From Ariishi? Yes, exactly as planned. That's the teacher. As for Iwa, I expect yes, as soon as possible. He's dead. Yes, the curse will likely tomorrow, according to Ariishi. The Feast of Shadows? I can't. A little more. Wake up. Hey, wait. Yes, as long as we keep her in here, the curse will... Yes, she will certainly want to bring back her dead fiancé. Is he talking about me? Fading again. No. Let's gather. Anything I can learn? Yes, I will be leaving her here. I'll take the telephone with me. Ah, uh, yes. That is in the cabinet. It should pose no problem. <clears throat> the year of the company's founding. Oh! Oh! I can't hold on any longer. <gasps> it's okay. I got what I needed. I got what I needed. Yes. That man is Takumi of Hihako Soaps. He showed up to my hair salon about a month ago. He came to ask me to try out a new shampoo they'd made. He spoke about it again a few weeks later, but... That man looks like a fucking zombie. He's so weird. You suddenly started asking me about my fiance. I remember thinking that was pretty weird. Hihaku is a huge company, so I tried to be polite and answered all his questions. He wanted to know what kind of family Hajime came from, if there was anything special about them, or if he was an heir to anything. I thought it was so strange. I didn't give him any specifics. And then that night, he never came to the place we agreed to meet, so I went to where he said he'd be going, the former Yasuda Gardens. That's where I found his dead body. I was so distraught, I just ran away. I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. And then, after that, I decided to put all my hopes in that rite of resurrection everyone was talking about. I searched desperately for anything I could find about the seven mysteries of Honjo. And then... 
Takumi just showed up again. He told me that he knew something about how Hajime died. I thought I would just act interested in what he had to say, but I fell for it completely. Oh, jeez. Next thing I knew, I was locked up in this room. Pumped full of drugs and left here on the floor, barely even conscious. I spent the night dreaming of him, praying for the chance at the rite of resurrection. And at midnight last night, I got the curse of the beckoning light. Between the drugs and the curse I passed out, that must be why I lost my memory. But now I remember everything. It was Hihaku. They went after Hajime. They put me in here. What the freaking hell? If this is all because of the stupid ass soap company, that's gonna be so silly. <laughs> But they- but why did they have to kill him? Was that Hihaku's doing too? What could they have wanted with him? I knew his job was dangerous, but why would a company like that go after an officer in the juvenile division? Oh, I get it now. All of- all that about the shampoo was just to get to Hajime. Aww. Hajime. You were always the kind of guy who could shoulder any burden with a smile on your face. What burden were you carrying this time? Unrelated, but her hairstyle is so gorgeous, by the way. I'm swooning. I know, I love everything about her. She's so cute. No, wait, is that the coolest moon cat I know? Busa! Is that the coolest Hayabusa I know? Oh my god, welcome in. How are you? How are you? To be targeted by a company that's more than willing to kidnap and drug people? What is something you couldn't tell? Was it something you couldn't tell even me? Blush, I'm not cool. What? You come into my chat? You are cool. You are immediately cool. You, sp you want to spend time with me? You are immediately cool. In my eyes. And in my heart. True and real. <laughs> Takumi said he had gotten some kind of information out of me using the drug. Could I have had Hajime's secret somewhere in my memories? Did you get a second Easter ham? No! <laughs> Just the first one. That was made accidentally a week early. If I did, what could it have been? Did Hajime tell me something? Ugh, whatever it is, don't let me say one thing. Let me say one thing. Fuck you, Hiha Hihaku. I'm not about to let any of this- any of this go the way you want. Yeah, that's right. It's up to me to protect any secret that Hajime was trying to hide. I'll finish whatever it is he didn't get the chance to. After all, it's always been up to me to clean up your messes. Hey, yo! It's okay, whatever you got yourself involved in, I'm sure you had a good reason. We're gonna take them for all they got, just you wait and see. Yeah, we better fucking shut down this fucking soap company. Holy. Alright, it's about time I got out of this dump. Let's figure out when that fucking company opened. Holy. <sighs> <coughs> Jesus. Y'all are right, this lady is cool. Yeah, I'm liking her more and more. 1946. Bop. Takumi said something about this. He said he put something in here and locked it. So there's probably something in here. Should I try my luck with the lock? Enter number. 19. 46. Well. Genius cat! Huh. But how did the year Hihaku was established suddenly appear in my mind? I had an idea when it might have been, but did I really get that lucky? Now that I think about it, there's definitely something different in the air here. Is there another side effect of the drug or something else? Well, it doesn't matter right now. I should see what's in here. What is this thing? Well, I guess I might as well put it, pull it out. What the fuck? A fax machine? It looks sort of like a phone, but there's no receiver. Oh, I know. This is a fax machine. I've seen commercials for these on TV. What the fuck? gonna do with a fax machine oh my god i'm in a locked room what am i gonna do with a fax machine bro really i can send one to um harue i know she also has a fax machine <laughs> if i remember correctly it's used to send copies of documents to other people who have one what an age we live in where we can send letters to things without going through the mailman what an age we live in this means I can call for help without a telephone. I've never used one of these before, but if I can connect to the power and the phone line... Yeah, like what power and what phone line? We got power, now I just need to figure out who I can send it to. 
What else do I need? Found a bunch of paper in the cabinet. I just need a pen. Okay, I know where there's a pen. And I need a phone number for a fax machine to send this to. What am I going to do about that? You're no longer stinky, yippee, abyss. I'm so proud of you. Pen. Got a pen. Now I can write a message. Pen acquired. So I better check that it actually works. Okay. An oil-based pen. The tip is totally dry. I won't be able to write anything with this. Can't be fixed with nail polish remover. Huh? You can fix this with nail polish remover? What the? Why did that pop into my head all of a sudden? You know what? I don't know. That conversation was important, I guess. Might as well give it a try. If this is one of Hihaku's warehouses, there just might be some nail polish remover somewhere. Like, here? What was in these cardboard boxes again? Disposed bottles and soaps. I wonder if there could be... Nail polish remover! There's no label, but I'm sure that's what it is. Okay. Alright, so if I use this... Nail polish remover, use on pen. Ding! But the pen has been soaked in the nail polish remover. Should be able to use the pen now, at least for a while. Okay, use the pen. Work now that I... Okay. You said you got... Uh... Paper? Where's the paper? Magazine? The weekly magazine. It's a fairly recent issue. The cover story is an interview with the chairwoman of Hyaku Soap's not interested. Use the paper, though! Uh... Use the paper? Did you use that? Quite a collection of words. Okay, no. Oh, can I take this off with the nail polish remover? Yes! Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, a whole memory! Hajime, thanks for waiting! Second draft of One Slide Done? Yay! Good job, Mimi. What's wrong? You're wasting that handsome face of yours looking like that. Hmm, you think? I think I'm still plenty handsome. Can't argue with that. Mimi, I- I kid you not. Look at this. Suichi? Hajime? And Makoto. <laughs> All three protagonists! All three protagonists! <laughs> Spike had to do it to us. Actually, is this Spike Chinsa? Yeah, it is. It is. It is. They did my boy Makoto dirty as well. Yeah, not only, not only is he um, ugly as fuck, um, but he's also a disgusting serial killer. So I don't know why they would do that to him. <sighs> this is fucking rude. It is uh, Komagata High School. Ajime was a cop, a really cool cop. Bichi is a kid. I thought it said Komai. Oh no, <laughs> no, those are the only three references. <laughs> you were not meeting with that girl today, uh, Hitomi, I mean? Uh, no, she's off doing who knows what. That's too bad, I just found, uh, a hair catalog. I thought it would be perfect for her. Seems like you're pretty worried about her. Yeah, she reminds me of myself at that age. I can't help but worry. You think? I'd say she's a little ball of sunshine compared to what you were like. Shut up, I'm talking emotionally. She needs an adult who can understand how she feels. She's like a kitten. She thinks everyone around her is out to get her, so she bites at them. Ah! Hang, 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 hang! Ah, uh, you might be right. So tell her I wanted to see her, will you? Sure, I'll do that, but... The other girl I ran into the other day is a tough case. Oh, she might be something else if you don't know how to deal with her. No, it's not really that kind of thing. Some people just have so much misfortune thrown at them. What do you mean by that? Well, I can't really get into the details. But she might have the, the talisman I've been looking for. That it was a memento from her father. Could we really be related? Related? But it's not like I can just take it from her. What 
are you mumbling about? Who's related to who? Ah, sorry, it's nothing. Hey, you can't eat Mimi's project because it's my lore video. Grr. You want my tail instead? <laughs> Fans! Hello! It's um, about the thing with your family, isn't it? Is she the one who has piece of the the book that your ancestor left behind <gasps> the 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 yin yin yang thingy that we need oh you've activated my curse card <laughs> spence were you not here when we had that conversation <laughs> I, we had this whole conversation about, about what, what we put on our tacos, right? I was like, what do you guys put on your tacos? And we talked about it for like 10 minutes. And I was like, yeah, people here usually do like, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. We do cheese, ground beef, little diced tomatoes, olives, this and that. Everybody, especially Cat Dad, was making fun of me. Like, what do you mean olives on tacos? What do you mean? And out loud, I said tacos. But the whole time in my head, I was thinking nachos. But I said tacos out loud. But I was thinking of nachos the whole time. Even though chat said, kept saying tacos over and over, in my head, I was thinking of nachos the whole damn time we were talking about it. <laughs> but listen, I was fighting the final boss of Demon Souls. I was a little distracted. I was, um, you know, my head was other places. So, you know. Uh, listen. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Maybe, how do you know that? God, I forget how dense you are sometimes. How long have we been dating now? Besides, you're the one who came crying to me about it when you got wasted that one time. Okay, no, it is better. Thank you, Ezano. Thank you. I was thinking nachos. <clears throat> yeah, if you were fi yeah, I was fighting the final boss of Demon Souls. <laughs> final boss. <laughs> Rambling about how this old book you're supposed to inherit is hidden in these two talismans. Oh, it's hidden in the talismans? What? Too much RAM allocated to focusing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So my brain was thinking nachos, but my mouth was talking about tacos. <laughs> and that something was giving you a bad feeling about it and you need to be careful. Oh, right. And that's all I know, though. And I was, wasn't planning to try and pry any further. My brain is telling me not just, but my body is ready for tacos. <laughs> but if it's something important you need to protect, then what are you waffling about? But you know what? Tacos and na nachos are basically the same fucking thing. If you think about it. If you, if you like hard tacos, ta taco shells, aren't they the same thing? If you like hard taco shells, if you eat your if you eat your tacos with hard taco shells, isn't that basically the same thing as nachos? <laughs> Pop! <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> if you just crush up your taco shells. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> okay, I take it back. I take it back. Sorry, I offended you. Hard taco shell is just a giant bent nacho chip, if you think about it. That's what I'm saying. You'd have to be desperate. Yeah, you would have to be desperate. You would have to be desperate. See, the thing with me is because I have... Because I have bad teeth... I wouldn't be able to eat a hard taco shell. I wouldn't be, e be able to eat a taco with a hard taco shell. So I'd have to crush it up and eat it like fucked up, like a salad or like a 
like nachos. <clears throat> That's why I always get soft taco shells. Real restaurant nacho chips taste so much better. This is true. This is true. I'm not saying I would be like, I'm going to have some nachos and buy ta hard taco shells. That's absolutely not what's, what would happen. You need to be fed like a baby bird. It's true. <laughs> I, they're much better now that I've got them, that I have like fucking like fake teeth, but... I said they're basically the same, but I didn't say that I would, they're, they're the same in essence, but they're not the same in taste or quality. Real tacos don't use hard taco shells. Are, are hard taco shells like a, a thing that, that people just like made up? Like in Mexico, would you ever, ever would you ever find a hard taco shell? I'm I'm genuinely curious. Like, is that not a real? Is that not a? Is, is that like is that something fucking? <laughs> is that something like Americans made up? I meant like Americans. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. They're the same, but they're not the same. Yeah. Yeah. The same in essence, but not in quality. Don't click at me. I will click all I want. So like, so like authentic tacos, you're never going to go to a Mexican restaurant and they're never going to give you hard, hard taco shells. Hard taco shells are only acceptable if they're like two inches max in diameter and therefore bite size. Ah, that makes sense. That makes a lot more sense. I would eat hard taco shells if they were like that bite size. Yeah. But like a full ass taco, like I hate that. And then, and then because then when you're eating hard taco shells and then like the bit, like when you bite it, like, more of it, like, chips off, and then the toppings fucking fall out all over the place. Like, it's a fucking mess. It's a shit show. Why would you want to eat a taco like that? It's terrible. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, it's dumb. I don't like it. <laughs> Not a fan. Yeah, definitely inferior. Yeah. A man definitely came up with that invention. <laughs> Definitely. Pop, I'm so sorry you came in here and I said something that greatly offended you. I did not mean for it to offend you. I only meant it in the sense that they were they they are alike in essence. But I would never say, hey, I want some nachos and go buy some hard taco shells. And then I would never say, hey, I want some tacos and buy and buy scoops, totes, tostitos. <laughs> I would never do that. Wow. <laughs> Abyss, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking dying. Yes, I'm sure I would never do that. I would never do that. I'm I'm fucking dying at the fact that like do I really say it that often that that get that that got stuck in your head? I would never I would never do that. I like my I like buying the tostitos rounds. Ah! What are you waffling about? Hmm? No, let's not talk about the fat. No, let's not. They're not because they're flat. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Mayo. I feel better now. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> this game randomly <laughs> just scares the shit out of me for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the scoop ones. No, they're not because they're all like wavy edged. They're all weird. Oh, it just so happened to get stuck in my head that day. Wow. Wow. I was saying we should make a we should make a sound alert. You guys can randomly redeem me going wow. <laughs> oh, that's right. Did you hear the mockingbirds were seen in Honjo? Huh? That came out of nowhere. Mocking what now? It's an urban legend about these bird stickers that show up out of nowhere. I was always kind of curious about them, but I never thought they'd be in Honjo. There may be a bunch showing up all over town, so we gotta keep an eye out. Feeling alright? What's going into you? Waluigi. Wah! No, not that kind. My. Wah! Wah! <laughs> Your baby edge? You, you damn right. What's so special about these birds? Come on, one of them is a penguin with a pompadour. Yeah, we saw that one! He's really cute! You can't tell me that's one of the greatest things you've ever seen. <laughs> that's so dumb. <laughs> I liked the penguin with the pompadour. He looks like Mondo. That's right. He was trying to protect something left to him. Could that be the information that Hihaku wanted? Yay! There he is. We got him. Okay, so I'm looking for paper. Can I have some paper? Need a pen and a phone number. I have a pen and some paper. Okay, she has the paper. Now I only need a phone number. Do I know anywhere that has a fax machine? Do we have... Do we have her phone number? Why would we have her phone number? Oh, Abyss, let me give you the glasses for free. Her design is fire, isn't it cute? Uh... Mm. Remember that I heard the rules of the Rider of Resurrection when I got this curse stone. The killing other people to bring someone back is all the question. Hajime would never accept sacrificing another person to bring him- bring back himself. None of this was ever an option to begin with. The way we lived... Ever since we were kids, we were always ready to die if that's what it came to. We'd never take our foot off the gas just because we were scared of death. We were never such big fans of living anyways. That's why we were always prepared for it. I used to wonder if we took things a little too lightly. Aww, they're a sweet couple. But that's just how much we trusted each other. Though I have no use for some shitty right. And that's the truth, Hajime. How would we get... Anywhere with a phone number? I know, I don't know what it is. I'm 35. I have literally everything else. These two things. Um. 
Everyone misses 26? Ain't no way. <clears throat> I know of anywhere that has a fax machine. Yeah, I do, but... How do I get the number? You wouldn't know about that place, though. If I, if I had the number like in my file somewhere, it would give me the option to type it in, right? Or something. So, yeah, so I, I have to suspend for now. I don't have enough information. Let's go to base. You can suspense for now. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, yeah, okay, and then I was stuck there. So let's go back here to man. Well, not back here. Let's go here to manhunt. Having learned the location of Najima's hideout from Machio, Satsumi and Erio request backup. Um, oh, I can go. Oh, because we know that she's there now. It's okay, it's fine. <laughs> but what can I do here? Whisper might be lurking in the vicinity, I'm gonna go check. I think I find anyone who looked apart. I think might have changed. If your eyes appeal. Doesn't seem like anyone's been here for some time. I feel like needs to do some kind of signal, like some smoke or something. But you need to continue? I need a phone number to fax to. And I know she has a fax. What if I go... Hold on. Whoops. What if I go back to her house? And get the number. Axe machine. Oh! Why? Why are they blanked out? Why are they freaking blanked out? The number for our home is 63 blank, 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 blank. Damn, is everything okay? I'm fine. There's just something I wanted to check. Is that so? Why is it censored? <laughs> why is it censored? Brother! 690420. <laughs> okay. That's the number. It happened again. The number for a fax machine just popped into my head. There's no way all this info you is coming from my own brain. Could someone be sending me their thoughts? Yeah, it's me, Sky, the Moon Goddess VTuber. Never mind, I have to focus. Let's get this message sent. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Now, I need to tell them where I am. I can tell them everything I know about this place. They should be able to figure out where it is. First, I know I'm in a building owned by Hihako, a factory or a warehouse. As for the address, it should be close. Uh, 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 here. That's right. My curse echo is the beckoning of light. That means this place must be near the. The Ho'onji Bridge. Okay, time to send it. 
The flame said, smiley face. All right. If the machine I sent it to is connected, it should be sent. I uh, wait, please, somebody. Please. End. We did it. Complete the Mayu branch of chapter two. Okay, let's go back. Resume. The jump scare didn't work. What happened, Spence? Yo, they didn't have to go hard on her ass like that? What do, what do you mean? <laughs> the sound alerts are on. I don't know why it didn't work. <clears throat> yeah, she's super cute. Hello? Hello? I know Ricky. Worked earlier. Your sound alerts browser is offline. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> it's Michael Jackson! She was indeed. <laughs> okay, fix it. He's about to pull a chamuna. A chamuna. What the fuck? Get your shit together. It wasn't Twitch. It was sound alerts. Telling you, got bored the fuck out because of all the crystal. I do I swear to God? This bear might be lurking. Okay, now can you check? Oh wait, we have to go to her house and see the message. I'm fucking dumb. I'm dumb. We gotta go get them. A message in a bottle. A message in a fax machine. Sending out an SOS. Oh, the phones? You might guess you wouldn't want to keep them waiting. Thank you, I shouldn't be long. You, you cannot redeem hi, I'm new, woo. Hello, uh, Shigima residence. Oh, it wasn't the phone. What's wrong? Ah, uh, nothing. It's just the fax machine. I'm still not quite used to it. Oh, this is a fax machine. Amazing! So this is how they look. This is incredible! Goodbye to snail mail. Am I right? This is the future. Yep, this is the future. I didn't think it would excite you so much. Oh, oh, something came out! Is it finished? I could watch this thing all day. Huh? Sending out a dong on dong! Some BL? Let's go. What is this? It looks like it was written in pen, but... What's it say? What's it say? Um... It says, help. I'm trapped in a Hihaku Soaps warehouse or factory near Ho Honjo Bridge. Huh? Hihaku! Why would somebody send me such a message? Am I being pranked? No, this is too fishy to be a coincidence. I wouldn't put it past Hihaku to have someone locked up if it's got anything to do with procuring the right. We should check it out. Hopefully we don't find anything so sinister. Oh, you're gonna find something sinister, all right. 
you're gonna find some things in it, sir. Prince Sky, don't print me! First echo scene there, and you receive a fishy, fishy fax. Surely, it's surely not. <laughs> After looking around, I determined the abandoned factory is indeed Hahaku's, an abandoned factory near the Honju Bridge. Everything lines up. So the person who faxed us for help is in there? Let's find out. If there's nothing, we should wrap up fast. Um, but isn't this place locked? Don't underestimate me, ma'am. I can make short work of a simple little lock like this. Hey, yo, he's a lock picker. What else can he unlock? My heart? Ah. Oh my, you are truly something else. Please be careful then. Gen Z like, oh shit. This is a fax machine? <laughs> Never seen one. <laughs> All right, let's go manhunt. We can't do uh, we can't do the next one yet. We have to get these done. So let's go manhunt. Having learned the location of Nejima's hideout from Michio, Tsumi, and Erio, request backup from HQ for Nejimi's arrest as their manhunt picks up speed. Uh, 4 p.m. We're running out of time. From HQ to all bureaus. Our officers have discovered the residence of a paroled offender, Fumichika Nejima, currently wanted under suspicion of criminal threat. Suspect escaped his residence prior to officer's arrival and is now at large in Sumida City. Suspect is thought to be fleeing on foot. All bureaus are instructed to pursue, ensuring that he does not take refuge indoors. Wee, 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 wee. Furthermore, Sussex is believed to possess a weapon capable of causing large-scale casualties. All officers are instructed to exercise extreme caution in their pursuit, remaining vigilant for signs of explosives and poisonous gas. Warm air suit garden. Why are we here? Is this the address? Sorry, boss. I tracked down Ojima's safe house, but he um, legged it just before we got. Fuck! Not your fault. We should have known he'd be on the lookout for us. We've got officers all over town. It's only a matter of time before we bag him. Damn. The rest of the town's crawling with police, but there's practically no one here. We've been running ourselves ragged all day. It's nice to finally stop and catch our breath. Running out of daylight? I know. They weaponized the streamer Stanky. Hey! <laughs> no way. Sad. Birdie sticker? This place is like an oil painting. It's so different from the rest of the game. Oh! Owl! Woohoo! Stop searching the trees for birds! I found a bird in a tree before! What do you mean stop searching? It's the know it owl! Oh, I changed my shirt, boss. No need for B.O. check. The hell? Why would I be trying to sniff your pit stink? Wait, it's not what you were doing before? I don't know where you got that idea, but you can put it right back where it came from. Put that thing back where it came from, Marcel. Help me! So help me! So help me! I'll get you in the mood for a good whiff someday. <laughs> Stick my career on it. Hell no, not even for your career. What the fuck? So boss, what are we doing here anyway? Oh my god. What? <laughs> what the fuck? I figured Najima might show up. Call it a hunch, but he used this place as a hideout 20 years ago. Fair enough, but will he even remember it after so long? You never know. Remember that mugshot of Najima we circulated? I think it was from when he got out on parole, but except for a few wrinkles, he looked just like he did 20 years ago. Yeah, no idea how he kept up that kept up that weight on the prison diet. That's a stroke of luck though, isn't it? It means he'll be easy to spot. See, there's something bothering me about that. Wait, are they circulating? Wait, are they circulating this picture? Because bro be looking like this. They ain't gonna find him if they're circulating the first picture. <clears throat> We've got every officer in the area looking for him, but no one's seen a damn thing. Which makes me wonder, what if we're looking for the wrong fit? Yeah, brother, my brother. You mean he slimmed down? Why didn't Yako give them a description? But it's only been a half a year since he made parole. Could he really lost that much weight in just six months? Well, he must look different enough that no one's recognized him when he started working at Komagata High. 
Good point, but that means the photo we've got is useless. <sighs> oh, these police officers. <laughs> um, I know we didn't see anyone when we looked around before, but maybe we should check again. Don't bother, it's only been a few minutes. Let's take a second to sit and think. Aye aye boss, break time it is. Huh, hey boss. Hmm. I think I hear something coming from those bushes over there. You sure it ain't the wind? Hello, is anybody there? Oh! <gasps> no way. No oh, way, it's him. Well, I'll be down. Hey you, let me ask you something. And how can I help you two find gents? Huh? Do I know you? I swear I've seen you somewhere before. Brady ain't gonna charm anyone with that tired old line, sir. Not even this old timer. Ain't hard to get, eh? My mistake. Anyway, what's your business here? Just enjoying a moment to myself since I got the day off. I like it here. It's peaceful. We're looking for someone. Mind if we ask you some questions? Sounds like a lucky man, sir, to have a strapping gent like yourself after him. Oh my god, what's gonna happen, dude? This one's business, not pleasure. I've dedicated my life to putting this guy behind bars. You can say that again, boss. You can say that again. Boss put in so many hours, even his wife and kid left him. Ariel, you need to cut it out with that shit. Enough, Ariel. You set him off. Sorry to hear that, sir, but if you glared at them like that all day, I can't say I blame him. Wahaha. Ha. Not that, not that. If you're gonna wahaha ha at him, he's gonna know you're an evil guy. You can't evil laugh like that. Oh, that's it. The guy I'm after used to laugh just like that. Is that? See? <laughs> you sure you haven't seen him? Oh, no, sir. Don't know anyone like that, sir. But with a laugh like that, he must be bad to the bone. He's a nasty piece of work, all right, but maybe he can still do the right thing. You'd like to think so, eh? Here we go. Call for backup. Hey, yo! You mean that's him? Ah, get him! Wait! I'll go after him. You get back up! Okay, I'm on it. <gasps> get that bitch. Get that fucking motherfucker. Why didn't you send the strapping young man to run after him? From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect has been sighted in the former Yusuda Gardens and is fleeing towards Kamagasa Bridge. There you go. Go the long way around. We'll trap him on the bridge. Got it. Give it up, Nejima. <gasps> You're surrounded. There's no way out. Shoot him in the knee! Hey now, you're really gonna pull that thing on poor old me? What do you mean, poor old me? I'm gonna fucking kick you in the nuts. When did you boys in blue get so trigger happy around unarmed civilians? Unarmed my ass, we know what, what, we know what the curse, you, what? We know what the curse you're packing is capable of. Okay, I got it. But we also know it can't do shit in the daylight, so give it up and come quietly. Can't do shit in daylight, eh? What do you think I am, some third rate amateur? I'm a goddamn black magician. Okay, sure, bud. No way. Can black magic really do that? Like hell I can. He's pulling that out of his ass. Black magic is from the west and these curses are Japanese. They don't do anything. They don't have anything to do with each other. Besides, if he could use curses while the sun was up, he wouldn't have given us till dusk. Ooh, nice of you to take me on my word on that. Now that he was out of the picture, I'm shit out of options. Good to know. Sounds like it won't take much to get you to give up. Careful now, I might just be desperate enough to try something. And the kid over there might just be def desperate enough to shoot. Bit of a wild card, huh? Okay. Damn, his hands are starting to shake. Being face to face with Nejima must be getting to him. I have every confidence he won't, but God, I hope he doesn't crack under pressure and fire. Ariel, if he makes any funny moves, shoot him. Listen to me, boss. I'll get him right between the eyes. Whoa, whoa, easy there, hotshot. I don't know if you're serious, but think about what you're saying here. If I really am unarmed, you'll be all over the news faster than you can say excessive force. My boss will take the fall, so that's fine by me. You're shitting me. This guy's a basket case. And a, and a damn good officer. Fuck me, you got spirit, kid. I'll give you that. Give yourself up and this will all be over. Folks are starting to gather. That's no surprise, uh, given the scene we're causing. But if Nijima is packing explosive, he won't need a curse to cause a bloodbath. These idiots need to get out of here, but they won't listen. Why do rubberneckers always... A balls of steel. <laughs> True. <clears throat> I doubt he can pull off what he's th threatening, but we can't be too cautious here. Uh, and if we try to take him down by force, things could get sticky. If I keep him talking, maybe I can get him to drop his guard or even take him down. I just have to be careful not to provoke him. Best case scenario is we get him in cuffs. Next best is we steal his curse stone. Either way, I need to get some idea of how his curse works or I'll be flying blind. 
<laughs> Welcome back, Abyss. You're back just in time. We freaking cornered the serial killer. <gasps> Cover letter done. Application sent. Yay, Chai. Yippee. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Okay. Nejima looks nothing at all like I remember him. Did he really starve him so skinny just for this? Is he that hellbent on revenge? Okay. <clears throat> if you want to talk, I'll talk. But first, you got to put that thing away. I can't think straight with a gun in my face. Fine. Fine. Ariel, put the gun away. Alright. But I'm ready to tackle him if he makes any set of moves. Be my guest. Thank you kindly. I can breathe a little easier now. You could breathe even easier if you stop smoking. You have a curse stone of the one for the one-sided reed? Of course I do. Take a look. Okay, he isn't that's it, alright. Whoops, better put it somewhere safe. Wouldn't want something to happen to it. How did you find out about the curse stones? Uh, they don't have anything to do with black magic. Someone else turned you onto them, didn't they? That puffed up teacher Ari Ishii couldn't shut up about them. He's desperate for a chance to flaunt his smarts. All I had to do was act impressed. Oh my gosh. Now to have lunch because it's already 2.10. Yeah. Um, I take forever doing a couple others. I haven't even had lunch. Literally just a couple of bananas for breakfast. Just a little bit of coffee. Yay, lunch time! Mm hmm. This still doesn't explain how you learn so much so fast. Curses and black magic ain't as different as you seem to think. As far as I'm concerned, they're just two ways of harassing paranormal, harnessing paranormal powers. Harassing paranormal powers. You sure there isn't more to it? All that matters is whether that power is the real deal. All this curse is very real, as you well know. Jokes on you, Nejima. Don't you know the one-sided read is a fake dropped in with the rest? Oh, give it a rest. I've tested it myself. Do you use that thing on people? Son of a bitch. When something this special falls into your lap, you gotta take it for a spin. I'm just good at covering my tracks. Good enough not to get caught, at least. Let me guess. You're back to your old tricks, attacking schoolgirls in the middle of the night? Ah, so you know about that, huh? One of the brats put up a fight. Bought enough time for the other one to get away, so I went ahead and called it quits. Sounds like your curse is a real pain to set off. Nah, I had that sorted way beforehand, but she pulled some kind of spirit bullshit on me. I would have gotten the little bitch eventually, um, I just didn't have the time. Way beforehand, huh? Interesting. Yeah, that was another timeline. <sighs> Fruit and coffee is such a good combo, though. I'm on that apple and coffee train lately. Ooh. I really want to buy some strawberries and have, like, strawberry Nutella. Last Sunday? Um, Kenzie said she was having some, and I was like, oh, bro, that sounds so good. If you think puzzling out my curse is gonna help, don't bother. Why not? Because you won't be able to do shit about it either way. I'll let you in on a secret. I could fuck up a good few hundred people right now if I wanted to. A few hundred. Yeah, now you're getting it. I could kill any one of them at any time. Then I guess we got ourselves a situation. You're telling me your curse can kill people you can't even see? Seems a bit unfair. If you can really do that, why'd you even bother showing up in person last night? I wanted to make sure the curse worked, and I figured I'd need to clean up after. Last night. <clears throat> that was threat. That massacre you told me about on the phone, did you mean it? Every word, don't you worry, soon you'll have the case of a lifetime. Oh yeah, and how are you gonna pull it off? Like I'm gonna tell you, dumbass. But I'll give you one thing for free. I never had to wait till sundown. I just wanted to make sure you'd really hate me for this. Pretty sure I hate you plenty already. That ain't shit. I need more hatred out of you. More, more, more. Needy son of a bitch, ain't ya? Oh, I'm not done. Just wait till you see what I've got in store for what you really care about. You should be quaking in your fucking boots. That's not gonna happen. She's got enough to worry about without your sorry ass getting in her hair. <laughs> now that's more like it. There's the face I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh, no, fucking weirdo. I'm a man of my word, as you're about to find out. About his curse. Thank you for the look, Chai. You've seriously got your curse locked onto several hundred people? That's one hell of a curse stone you're packing. These things sure ain't made equal. And of course you got the nasty one of all the shitty luck. <laughs> I, I'm told I pulled a good one. Told by who? Whoops, I've said too much. Whoa. I knew it. Someone fed you all this info. I don't know what you're talking about. Who was it? 
Oh. But black magic. What's it, uh, what's it been, Nejima? 20 years you've been studying black magic? And now you're just giving it all up for Eastern curses? I didn't know you... I didn't have you down for a cheater. Hey now, black magic screwed me over first. You can't blame a man for going with a girl who can't meet his needs. Screwed you over how? Because your resurrection ritual didn't work? That was the real point of the murders, wasn't it? Must have been rough putting in all that work for no payoff. Imagine my surprise when I finally found out what you were really after. So now you're trying again with the rite of resurrection, taking the chance to spit in my eye while you do it. Mmm. Guy, a coffee cat, a tea cat, or an energy drink cat? I like tea and energy drinks. No coffee, though. Tell me, Nejima. Who is it you want to resurrect so damn bad? Who is it you've spent 20 years chasing? It's the mother of that baby, ain't it? <gasps> you had a partner. And though you never put a ring on her, the two of you had a kid. But then she died, maybe she got sick, maybe she got in an accident. But either way, she left you and the kid all alone in the world. Tell me I'm wrong, Nijima. It's her you're trying to bring back, isn't it? Maybe the kid is... Um... Uh, Mayu. The one who's stuck in the factory. I've seen for myself just how many folks are pining their hopes on this rite of resurrection. And I can tell you this, it ain't natural and it ain't gonna lead to anything good. So... If all you ever needed was someone to help you deal with the pain, then... Okay. God, you're so fucking stupid, huh? Is that really what you think? That's hilarious. You don't know a goddamn thing. What? Damn it, for a second there, I really thought you were going to talk him down, boss. Listen up, chump. I'll tell you what really happened 20 years ago. What really happened? You got half of it, right? I did have a loving girl back once, sweet as could be. She knows what she went by, though I couldn't tell you if that was her real name. Don't know where she came from either. She traveled, I think. Might have been an angel for all I know. She sure seemed like one to me. But then she got sick, and just like that, she was gone. My guess is that it was the pollution, but I never knew for sure. Couldn't afford a decent doctor. My life after that was a living hell. <coughs> <coughs> Until I found this grimoire in an old bookstore. A grimoire, huh? <clears throat> it told of a resurrection ritual. Black magic that could bring Shino back. So I was right. Not exactly, see? Who said the ritual didn't work? You said it yourself. Black magic screwed you over. Oh, it screwed me, all right. But it worked just fine. What's that supposed to mean? See, the ritual didn't, doesn't bring back the person as they were when they died. It's more like reincarnation, rebirth. Oh, so the baby was his lover. Rebirth? Wait. Oh no, oh hell no. You mean that baby? Damn right, the resurrection ritual brought Shino back to me as a fucking baby. You gotta be kidding me. You're telling me that wasn't her kid? That was her in the flesh? The hell I am! That little brat was not my Shino! Her mind was gone, she was totally helpless, she didn't even know who I was. Her warm arms, her gentle voice, gone, gone, gone. There wasn't a damn thing left of her. What the hell did you expect? She was a baby! If you really cared about her, you would have grown some balls and acted like a father. Fuck that. I snatched sacrifices off the street for her, chopped them to pieces for her, and that's what I get? A screaming little bundle of shit and piss? That wasn't my Shino. Give me back her softness. Give me back her warmth. Give her back to me. You just left the baby to die? I knew you were scum, but you really are the lowest of the low. Look me in the eye and tell me that if your wife turned into a baby, you'd love her just the same. What the fuck, dude? It's just a baby. I can't say long, but I just want to say ski is cute and very not stinking back. I love you. Mwah. Thank you for popping in. I love you so much. Streamer, if you turned into a worm, would you still love me? <laughs> How could I do that when I couldn't even be sure if it was really her? 
Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get that you're human garbage who doesn't care about anyone but himself. No! Abyss! So now you're going after the Rite of Resurrection in the hopes you'll get luckier this time? Luck doesn't come into it. The Rite really works. There's proof. And what happens if you get the same results? If your Shino comes back as a baby again? Ugh. Shut up! Don't put that lie in my head. It'll work this time. It has to. What the fuck, brother? And Sky is a worm. Straight to the jar. Oh my god, not the jar, please. <laughs> please, not the jar. <laughs> He repeated the process four times in total each time he... while cleaning up after his fourth kill a disappointed umichika noticed an emaciated baby nearby oh in his house but it have been shino oh. what the heck i hate how context sensitive the jar is nowadays i i used to live in in pure bliss not knowing what the jar was you have nice dirt in the jar, nothing else? Okay. Came back to my room because I thought the sound stopped working. But you were reading silently? Yeah, sorry. It was just- it was explaining about how he chopped up his victim, so I was like, I don't need to read this out loud again. <clears throat> Fuck! It doesn't matter, I'm through with black magic. Is that why you gave your grimoire to Iwa? I figured he could use it. I put a lot of work into getting him to believe that sort of stuff. Fine then, keep your mouth shut, but I do know one thing. Um, all that about being able to use your curse during the day, it's bullshit, just a bluff. Oh, is that what you think? Your back's to the wall, you still haven't used your curse. Is uh, If you really could pull the plug at any time, you've done it by now. Wahaha, <laughs> now that's the Tsutsumi I know. Fine, I admit it. It's exactly like you said. If I could have used my curse, I would have. So I did. Huh? There should be a few new corpses around the city right about now. You sure you should be pointing guns at me when people are dying across the city? What? When did you... Hey, Ariel! Get someone to check that out! Um, don't... Just don't take your eyes off Nijima. Hey, hey, boss. Hey, need someone over here? Yeah, that's right. Get to earning that paycheck. If you don't see to him soon, there'll be plenty more on the way. However, will you get out of this mess? The longer you keep me here, the more people die. That's blood on your hands. Bullshit, you're bluffing. Think what you like, you'll see soon enough. So what the fuck do I do now? Now that he used his curse, he's got to be blowing smoke up our asses, but if he's not, what's his game here? Is he just stalling for time, or does he have some way to turn the tables? They're combing the town for casualties now, but it's going to take a while. Ooh, sounds like you you get better... Sounds like you better get to work. Work. Ah, oh, what the fuck are you doing here? What the... Whoa, back up, back up, back up. The hell is she doing here? Crap, our eyes just met. This is bad, real bad. Why'd she have to pick now of all times? Get out of here, damn it. Book it before he sees you. But I need to ask her about Nag Namigaki. Shit. Boss, what are you doing? Looking all over the place. Focus. Ah. <gasps> damn it. 
fuck, he's fast. Ayame, get away! Ah. Well, well, well. Ayame Tono, I've been looking for you for a very long time. Huh? What? Dad? Ayame, don't you dare, you bastard. Get away from her. Oh. Get over here! Get off your hoodie, mate! Ah, ah, ah. Stay right where you are. She dies. Hey, get back here. Make me see you around, dumb fucks. No, not the, not the dumb fucks. Whoa! That piece of shit took Ayame hostage and ran off with her. After him, we can't let him get away! Uh oh. Not the dumb fucks. He's bad at insults. I'm sorry! I didn't know what to do next! From HQ to all bureaus. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's away. He got away. Suspect has evaded capture at Komagata Bridge and remains at large. He is currently on the run with one female hostage. <sighs> I gotta say, boss, we really screwed that one up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. <coughs> it's my fault. All we can do now is hope he doesn't slip the net. We know his identity now, boss. He can't run forever. Come on, keep your chin up. I'm sure the hostage will be all right. I hope so. I can't believe that was your daughter. How crazy is that? Yeah. We've been trying to get a hold of her since this morning. She just shows up there? Who would have thought? What a twist of fate. If she wasn't a fucking selfish, fucking self-centered piece of poo-poo and just fucking went to the police to be protected and didn't fucking show up to where we were fucking on a 1v1 with the serial killer that wanted her dead, why was she there? A bit too twisted for a twist for my liking. I think... You need to breathe there, boss. You're not making sense. Whatever. Does this mean she was the one in the car with Namigaki? No, we don't know that yet. Let's see what she has to say before we jump to any conclusions. You sound tired, boss. That standoff must have really done a number on you. Come on, let's shoot ourselves to some Mitsumame. That'll put a spring in your step. It looked like he was about to fucking kill him. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm sure it might be just what I need to get my brain working. Whoa, hold on, boss. Sounds like patrols just got a message. I'll go check it out. 1v1, no items, box only. Come on, God's a bridge. Good thing. Please be good news. Please be good news. Bad news. She's dead. Good news, boss. They found Nejima. Okay, great. No shit. What about the hostage? I don't know. They just said come quick. Okay. She beat the shit out of him. <laughs> Let's go! Girl power! I love women. Damn it, guess we'll find out when we get there. <laughs> It was discovered in the gardens, beaten to death. The body suffered 110 distinct instances of blunt force trauma, the case being treated as a homicide. The deceased uh, possessions have not been recovered and appear to have been taken post-mortem. Deserved. The location of the deceased, deceased female hostage remains unclear. Police continue to pursue her as a person of interest. I mean... That was pretty funny. That was pretty fucking funny. That was pretty fucking funny. He said he wouldn't love her as a worm. She said, um... What? <laughs> she said, um, pardon? <coughs> Alrighty then, huh? But I just have to talk to him again? Okay, he's going Super Saiyan! I'll slit your throat, you little shit! Oh, don't actually shoot, you idiot. Oh, he had his gun. Be around, dumb fucks. Dot, dot, the dumb fucks again. He jumped. Damn it, after him. Don't let him get away. Okay, he's getting away again. All right. They are bad at this. They are bad at this. Mm hmm. Suspect evaded officers. 
Uh, time at which he threatened to carry out his attack is approaching. In response, we will call in reinforcements and widen the search parameter beyond the immediate Smita River area. Oh dear, he's not looking too good. Boss. Ah, uh, boss, boss. Boss, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. If only I hadn't lost my nerve and opened fire. Enough, I told you already, it's on me. I should have told you to lower your weapon. Thinking that chasing him to the river would corner him also was a miscalculation. Sure, it's possible that right now he's sleeping with the fishes at the bottom of the river, but somehow I doubt things would be that easy. You think he really can kill hundreds of people? Who knows? Him saying he already used his curse turned out to be a bluff. Hard to believe he could kill hundreds at once, even with the curse stone, but... All we can do is pray that he was lying. The condition of Nejima's curse stone, the one-sided reed, was only later discovered. Killed by dismemberment by whose face, address, name, age, occupation, and location are all known by the curse bearer. Well, that's very specific. There's no way he can kill hundreds. And so at sunset that day. Because he was at the. That's bad. That's bad. What Nejima went on to use his enormous horde of soul drags for remains unclear. But according to later reports, Nejima devoted himself to his master, a woman called Lady Ashino. Ashimi is bad ending. Wow. Um. Who the fuck is Lady Ashino? I don't know. Literally the worst timeline. Literally the worst. There's no There's nothing else we can do there? Really? Until we go here? <clears throat> we need the um we need to stop the we need this we need the yin we need the yin scroll. <clears throat> Fuck me. Having regained control of herself, Yako rejoins Mio on their search for the record of Fate's Yin Scroll so that they can stop the curse. However, they find themselves with scarcely any leads to follow. These- it, everything depends on these two fucking high schoolers. <laughs> I know we're supposed to be finding that record of Fate's Yin Scroll thing, but... It sure would be nice if we had more of a lead to work with. Right now, our only option is to try and trace the bloodline that the Omnyoji Seimen uh, to today. 
But he's not a legitimate descendant of his family, so the library doesn't have anything about it. Funny that we're doing this last, really. And since we got nothing so far, we find ourselves here. There were a bunch of police cars speeding by here earlier. I wonder if something happened. Must be. I've seen a few police officers and they look like they were on edge. But Inspector Suzumi have let that Najima escape and everyone's scrabbling to find him? Oh, after all that effort we've put into gathering information, that would be unfortunate. You actually can't do here until you do all the other stuff. Convenient. I'm just a pro gamer. Are there any burbs here? Oh my god, Mio, you scared me. You're very close. Why are you so close to me? Why are you so obsessed with me? Ah! Oh my god, it's a... Uh... Oh fuck, what are these birds called? I don't remember. Bad Bill? <laughs> That's funny. What are these birds called? What is this species? These things are scary. They're almost like fucking aliens. Have you ever seen one of these in real life? Like, have you seen them move? They're fucking crazy. Duckbill? Is that what they're actually called? <coughs> no. <clears throat> this is looking up. They're fucking so creepy. The parrot's so cute. The parrot in the schoolgirl uniform. Look at her. I don't know what they're called. It's pissing me off. Like if I saw one of these walking around in the distance in the dark, fuck no, I'd be running away so fast. Bill, that's it. Yeah, they're fucking scary. Oh, Mio, what about that one guy? The one Inspector Susumi checked with? I forget his name. Oh, right. Apparently he never heard from Nakagoshi. Not that we have a way of contacting him directly anyway. We just have to leave a message with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau's messenger and hope it reaches him. He's always the one who contacts me, and even then, it's only instructions. Hmm, well, I guess we're in a tight spot then. Has Mio been doing stuff like this all by herself up until now? It's so dangerous and there's so many unknowns. It must be so tough for her. I wonder it'd be hard to make friends. Hmm, something the matter? Nope, let's go for it. I'm sure we'll be fine. I mean, we've managed to get this far. Hey, Mio, you know? Yeah. You might not like it, but you've got a bold side. A little reckless, even. Huh, you think? I suppose things not going to plan is just a part of life in this world. No, I mean, I think it's a good thing. I'm the same way. I feel like we get along well together. Maybe that's one reason why. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Three to five feet tall. Yeah, they're fucking scary, Abyss. I'm telling you, they're fucking terrifying. We won't get anywhere just waiting around. Let's do the best we can um, working on our own. Now then, can we really just barge in there and expect it to go well? Where? Where are we going? Oh, the op. Oh, okay. So this is Hihaku Soap's headquarters. So we're thinking that one of the high-ranking people here is most likely the mastermind chairwoman. Yamamori, was it? Wait, the, our chairwoman high-ranking isn't the most important person at the company, the president? <clears> hmm, <throat> I'm not sure, but she's definitely an important person. Even if we're able to meet with her, what do we talk up with her about? We can't just waltz in there and ask her if she knows about the Yin scroll out of nowhere. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Ooh, is that your working style? Or, well, nothing I find myself... Whenever I find myself out of options, I usually just jump right into the thick of it. INTO THE THICK OF IT! INTO THE THICK OF IT! INTO THE THICK OF IT! Oh. <laughs> At my old house, we used to have a pond with koi in the background. There was a heron that would come by and EAT THE KOI! Throw them in the air and swallow them whole? <gasps> wow. <laughs> well, if you're scared, I don't mind going in by myself. Scared as if... Oh my god, look at her, the confidence. Think of me as your trusty bodyguard. The the house I grew up in, there was a house at the bottom. I was, like, up at the top of a hill. And, um, 
at the bottom of the hill there was a house that had like uh, like a terrace almost like over their little their, their little fish pond and there was a, a heron that would hang out on their little terrace too and um, yeah they're they're pretty big they're pretty big yeah they can be as your trusty bodyguard I don't mind going big and taking a chance Ooh, yeah that is the yakko I know let's do it now shall we go inside all right let's give it a shot Actual photo, yeah. Look at him. Um, excuse us. Oh, looks like it didn't go well. Looks like we're out of luck. Who knew you needed an appointment months in advance to meet a chairwoman? Turns out she's super duper important. Even the receptionist gave us the cold shoulder after realizing we're just students. Maybe her private secretary would hear us out, but they seem to be out at the moment. Hmm, in that case. Huh? Hmm, what is it? A person coming this way. Oh god, this guy. What, that tall guy? Do you know him? Yeah, from a little while back. Mr. Yomioka over here. Hmm? Oh. You're Gomioda's manager, Mr. Yomioka? Yes, good to see you again. Miss Kurosuzu. What a coincidence running into you here. Gomioda? Yomioka? Yomioka? God, he's so creepy. He's been trying to avoid eye contact with Mew since he noticed it was her. Like fishy. Uh-oh. How have things been since we last met? If he- if she just stays, um, with her training, she won't have to rely on cheating people anymore. Yeah, she has been keeping at it. Cheating people? Uh-oh. Uh, Miss Kurosuzu, so glad to see you are doing well. I assure you we've been having no issues you need to concern yourself with. What is this all about? Gotta tell me what happened. A case from a while back, a family overseeing a reliquary um, came to us saying they were being investigated by someone suspicious. Investigated. A psychic named Sugen Gembyodo suddenly showed up. She said that she had a premonition that something terrible would happen she, and had to exercise the temple immediately. Sounds like a cover for a burglary. After they notified the police, I was dispatched by the paranormal affairs. I inspected the place myself but didn't see anything wrong so I sent them away. He acted as Gemyoto's manager during the case. That is pretty suspicious. Apparently she was looking for something there, but I told her there's no excuse for fraud and sent her off with a scolding. And honestly, Gemyoto didn't even have much spirit sense to speak of, which soured my mood on the whole thing. Right, so he was one of those types then. Well, she's involved in all kinds of stuff, so she may at least be knowledgeable about paranormal uh, objects. But essentially she's one of those fraudulent psychics that are so common nowadays. If you have no further business with me, then I'll be on my- Oh, before you go. Gamyoda seems to know a lot about paranormal objects. It would be a huge help if we could ask her about something. And what might that be? If she- Is she familiar with an ancient text called the Record of Fates Yin Scroll? Or anything about the descendants of the Amnoji named Simon Ch Chumikado? Uden Gamyoda? Do you remember that name? No. Is that the, um... Is that the... The woman Omnoji? That was the rival of Simon? I beg your pardon? Why are you so close? Miss Kurosuzu, how do you... So you do know about it? Oh, at the beginning of the game in the park. No, I don't remember that. I see. If that's what you're after, then that means... Hold it! Don't tell me you're trying to snatch up some innocent schoolgirls this time. Stop right there! Huh? Hey! They got her out! <laughs> if it isn't Yomio Yumioka, what a pleasure to see you again. What? Mayu Chozawa? What are you doing here? Huh? Chozawa? This investigator here helped me out. You really did a number on me. What do you know? We just happen to have some business with Hika uh, Hihaku m ourselves. Why don't you join us? You can do that much for us, can't you? You work with Hihaku after all? Depending on how this conversation goes, I won't have to get the police involved. 
Yeah, he fucking drugged her. Huh? You work for Hihaku? What's going on? <laughs> Bitch. There's really no way you can refuse, though, is there? You two young ladies must be involved as well. Would you care to join us? Oh, I'm um, sure. <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> Tapioca! Oh, we're back in the park. Quite the view, isn't it? How long can you play dumb with this many people lined up waiting for answers from you? You better just give in and come clean with everything you know. Ugh. My goodness, look at all of our friends. Question mark? <laughs> um, first, are there any birds here? <laughs> just checking, just checking. Hold on. Okay. Client. <clears throat> she was only introduced as the investigator's client. She's cool. I feel like we wouldn't stand a chance against a full-grown woman like her. Excuse me, are you new to all this too? Oh, um, I guess I'm kind of just tagging you along. Me too. Let's make sure to not get in the way, shall we? Right. But Mio is amazing too, keeping her cool at a time like this. She must be used to dealing with adults by now. Excuse me, I had no idea that um, Gambyoda was connected with Hihaku. So I'm just like to ask... Was it Miss Yamamori from Hihaku who obtained the Record of Fates and passed it on to Araishi? No, that was not the case. Oh, my mistake. Was it Sudin Gambyoda doing then? No, it was not. We first learned of the Record of Fates from Mr. Araishi. It was then that Mr. Yamamori gained an interest and extended- Oops. Nope. Okay. Yamamori is the old lady. <clears throat> it was then that Miss Yamamori gained an interest and extended a contract to compensate him in return for his research and findings. Then, who was it that activated the Feast of Shadows to call forth the Curse of the Seven Mysteries? I give you my word that we had no part in that. We had learned from Ariishi beforehand that something would happen at midnight last night, that is all. Hey, there's no way that's true, stop lying! Ah, I must ask that you please refrain from violence. Hold it, Yako, it's alright. The minute I learned that Gamyoda was none other than the queen of Hihaku herself- Oh! I felt that was the case. So Gamyoda... Is that her nickname or something? She's ready, yeah. <laughs> Point of view, piss off, Yako. <laughs> blam, 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 blam. <laughs> the minute I learned that Gam Yodo was none other than the queen of Hihaku herself, I felt that was the case. I felt what was the case? That they, that they started the Feast of Shadows. She doesn't have strong enough spirit sense for it. Oh, gotcha. Ugh, well, it was somewhat shameful. If you require proof, then so be it. What, so that talk of supernatural powers was just hot air? I don't think she has zero spirit sense, but even Yaku here has more than her. I do? <laughs> also, the spirit power lingering in this park has been bothering me for quite some time. The person who died here must have had consider considerably powerful spirit sense. If they were a Hihaku employee, then maybe they should have been the one running things. My, to think Shogo Oki was so talented. At any rate, Hihaku wasn't the mastermind behind exposing the record of fates to the world and initiating the Feast of Shadows. I think we can be sure about that. Hmm, alright. Wow. Can I talk to you again? Oh no. Okay. <clears throat> and you know about the record of fates in Scroll 2, don't you? If you were researching the Rite of Resurrection in the record of fates, then you must have looked into the Yin Scroll as well. That's right, the record of fates alone wasn't enough to learn how to collect soul dregs. I'm sure you looked into many things on your own, but how much do you actually know? Who and where Simon, Simon's descendants are, were you able to find that sort of information with Gamyoda's connections? Hmm, I can't reveal that. 
What the fuck do you mean? Not a good enough answer to me. We introduced we were introduced briefly, but this flashy looking guy is a private investigator. I thought they were only like that in TV shows, but I guess they're pretty intense in real life too. Now then, I've come to hand over the haunting clapper's curse stone like I promised. A curse stone? Thank you, I have to admit, I'm surprised that you are a man of your word. But first, I've got some questions about the curse stones you already have. What exactly do you want to know? Earlier you said that Hihaku had collected six curse stones already. SIX! I'd like to confirm which of the seven mysteries they correspond to. And why do you need to know that? Because I don't trust, of course. If you really collected them like you say, you'd have no problem saying which curse stones they are, right? <laughs> Bitch has zero. First, the Whispering Canal. No. Good, good. And what else? Mayu over there has the beckoning light. Yep, you were the one who made sure I got it. What? Unfortunately for you, I don't feel like handing it over. So I don't think it counts as one of yours. Hmm. Good to know. Anyway, do continue. Next, there's the Everburning Lantern, which we gave to Hideki Areishi. Do you consider that one of Hihaku's then? Whatever, we'll worry about that later. That's three. What about the others? Well, the others are... This motherfucker has zero, and he's... I can't believe this. The Footwashing Mansion and the Evergreen Beach. What? And lastly, the Fool's Procession, if I recall. So you claim... How about it, mademoiselle? That's wrong. Those three are with Inspector Tsutsumi. I gave the Fool's Procession to him myself, so I know he's wrong. There you have it. Too bad for you, pal. Hmm. <laughs> if our agreement was founded on lies, then I have no duty to hand over my curse stone like I'd promised. Meaning the only curse stone you have is the Whispering Canal. And it inevitably follows that you use it to kill that young man at Kinshi Bori Park. Such a horrible act to your own employee, no less. No, there you are mistaken. To be entirely frank with you, we do not possess a single curse stone. What? We plan to collect soul drags using any method available to us, of course, as we needed the right. But committing murder ourselves was too much of a risk. We intended on having other collect others collect the soul drags for us. Is that so? Therefore, I myself have no soul drags in my possession. It is our plan to arrange for particularly greedy individuals to receive the curses. What? It is possible Shogooki came to possess the Whispering Canal because of that. But by the time I became aware of this, he was already dead. I don't believe you. Are you really trying to talk your way out of this now? This Korpa is getting turbo-owned. I love it so much. <laughs> or do you really want me to believe that Hihaku employee was cursed by complete coincidence? That is the truth, whether you believe me or not. It must have been someone else entirely who took Shogo Oki's stone and killed him. I have no idea whatsoever whose hands the Whispering Canal is in now, nor where it may be. Oh, could it really be? Then it wasn't Hihaku who put the idea in Nejima's head to get a curse stone either? Nejima, the only one we've negotiated with are Iwa and Ariishi. Interesting. Iwa? Excuse me, but does that mean you don't know the location of the remaining curse stones either? The ones that haven't been mentioned? What about the Taiko of Tugaru? Oh, good question, my mysterious mademoiselle. <laughs> he loves me, that's so cute. I'm afraid we have no information in that regard either. Have you heard enough about curse stones? I have nothing else to tell you. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Investigator? What is it, mademoiselle? Would you be willing to give up the curse stone you have? Ah, uh, yes, you have a point. They're too dangerous to carelessly walk around in, uh, with in one's pocket. However, sorry to disappoint you, that's not possible at the moment. And why is that? Ah, you don't know, do you? Then I'll tell both you and our friend from Hihaku over there. <clears throat> I doubt any of you have attempted it yet. But it does seem that curse stones cannot be given to normal people. Hmm? What? I actually tested it with the madam here earlier. Even if you give the curse stone to someone else, the curse bearer doesn't change. And the curse eventually, or and the stone eventually makes its way back to the bearer. It's almost obvious when you think about it, seeing as how the curse stones appear to the curse bearers of their own accord to begin with. But Inspector Tsutsumi has collected curse stones from the other curse bearers. Then Inspector Tsutsumi must be a curse bearer himself. Ah. So from what you're saying, curse stones can only be transferred between curse bearers. 
And obtaining a curse zone alone doesn't make someone a curse bearer, so they can't use its curse? Exactly. So the, they aren't quite as dangerous as you think. As for Hihaku's intention of just collecting the curse stones for themselves, unfortunately for them, it was never going to work unless there's a curse bearer among them. Hmm. The damn Ari Ishii. How could he not know this? That must be why I sensed that I couldn't take Yaku's curse stone. I returned it right away when I borrowed it from her earlier. That's precisely how it works. My mysterious mademoiselle. I'll give mine directly to Inspector Tsusumi later. If you know Inspector Tsusumi, then I think that's best. Thank you. Aww. And you. She's Mayo Chozawa, the fiancé of Hajime Yoshimi, the police officer. I'll have to talk to her about Hitomi later. That's right, she knows Hitomi. <clears throat> Definitely feel a lot better now that I have actual food in my belly. Yay! Leftover peri-flavored rice with spiced salmon and some steamed veggies. Added a couple boiled eggs. Woo, fancy chai. Cut to the chase then. As you're the one who killed... Are you the ones who killed Hajime Yoshimi? No, we did not. Don't try and play dumb now. If, if not you, then who? That much, I don't know. While it was true that we were after the information he possessed, he was killed by someone else before we could acquire it. Which forced us to target you instead, Miss Chozoa. And that's why you forced me to talk and why I ended up with this curse, huh? Indeed. Though I never thought you would escape. Well, it took a couple of miracles, but yeah, I got out. And just what information did Hajime have that you wanted? Hmm. You really think you can get away without answering now? But... Fine, I'll let someone else ask you something for now. Were you able to find that sort of information? Can't reveal that. Then would you prefer I expose to the public how Gamyoda is a fraud with almost zero spirit sense? Mm. Fine, I understand. From the results of our independent research, I found that Simon, uh, descendant, was Hajime Yoshimi. Yeah, okay. What? So that's why you went after Hajime. However, Hajime Yoshimi was only carrying a fragment of the whole. A fragment? That's right, he did say something about a fragment of an old manuscript. The location of the Yin Scroll was hidden. This information was split into two and hidden in a pair of talismans, which were then passed down from generation to generation. Ah, talismans! I see. Hajime Yoshimi was supposed to have one, but it was almost certainly stolen when he was killed. Possible that he knew the location of the others as well. Though we know that Hitomi has Hajime's talisman. We're still looking for Machio's talisman. So that's why you questioned me about the things he'd inherited. That girl Hajime had been helping recently must have had it then. Oh, Machio's talisman. Yeah, Machio was also likely a descendant of Seimen. What? The talisman she carried as a keepsake from her father, we searched for it based on Miss Chozawa's memories. However, Michio was already dead. Yes, by coincidence, she happened to be closely connected to Mr. Iwa, so we began our investigation there. But he was already dead too, leaving you in a quandary. I see. Mio, if we can get both of the talismans... Yep, we'll know the location of the record of Fate's Yin Scroll. Wow, sometimes the answer is right under your nose. Sometimes those answers are the hardest to find. Bro. Yako, let's keep quiet about the location of the talismans for now, okay? Right. No need for Yumioka to know. That was a close one. I almost let it slip. Yeah, Yako, you dumb bitch. Okay, I think that's all we have to ask him. We'll let you off for today since you went along with all our questions nicely. A pleasure working with you. We're done here. But the information you have... The hell are you whining about? I said we're done, so scram! <laughs> I like to be fancy with my meals when I have the energy to do so, especially now that we're in colder days, so richer foods are more attractive too. True. True, true, true. <clears throat> Don't bully Yako. I will if I would like to. <laughs> I love her. She's awesome. That's all our business as well, so I shall be bidding you all farewell. 
Yes, right. Excuse me, Mr. Investigator, please don't forget about that curse stone. Don't you fret. I'll hand it over to Inspector Tsuzumi like I promised. Um, I'm glad I didn't end up having to give it to that Yumioka. Let's take our leave, madam! With this, we'll be freed from this troublesome curse ourselves. <laughs> that lady and the investigator, we should keep an eye on them. Agreed. Really? Why? I think they're up to something. Just my intuition, but still. Yeah, I wonder what that investigator really wanted out of all this. If his goal was getting information about the curse stones, then that might be bad. Oh right, I've got one of those curse stones too. The beckoning light. Oh right. If you wouldn't mind, would you give it to Inspector Tsutsumi without using it? Yeah, sure. If you introduce me to the cop, that is. I feel like if I keep carrying it around with me, I'll start getting some weird ideas too. I just remembered! Mayo, I have something important to tell you. Whoa, what's with you all the yelling all of a sudden? You know a girl named Hitomi Okuda, don't you? Wah. Really? Hitomi has Hajime's talisman? Yeah, he entrusted it to her in a panic just before his death. He sensed an imminent crisis closing in on him, but Hitomi was the only one around that he could ask for help. That's so? I'm sorry she got left with such a big responsibility. That must mean that Hajime got killed by someone who was after that talisman. But since he gave it to someone else, they couldn't steal it like they wanted. I'll have to thank Hitomi for that. Um, I also think it's going to be hard for us to get her to give up the talisman. Yeah, you may be right. It was Hajime's dying request to her. So you two need the talisman for something? Yeah. Hmm, personally I'd like to use the talisman as bait. Uh, then I could get my hands on the bastard that killed Hajime. Please, I promise we'll uncover the mastermind behind all of this. They probably have supernatural abilities at their disposal. Please leave them to us. Yeah, we'll catch them. Don't you worry. Well, look at that. You got that look in your eyes. The look that young people get that says they'll get something done no matter what it takes. How am I supposed to say no to that? You, you go find them and give them what they deserve for what they did to my Hajime, you hear? We will. I'm pretty mad at them myself. <laughs> she's, so, she's so cute and deadpan. But like, <laughs> she's like, we will. I'm pretty mad at them myself. Like she's, her words are so serious and intense, but her face <laughs> does not match. <laughs> it's so cute. If punches work on them, I'll give them a good one. You, you will. I know it. Ah ha ha! Now that I, now that I can get behind, I'll leave it to you too. Now then, your next move should be to find Hitomi and get that talisman. So isn't there one more talisman that you need? Right, but we've got a pretty good idea of where the one Machio had is. Um, we've got to check with Inspector Tsutsumi about that. We should go back to the school and call him. You got it. Okay, I'll head to the high school now and wait for you there. Perfect. Wow! Oh! Oh! Okay. <coughs> last resort- not the last resort. Preparing for battle?! Oh my, that sounds eerie. <gasps> We're almost at nighttime, see? <coughs> okay. What's all that? A shield? And an epic sword? Whoa. Who the fuck is Takumi? All these names are blurring together, dude. <laughs> no, Mayu is tapioca. Oh, Takumi is the is the Hayaku guy. Okay. They decide to return to ha Harui's home when oh dot dot dot. Okay. Okay, so I think we should do this first and then this. Preparing for battle. Let's do this. <clears throat> Hurry and Riku rescue Mayu and interrogate her along with Takumi. Oh yeah, we have to we have to rescue Mayu. Like actually, yet they fail to gain any particular useful information about the curse bearers. They decide to return to Hari's home when dot dot dot. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? <clears throat> Oh, we're just back at the- We received an update on the hostage situation. This 
56-year-old male suspect who announced his intent to commit mass murder in Sumida City today had taken a woman hostage and gone on the run, but was found by the police in the park in Sumida after 4 p.m. and confirmed dead. The weapon the suspect was... Okay, so this is the, this is the one where he took uh, Tsutsumi's daughter? The weapon the suspect was said to possess was nowhere to be found on site and its whereabouts are currently unknown. Furthermore, the female hostage was not present and the search for her continues. Found an event. Apparently. Interesting. If it's being reported on the news, then that lends credence to her story. Oh. Oh, oh my god, you scared me. What? So you... I wonder what her intentions are. How is she able to act like nothing happened? Is this how girls are these days? Well, it's just like I said, right? Fima hostage mentions on the news just now. That must have been you. Oh, because he he gave he gave her her address, that's why. So she so she killed him and then ran here. Okay. <coughs> that's why. Oh, the hostage! She's here suddenly! <laughs> that's why, that's why. Hi, waifu! Hi! Welcome in. <clears throat> Which means you killed Najima with your own curse stone. Ooh, hey! Well, you said you'd give me refuge, so I came here to take you up on that offer. What are you planning? Hmm? Me? Well, obviously. I'm on to my last resort. You're a curse bear. So you're a curse bearer with a curse stone too, right? Hee <laughs> hee, are you surprised? Yes, I have a curse stone of my own. It's the Taiko, uh, Taiko of Tsugaru. You've been up since 5 a.m.? Oof. I'm burnt out. Time to relax and watch stream and go EP time. And why go after other people's curse stones? Um, because killing people is bad, you know? Don't you think so, too? Not that guy, though. I don't think so. <laughs> I wonder. Oh, are you the type of lady who's willing to sacrifice anything for the sake of your goals? That's, man, it sure ain't good. People will question where your parents went wrong, you know? Well, people can be harsh. Either way, that's why I wanted to only use soul drags gathered by others. But that didn't work out in the end. No one had the backbone to use their curse. The world's gone soft. With no one mercilessly using their curse in pursuit of their own goals, I had to take matters into my own hands. And now people might be wondering where your parents went wrong, hmm? Well, I suppose, huh? But it had to be done. What do you say? I heard Namigaki, that young man you were with, use his curse stone too. Huh? How did you know that? Ick, creepy much? Are you stalking me? I may have heard it from... I may have heard it from a detective I know. Ugh, there it is. Cops. Betcha know a bunch. I know your type. People who boast just because they know a couple of cops. He, he is a cop. <laughs> oh my god. Well, EP to ski, yeah. I take a curse stone for your sake. No, waifu. If the police is filled with nothing but scum. My, you seem to hold quite a grudge against the force. Speaking of, this guy's really creeping me out. What's his deal with him anyway? You gotta explain. Even the way he moves is all weird and exaggerated. Right, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... Ah, uh, no. No, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> so what were you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was really funny. Oh no, no thank you. <laughs> Not even an introduction. Don't talk to me. <laughs> so what were we talking about again? Oh right, uh, Yutaro Namagaki. He's no good, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a Valley Girl accent. I really want to. <clears throat> <coughs> Thank you for the lurk chime. He was such a wuss. I had to spur him on so many times for him to even use his curse. And even then, he was pissing his pants. And just when I take my eyes off of him, he hands over his curse onto someone. Honestly, he's a disappointment. So that's what happened. Which is why I figured I had to do it myself if I wanted it done right, you know? That's why my last resort is collecting soul drags on my own. Let me introduce myself. It's hard to talk to us strangers. 
It, it, is it? Are you okay telling me who you are? Well, I won't stop you. Do as you please. Well, I am Haru Shigima, and this is my house. My father and husband are both with the police. Is that so? Then you know the cops are just the worst people, right? Well, there are certainly many who are cold, especially with their own family. In a police family, one is always expected to just grin and bear it no matter what happens. God, I know, right? What a relief. You totally understand. I think we might get along. Oh, well, I'm glad then. And I'm Richter Kai, private investigator. Ugh, did I ask? But, hmm, you're an investigator? So your job is to sneak around and follow people to pry into their secrets, right? Oh, is that why you keep probing with all these questions? Ew. <laughs> Guess there's not much I could do to change that terrible impression you've got of me. Come on, it's MJ. You gotta like him. Hey, lady, why are you working with this dude? I asked him to look into something for me. Really? It's just that he keeps looking this way. That's because you're fucking suspicious as hell, lady. <laughs> Isn't your father a police officer as well? That man is not my father. Not in name or deed. Sounds like there's some bad blood there. I'm already legally cut all ties. He even had the nerve to act all high and mighty today and still refused to help me. You met him today? Yes, today. Remember that Chief Susumi who was chasing Nejima? Well, that's him, my dad. What? <laughs> You're his daughter? Former daughter. I've cut ties. I cooked that man's dinner. He's trying, literally, waifu. Daddy issues, same. He's never acted like a father, and so he doesn't deserve the title. Hmm. You know, I've heard something about that Nejima guy. Apparently he wanted to get revenge on Chief Inspector Tsumi for his arrest by going after his daughter. Wait, really? And I heard the police had been searching non-stop to take you into protective custody. So that explains why the police were staking out your place, too. Man, how could I have known that? They came in such intimidating numbers. Wait, huh? Hold on a minute. Does that mean that Nejima was specifically after my life today? That sounds about right. It's a good thing you got out unscathed, or rather managed to turn the tables on him. This shakes ice coffee aggressively. Oh, that means legally speaking it was self-defense! But that truly was quite frightening. To think I'd have to go through this just being related to a cop, it's a disgrace! They're all over it. They're, they're all, both of them are like, can she leave? <laughs> it truly is to cause their own child such trouble. He was trying to protect her! I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. You're not the one who needs to apologize, lady. Oh, I'm sorry. It just reminded me of what happened to my son. Your son? What happened? My child was also kidnapped and murdered in order to enact revenge against the police, you see. What? How awful! That's terrible! I'm sorry to hear. Oh, now that you say it, I do remember hearing about an incident like that last year. That must have been your son, huh? My condolences. Now that I think about it, although we've met a few times, I didn't even know your name. I guess we're more like acquaintances now. So when you were taken hostage by Nejima, you used the curse stone in the gardens and swiftly made your getaway? Well, yeah. I didn't really have time to think on it. At the time, I only thought of how to get out of there. Then... What about now? Did you use it again? Your curse stone? <clears throat> He's evil for real for real! Mommy issues? Daddy issues? Mommy issues? Come on. Literally me? <laughs> Well, the curse stone doesn't respond during the day, but it's evening now. So I tried using the curse stone just now, and yep, it seems activated. Seems I activated it. What? You're using it now? It might still be a little weak, but I guess it's supposed to be used repeatedly. What the fuck is this all about? What's this little... What is this? But I think I can get it to work once more. Oh. That's so. Sure is. So I'll give you a final warning. It's already started, so be careful, hmm? It's started? 
what's started. The curse, of course. All that's left is for the conditions to be fulfilled. They activated her curse? The curse stones can be used already? I let my guard down. I didn't think it could be used this early in the evening. Ma'am, please calm down. What should I do? Should I keep her talking? Uh... <laughs> Don't ask anything? No, I won't stop it. Besides, for you to get so shaken like that. As I thought, you have a curse stone too. You're a curse bearer, aren't you, lady? There we go. Oh my god. Huh? Ma'am, ma'am! Damn, did she fulfill the conditions? She sure did! Okay, it's time for beatdown. Jeez, why did you try to hide it now of all times? It wouldn't have come um, if you weren't a curse bearer. Uh oh. I dead. Stop! Mm, too bad, she's already dead. This is horrific. I'll be taking her curse down. Whoa, huh? All the haunting coppers needed was a source of fire? That was a close one. Now then. What will you do, Mr. Investigator? You're not a curse bearer, so I don't have any reason to kill you. But I won't show you mercy if you're going to try and capture me. So what'll it be? I don't know how her curse stone works. It's too risky to make a move. Um, your employer's already dead anyway, so... There's no reason for you to go out of your way to arrest me, right? I can still do my duty as a citizen and report you, you know. Ooh, what a surprise! This is when you decide to suddenly choose the side of righteousness? He was after the same thing, you know? There's no clean hands when it comes to soul drags. Well, it looks like you don't have anything to say about that. I'll be taking my leave then. Bye-bye! What the fuck? So she does have fire on her. I'm gonna fucking kill her, that bitch. <laughs> Upon killing Haruei, a fellow curse bearer. Ayame Tono obtained more than enough soul drags for the rite of resurrection. Oh dear. However, it turned out that resurrecting someone who died a long time ago required an even larger amount. To fulfill her heart's deepest desire, she'd have to harvest more. So, she waited for the sun to set for when the Feast of Shadows effects were at its peak. She used the one-sided reed curse stone she had stolen from Nejima. With it, she proceeded to kill all those personal information she knew starting with those who mattered least to her about the one-sided read kills uh by dismemberment for those whose face address name occupation location are all known by the curse bearer many of those were rendered men gullible disposable drawn in by the allure of female university student one noteworthy victim among them was her own father Tsumi's death through the investigation efforts into disarray, allowing Ayame to evade capture. Afterwards, she acquired various address registers of phone books, systematically killed the people listed in them. Unsuspecting victims could be safe at home, only to suddenly have their limbs severed. The strange death shook society to its core. What the fuck, lady? She's fucked up! Big L. Big L. What the hell? That's messed up. But all things must come to an end, and so in time, the killing stopped. Sometimes after the killings, a modern-day genius female ukiyo-e artist burst out into to the art scene. She introduced herself as the mysterious mad paintress, and her fame grew quickly as she presented one incredible work after another. Praised as the modern reincarnation of Hokusai, she quickly made her own mark on history. Ayame's aspiration. She did that all to be famous. I think we got a good ending. No, it says Ayame's bad ending.
I say this? No, instead of talking about that, how about we talk about why you're so shaken? No, I'm not a curse bearer. What? It didn't work. That didn't work. What am I supposed to say? <clears throat> Wait, hold on. She has this. <coughs> I think she can only kill curse bears. Why did you try to hide it now of all times? I wouldn't have come. I have to do something in the options. Lies is the trigger? You think so? so? I should say yes. Yes, I am. I'm sure you've already noticed. Ah, smart abyss. <clears throat> well, yeah, around last night, I was a little too obvious. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, around last night, it was a little too obvious. Judging by your address, I'm guessing you've got the haunting clappers? Yes, that's right. There are a lot of soul drags on the table for killing a curse bear, you know. I'm well aware. Did you get soul drags when you killed Nejima? Uh, <clears throat> oh, sorry, that was Richter. Did you get soul drags when you killed Nejima? Of course, his curse... Of course, his curse one was already contained with some soul drags as well. I think killing one more curse bear will be enough for the right. You can combine soul drags across several stones. Correct. All it needs is the prerequisite amount. As long as you've got that, it doesn't seem to matter where you get them from. You see. Then you won't mind if I took them, right? My, my, lady. You're quite motivated, aren't you? Ma'am. Oh my god, the way her eye shifted over. I love Haraway. She's such a cool character. father, the chief inspector. I met him not too long ago. Oh, really? He came off a little stiff and awkward. Huh, there's a surprise. But there was something charming about his seriousness. He, and he seemed like he cared a lot about his daughter. Um, please cut it out. It's gross. You don't know a thing about us. Outsiders shouldn't butt into another family's affairs. Though he may as well be a stranger to me now. Even if you cut legal ties, you're still related by blood. Huh? We're not related at all. Huh? Probably thought. He probably thought. But I never noticed it. That I never noticed it, but... It wasn't hard for me to figure out that I wasn't related to them by blood. So you were adopted? Well, I got curious, so I looked into it. It was all pretty straightforward. I was a baby when they took me in. All they did was raise me. My mother first got pregnant shortly after she married. But it was a stillborn. The whole affair left a deep wound on her, my, on her heart. My father couldn't bear to see it. It was for her sake that he did it. I was a substitute, a replacement for the child she lost. That is not... That is not how you should think of it. He decided that all by himself. He didn't discuss it. Maybe he was trying to be thoughtful. So any baby would have been fine, as long as it could have comforted the woman he hoped to become a mother. Putting it in such a way. Not easy to raise a child. My mother was bewildered, wouldn't you be? After being told to raise a baby that wasn't your own? But she couldn't just abandon the baby either. Yet my father just left everything to my mother and never lent a hand. He was so damn selfish. 
two of them grew apart. I watched them try to figure out how to understand each other, and the sight of it disgusted me. It was a messed up family, I tell you. Well, I guess my presence was to blame for the rift that began. You shouldn't say that. I know he's bad at expressing himself and he has work, but still, that shouldn't be an excuse. But knowing all that, I couldn't take it anymore. This made me want to hurry up and leave home and live on my own. I still rely on him for tuition and allowance, but that much is normal for most kids. What? I don't want him to start acting like he's my father now just because he's doing the minimum. You still get allowance and tuition from him? Sorry to hear that. It sounds like it was tough for all of you. Die. <laughs> Man, please think this through! No, MJ. <laughs> Man, why? Well, why not? It was the only way. Richter. Did we? Settle any outstanding tabs now? Yeah, sure. Damn, she's gonna burn the whole house down. Relax. She deserves it. <laughs> Some days later. Bro, she fucking still gets tuition paid and allowance from some from the father she cut ties with what the fuck who's amamori of course what is it mr richter i was just curious have you heard of the legend of the mother who prayed to the sumida river and resurrected her dead child it was a few days later what are you on about hmm Mm -hmm. The mother searched so desperately for her abducted child that she lost her mind. Her son was found dead in the Sumida River, so then, so she then built a mound and continued to pray there until her son somehow emerged from the mound, back from the dead, or so the legend goes. I heard it's being adapted into a no play, too. Interesting. And? Well, it just had me thinking that legends really do exist. Um, sorry to ask again, but... What are you on about? Oh. So he didn't... He didn't arrest her? And her child would have come back as a... Oh no, that was the black magic. So we don't know how... If that even worked, or if he came back as a nine-year-old, or if he came back... What are you waffling about, MJ? What are you waffling about? Or if he came back as, like, a newborn, or what? Huh? But I guess, it, I guess if he's talking about it, then it worked. Interesting. Let's see what this says. Never mind, it is what it is. Welcome to my office. It might be small and dirty, but welcome. Come on, Ernstine, say hello. A barb. That's it, good girl. Ooh, that boy over there, that must be... Hey kid, I'm a private investigator. I worked with your mother not too long ago. <gasps> What's that? You want to be an investigator when you grow up too? Oh. That's great, so much better than becoming a police officer. Hey, hey, Amamori, don't you tell the kid to give up on his dreams. I think it's a great idea. Why don't you bring us all some tea instead? Ahem, pardon me, let's start over. What brings you to my humble office today? Oh, that was cute! Stop! I like that one. Harare Shigima's ending. If anyone deserves to actually do the Rite of Resurrection, I think it's Haraway. <laughs> you know? Like, if anyone, if anyone should get to do the Rite of Resurrection, I think it's her. And she only had to kill one crazy-ass bitch to do it. <laughs> you know? 
She just wants her baby. Her baby who was fucking kidnapped and murdered unjustfully, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah, wah, wah. Now we have to listen to her fucking rah, rah, rah again. Hi, Glen G. Hey, welcome in. I beat that motherfucking bargain in Elden Ring time. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Freaking hype in the chat for Glen G. Yo, let's fucking go. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, I'm so freaking proud of you. Let's go. Let's go. You did it. I knew you could. <clears throat> okay, we read all this. With food poisoning? I had a debuff? <laughs> Not the food poisoning. Oh my god. <coughs> we just burned this bitch to death, so now I'm redoing this part. <laughs> you deserved it, though. Blah, 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 blah. We didn't get through all of this, so... We didn't grow apart. Not expressing himself. Okay. I already hear that. Okay, this is where we're... Sounds like it was tough for all of you. This is where we're stuck. I'm sorry, you're right. It's not my place to talk about your family. Oh, well, I may have said too much. You think I spelled all that when I don't even know what the conditions are? Could it be that you were talking about had something to do with the activation conditions for the haunting clappers? No, I can burn you out anytime, bitch. Who knows, hmm? Back up. You smoke? Huh? Well, a little. Feel free to smoke if you want to, please. How's this game been? It's been crazy. I'm trying to finish it tonight. Uh, I'm okay. I don't see any ashtrays out on display either. Does no one smoke in this family? A little rare, isn't it? Nobody in this family does. Get her while smoking. <laughs> oh, look at it! Look at MJ! Oh, fuck. He knows what I'm doing. Then why did you ask me if I did all of a sudden? Well. Oh. <laughs> those, those side eyes in this game are so funny. How did you kill Fumichika and Nejima? I'm not telling you. I only ask because it does concern me. He was one of the reasons my child was kidnapped. There's not much to say. We talked and he cleared the conditions for my stone. Did he show any signs of remorse over his past crimes? Didn't feel like he did, no. I see. The world is full of trash men, I tell you. That's... I agree. Not her looking at Richter when she says that! <gasps> Rude ass! <laughs> Every time someone says, wow, 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 I think of this video I found on Insta. Really, waifu? Are you trying to post a, a link, Fleur? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I ship her and MJ. Yeah, me too. Oh, a clip. You can put it. Are you in the? Are you in the Discord? Um, you can put it in the stream clips section of the of the disky. <clears throat> you laughing like mad? <laughs> Are you putting the vids for you cuties to look at later? Yippee! In a way, I guess you could say you put a stop to Nejima's mass murder schemes. Hmm, about that. There's no guarantee that I won't do it myself. Huh? Yeah, she did do it. Uh, I put... Uh, I picked up his curse stone of the one-sided reed. It really is something else. Unfortunately, I can't use a curse stone that's not mine until it's late at night. Really? Are you okay with telling me that? Ah, how silly of me, I let that slip, tee -hee. Her desire. What is your wish, Aya Ayame? Is it really to resurrect uh, Katsushika Hakusai? Yes, there's no life that holds more value than his. Including my own. You're, you're saying you'd be willing to die if it meant bringing um, Hakusai back to life? Not all life is equal. At least, not to me. A life that can birth art with the power to move hearts is infinitely more worthy. Compared to that, the life of someone like me, someone that can't produce a thing, has no value. 
you mean? That's unhinged. That's unhinged. <laughs> I'm still young. It's the age of, for wild thoughts. But, aren't you the same as me? What? You've got a life more important than your own? <clears throat> I'm losing my, I'm losing my valley girl accent. A life you consider more important than the life of many others. That's what you're doing it all for, isn't it? You're right. If I can save my son, I couldn't care less about my life or the lives of others. Who's unhinged now? I'm a mother, it is what it is. Dang, the feelings of a proper parent are something else. I got it back, I got it back. <laughs> but if that's your wish, then who do you plan on doing? What do you plan on doing if you don't get your wish? Oh, I haven't thought of it. I may just keep on trying to bring ha Hakusei back some other way. You really are obsessed. You and Hi Hihaku's chairwoman might be cut from the same cloth. Who's that? Like an all-powerful vortex of obsession turned to yokai level proportions. Hmm, you're saying I'll end up like her? Are you looking forward to such a future? I'd rather not have to wait till I'm old and creaking. <laughs> I want it to happen now. I'll put my life on the line for Hokasai. Negotiate. Listen, Ayame. I have something to ask you. No, the answer is no. The curse stone in your possession, I... I'm not giving it up. You're right. We're both made of stronger stuff than that. You're not giving it up. And neither am I. You know full well, right? That there's no room left for negotiation here. You're right, there's not. Is there no... <clears throat> so there's no other, um, there's no other ending here? There's no room left for negotiation here. Did you try to use your curse just now? It seems I didn't meet your curse conditions. I wonder if it was smart to secretly toss the lighter I was carrying earlier. <gasps> when did... You made a mistake when you decided to ask me about smoking. Is it a source of fire? If a source of fire is a condition for your stone, then you won't see me falling for it now. You wasted your chance with all this chatter. All you needed to do was activate your curse f first. I brought everything Nijime had on him, including the lighter he was holding. But it's over now. Yes, I concede. Alrighty. With all your cards on the table, you're out of options. It might be possible for Mr. Investigator there to pin me down by force. But he's not going to do that, is he? Correct. I won't take that risk, not while your curse conditions are unknown. Coward. I came to kill you and acquire your soul dregs, but... After hearing you out, I got a question for you. Why don't you just give up on the Rite of Resurrection? You said it was your son, right? The one you want to bring back? But you haven't done enough? But haven't you done enough? I'm sure your son is content knowing you care for him this much. I'm truly willing to die to resurrect Hokasai, but you can't stay the same, right? If you're going to bring your son back, you have to be alive as well, right? In fact, you really want what you really want is for both of you to live, right? Yes. Well, even if you both live to see it, your son would grow up knowing you for who you are, someone who stole the lives of others to bring him back. You'd be putting the burden of shouldering all the life sacrifice for him on his little shoulders. Are you really okay with that? didn't even think about that. What are you doing? Then what you're doing is not for your son. For yourself. Aren't you just bringing him back to fulfill your own desires? That's not... Yeah. 
What she's saying may be harsh, but holds a kernel of truth. Don't reduce yourself to nothing but a mother who would sacrifice anything for her son. But that's not... He discovered the truth behind his kidnapping. Next, you should take some time to come understand your own feelings. I'll help you every step of the way. Getting to the heart of things is what an investigator does. What will you do? Now, if you relinquish the curse stone to a curse bearer, you will no longer be a curse bearer. You won't be a target anymore. Ayame is giving you a chance. Think hard and then give your answer. Glad you could see reason. Ma'am, you made the right choice. Dang, you really didn't collect any soul drakes, huh? I promised myself that if I ever used it, it would only be once. In the end, it didn't come down to numbers. So they only need to be carrying a flame? This seems pretty practical. Well, I'll be taking my leave then. There's no point in going after you for soul drakes, so I'm off to the next curse bear. Do you know who remains? You speak as if you've already figured it out. Hmm, I've got a pretty good idea from our talk. What will you do? Do you plan to stop me? Not my place to intervene. All right, then. Hey, lady, can I borrow your phone? I don't mind. But who are you calling? Hmm, the cops. I think it would be faster if I called them directly. What? Who should... What? What? <laughs> You're calling the cops. Complete the Harway branch of chapter two. <sighs> what if I don't give it up? She'll just kill me? Why? Why is this not? Why is this not going? Why is it not going auto? <clears throat> Progress. Oh, she can't because no lies. Well, see, I'm curious what she would say. But I can't resume any further down. <clears throat> oh well. All right, we go here. Preparing for battle. Together with Shoshimi's fiance, Mayu, Yako, and Mio report all they've learned so far to Tsutsumi and the others putting all their stories together. They can see their final objective at long last. So we're done with Nejima. We have to go for the master right now. <clears throat> Mr. Shizumi, this is Mayu Chozawa. Ah, so you're the one. The Sumida police was looking for you. Glad to see you're all right. Sorry, I should have told someone I was okay. I was just so pissed off. Falling right into the Hihaku's, falling right into Hihaku's hands, I got myself into some deep shit. Hihaku seems like they're still up to something. We'll have to make sure they clean up their act once and for all. Get it? Because they sell soap. <laughs> nice one, boss. You're really on top of your game today. Stop trying to make me feel better. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> More importantly, Mayo, thank you for your cooperation with Yoshimi. We'll get to the bottom of it, I promise. Oh, you must be Detective Ariel. I heard a lot about you from Hajime. I'll be counting on you. Catch whoever did this no matter what. Okay, cool. Soundings? They've all but finished investigating the crime scene, but the police have mostly left. Um, but they're letting us use the school as their basic communications as per Mr. Inspector Sumi's roof. Uh, blah, 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 whatever. A bird sticker, though? 
I got one here before, right? I'm not sure why, but I feel fired up. Feels like we're close to the moment of truth. I think Mio feels the same. Oh, Mr. Sutsumi. I received a message from Paranormal Affairs earlier. It wasn't from Nakagoshi, but I had someone look into something for me. Even the desk jockeys are lending a hand. It brings a tear to my eye. It brings a tear to your eye. Uh, so what they say? Right, about the Omnergy woman who was in Edo at the time of the Honjo incident. She was a person of great beauty and discerning taste, but also shamelessly did whatever she wanted. It seems to match the person seen in the resentful memory of the foot washing mansion. Huh, so she must be the one who fought with Seaman over the right. And they found that her name was Ashino. Oh! That's. Someone mentioned that name. Ashino, huh? What else? Um, that's all. Oh, at the end of. At the end of Nejima's thing. He was like, Queen Ashino, uh, or whatever. That's not much help. Oh, but apparently she was quite a powerful Amyoji, um, um, and she died bearing a similarly powerful resentment. It's possible that she became a vengeful spirit with a, a connection to the Seven Mysteries. A vengeful spirit. If any descendant of Ashina, Ashino or people otherwise closely aligned to her live today, there's a possibility that spirit awakened and possessed them. Yeah, you mentioned that before the spirits can possess people who are closely in sync with them. Though this, of course, doesn't mean the spirit houses her complete personality. Her resentment and her spirit power, those are the parts of her that would have the strongest influence. Since Seiman's descendants are still around in the present, it wouldn't be surprising if Ashino's were too. They might just be desk jockeys, but they were... They wouldn't give us this information if it was only speculation. <clears throat> they must have found some amount of evidence looking into abnormal phenomena or things like that. <coughs> <coughs> oh, the Feast of Shadows. There it is. Abno or abnormal phenomena. Mio, yeah, what do you mean? The person who initiated the curse this time, who, have, who we've been calling the mastermind, they might be possessed by the vengeful spirit of the Omnyoji named Ashino, the enemy of Seiman. Do we have any idea who they could be or where to find them? Like, if you looked at them, Mio, would you be able to tell right away? Er... Erm... Um. It's like how I didn't recognize that Machio had fused with your consciousness, Yako. Common spirits will leak spirit energy left and right, so I can notice them just by looking carefully. Wait. It's like how I didn't realize that Machio had fused with your con consciousness. Common spirits will leak spirit energy left and right, so I can notice them just by looking carefully. But when spirits of a higher caliper fuse with someone's consciousness, detecting them isn't so simple. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, my skills still need a lot of work, and I don't have anything else to offer. Mio, that's not true at all. You're fine. We'll make this work somehow or other. Thanks. Aww. Basically, I believe the mastermind behind everything is a woman possessed by the vengeful spirit of the Omnyoji Ashino. Is this mastermind also the one who killed Hajime, trying to get the record of Fate's Yin Scroll? Yes, I think that's very likely. So that's how it is, huh? Then I want you to catch them, no matter what. She's such a sweet bean, I know. <clears throat> I love her. May rush to Hitomi's place and back for us. She's been trying to appear calm, but I'm sure she still, she must still be in shock. <coughs> well, Mayo, did you meet with Hitomi? Yeah, I met her at the spot. I was told. <clears throat> Mayu is my waifu? <gasps> no way, Abyss. She's acting tough, but I think the incident with Hajime has really her, has her really shaken up. I briefly explained our, our situation and had her give Hajime's talisman to me. <gasps> Yay. Here, this is what you're looking for, right? <laughs> Yay. Yes, I believe that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Tsutsumi, about this. Right, you should hold on to it, Mew. Not like we could use it as is. As it is. Try to figure out what we'll need to do once we have both halves together. Understood. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where the other talisman is? Um, yes. Probably. This is Hajime's last job. Finish it for him, okay? We will. I guess this is the end of his family line too, huh? All the people who inherited that talisman before him are already all gone. Aww. I bet he's making jokes and stuff at a time like this because he doesn't want to stress us out. I wonder if he's able to stay so calm because of experience, or if he's just that kind of person. A little bit both. 
Ah, I heard you had a curse stone too. Yes, I should give it to you then, right? Those things really are a pain in the ass. I'll gladly hand it over to you before it starts giving me any crazy ideas. So this is the beckoning light, huh? Alright, safe and sound with me. Sorry you won't be able to bring him back. Don't worry about it. He and I were always prepared for the worst anyway. What the? What's wrong? Damn. The trigger for the beckoning light's curse is some serious shit. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I said it'd give me weird ideas. See what I mean now? How's it work? I'll leave you a note so you can read later. What's more important? We have more important things to worry about now. Right. Mr. Shizumi. Does that make it five curse stones that you're gathered now? Should be. I want to get the other four under wraps as soon as we can. Let's see. I have no idea about the Whispering Canal. Someone made off with the one-sided reed which Nejima had. Yeah, damn shame. After that, we don't know about the Taike of Sugaru either, do we? So we can assume that curse bearers are still prowling around out there with those ones. So that girl has three. The other three. Not the dad jokes, yeah. What a headache. Hopefully we can find them soon. His daughter has the other ones. Um. Dad versus daughter, yeah. Oh no, I don't think... We don't know who has this one. Don't we have a... Yeah. I feel like- I feel like Tsuchumi should go put them like in a safe or something because now he's being so burdened with all these- all these fucking sh things. Um, I want to see... Oh yeah, all the regret. really heavy. <gasps> hi Jai! Welcome in! Hey, hi, hi! Oh, that was it. I guess when the curse bars are still out prowling around. I think it's just one more. No, not really. Detective Ariel was nice enough to get us something to drink earlier. Seeing a detective take time for... Um, little things that helps put us at mind at ease. <clears throat> Sometimes there's some spooky ghosts, but not not really. Come to think of it, did old man Ashimiya end up getting away? The the only things that really spook me is when they do like zoom ins on their faces for like random like random reasons. But it's literally just their face. It's just a zoom in. <laughs> I'm doing good, Jai. How are you? How's the job going? Come to think of it, uh, I read that. Sorry. Ugh, so word's already out, huh? <laughs> he was cornered but managed to take a hostage and escape is what I heard on the radio. What happened after that? That's So that's all they're reporting. Here's what really happened. Blah 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 blah. Ah, he was killed! And the hostage was Susumi's daughter, whose whereabouts are still unknown. Yep, his daughter showing up was a huge surprise. Even Boss couldn't believe it. He beat the fucking hell out of him. Job so good? I'm so happy to hear that! Yippee! Damn it, the hell do you expect? No one could have seen that coming. So there's already an emergency search underway for her as a key witness and suspect. I'll be rejoining the search for her after we're done here. Key witness and suspect. But wasn't she a hostage? Could she have killed Nejima and fled the scene? Well, it's just a possibility. If we're talking possibilities, might as well tell them everything. It's very likely that Nejima was killed by a curse stone. What? By a curse bear? Oh, it's already evening, so the effect of the Feast of Shadows would be starting to return. Yeah, which kind of makes it likely that a curse was used to kill him. Boss, you're repeating yourself. Try to calm down for a sec. But that would mean... The Inspector's daughter is probably a curse bearer, right? Uh, did you say something? Maybe I'm losing my hearing in my old age. Boss, you can hear just fine. Don't play the old man card every time you want to get out of something. We even talked about how she might have the Taiko of Tsugaru, if that's the case. Did we? My memory's a little hazy. You got a soft spot for your daughter, don't you, Inspector? Grr. 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 <laughs> Grr. Where's my word? Oh, I missed an R. There we go. <laughs> Grr. <laughs> it just hits a little too close to home now. No, my battery's gonna die? I need to take a break. I'm gonna charge. 
But either way, we have to find her as soon as possible. That's why we'll be joining the search as soon as we're done here. One more thing, there's a very good chance that his daughter has Michio's talisman. All the more reason for you to get back to that search, best of luck. What the hell has she gotten herself into? A bunch of trouble. It's literally on battery saving mode and plugged in. I don't know what else to do, man. Now that, is that everything we needed to chat about? If you don't need anything else, we'll be going back to the search. Um, there actually is one thing. Oh, what's that? Just a couple hypothetic, what, 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 what? Just completely hypothetically. Hypothetically, what if the inspector's daughter was the mastermind? What if the mastermind, here's a question. What if the mastermind was Junko Onishima? <laughs> I mean, she's a woman. It seems like she was after the talismans. Hmm, sorry, don't really understand what you mean. It's just to me, please. Boss, come on, you gotta look at the facts. But that would mean Inspector Susumi would also have to be one of Ashino's descendants. Oh, right. You're just a normal person, right, Inspector? Unless that's why you're so resistant to the paranormal. Mm -hmm. Don't believe I've ever heard anything about being related to some Omyoji. Omyoji. Oh. But. Well, if you put it like that. Her being the mastermind. It's possible. Really. Really? Gonna call it a day here, um, and Goba have, um, great to have hung out here today. Yes, Chai, it was, it was great to have you. Take care and happy Easter. I'm so glad you had, um, a productive day, and I was happy to see you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Have a good rest of your day, have a good night, and have a happy weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye. Uh, I say possible, but I mean unlikely is what I want to think. Damn it, I don't even want to imagine it. Also, if we're going to consider it, we have to do it properly. No dragging your heels about it. No, it's not that. There's something I never told her, never wanted to tell her. The truth is, she's not my real daughter. What? 20 years ago, well, it's a long story, but we took her in when she was just a baby. Do you know anything about her birth parents? You could say... You could say I do, I guess, but really, I don't know anything. What's that supposed to mean? I don't get it. There you You heard what I said, didn't you? Just now? About 20 years ago? No, boss, that can't be! Nejima- That's right. When we arrested Nejima, there was a baby at his house on the brink of death. That was my daughter, Ayame Tsutsumi. He goes by Ayame Tono now. What?! Someone had to take care of her. A baby holds no blame for the circumstances she came from. But boss, according to Nijima, that baby, it's his former lover reincarnated using black magic. What? Personally, I think that story is bullshit. <laughs> according to Nejima, blah, 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 my goodness. It's hard to believe from Nejima's behavior, but could it really be true? I've got a few doubts. We have to question whether the Shino woman ever really existed in the first place. There are no records of her and no body was found. Her name never came up once during the investigation. Even if this woman really existed, I'm ske skeptical that someone could be reincarnated as a baby through black magic. Oh. Hello, Ken! Hi, welcome in! Oh no, how could this be? Oh, I'm dirty. Oh, I'm dirty. I agree, no matter how you look at it, a spell with that effect is hard to believe. Even the supernatural has rules that must be followed. Seems more likely he deluded, he's deluded himself, not wanting to recognize that a spell he risked um, his life on failed to work. That's my thinking too. The more natural conclusion is that the baby is his and she knows and that she died in childbirth. As long as we don't know she knows origins, we have to consider the possibility that she could be a descendant of Ashino. Oh, interesting. There's just an A at the beginning. The names are very similar. Huh, if nothing else, their names are pretty similar. Okay, okay, Mayo, thank you. Okay, assuming that all of this is true for a moment, Ayame's getting taken away by Nejima and then killing him. Getting taken away by Nejima and then killing him. Okay. That would mean that she killed her own father. Calm down, this is all still conjecture. But now that Nejima is dead, we have no means to investigate. So regardless of everything, there's only one thing that matters. She's my daughter. As her parent, I'm responsible for her. Nothing can change that. 
I understand. All right, we should get back to the search. We'll find her and clear all this up. Yes, sir. The talisman you young ladies are looking for has something to do with this as well. I'd appreciate it if you could help us find it. So if anything happens, please call the police. We will. I'm worried about Hitomi, so I'm going to head to where she is. I'll be waiting to hear some good news from you all. Aw, Mayo's so sweet. Oh, they're gonna reunite. Oh, dear God. Conclusion. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick be right back and switch my, my cable that's charging my phone. And um, see if it see if it helps keep it charged better. Um, so get up, stretch your legs, drink some water. I'll be right back.
Hello. Oh, hello. Eh. Hold on. I think changing it. Oops. Mess with the connection. I'm here though. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's finish this. Hopefully this is the end. I just switched my, cause the, the other cable I have that's like nice and long is uh, just like a cheap one I got from the dollar store. <clears throat> so I just changed it to my like Apple charger, which charges it like super fast. Um, but it's like very short, so it's like on a on a tight leash now. <laughs> so I had to like adjust it a little bit, but it's good. It's good enough. Good enough. Okay. Yeah, battle of the um, battle of the curses. I think if it, if it if it went if it got down to like just them using their curses against each other, I think Tsubi would win based on the curses he have has versus the curses that she has. Yeah. I think I think he would win but let's hopefully they can talk it out okay <laughs> Tatsumi and Erio continue their investigation deciding to meet with Ayame um, to get to the bottom of it all will this be the conclusion to the curses of the seven mysteries of Hanjo to Seimen and Ashino's intertwined fate <laughs> you think Tatsumi is Seimen's descendant then That'd be pretty cool. Starting right here. Hey. How long has it been since we saw each other? Three years? How have you been? They're just, they're just casually chatting. I think the last time was when you came to see me after deciding to go to university. That wasn't because I wanted to see you. I just needed money to pay tuition. Oh my god, she's terrible. Huh. Not one mince word, eh? You came alone, right? Yeah, it's just me. You make it sound like I'm handing over ransom money for hostages. I just don't want to get caught, okay? <laughs> They're all the bushes. <sighs> Never thought I'd see the day you um, that you called the police. Oh, that's right. She was calling the police. I forgot. There's something I needed to see you about. Well, all right then. We got a lot to talk about, so let's go through things one by one. The sun is starting to dip down into the horizon. This long, long day is about to end. We don't have to worry about Nejima's threat anymore, but I sure didn't expect this to happen. Oh, what was that? Did something just move over there? Gah, what the hell are those idiots doing? <laughs> no, they were there. I told them not to come, damn it. Shit, I don't want to know what will happen if they get found out. Whatever I do, I got to keep from looking over there. Okay. Funny. You didn't know that they were coming. No bird sticker. Bird sticker. Bird sticker. Oh. Hold on, lady. She sure has changed over the past three years. Um, got more of a grown-up air about her. Hard to believe she's that same little girl who would get omelet all over her face when we took her out to eat. Wait a minute, is that how far back I have to go for a happy memory together? No wonder she hates me. Aww. Ask about her curse stone. You have a curse stone, don't you? I do. You wouldn't happen to feel like handing it over, would you? The police will handle any damages to curse damages the curse caused. Now before you do any more wrong with it, I'm not giving it up. Of course not. Me being a curse bearer, are you after my life? That's exactly what I'm here for. I didn't come to chat. We can talk all you want, but as soon as the conditions of my curse is met, I'll use it. No hesitation. No lying. Got it. <laughs> Or do you have more than one? How many curse stones do you have? Three. Not that it matters. Three, huh? Not handing them over. Okay. Ask why she wants the right. 
Why are you willing to go so far for the right of resurrection? What do you want with it? Even if I told you, you wouldn't understand. You just call it stupid and dismiss the idea completely. Come on, I wouldn't do that. Maybe together we can think up a way for you um, to get what you want without resurrection. I want to bring Katsushika Hokusai back to life. Ho Hokusai? What? Hokusai the ukiyo-e artist? That Hokusai? You want to bring him back to life? That'd be quite the feat, huh? That's... You... I heard you liked his art, but why would you do something so stupid? See? Yeah. <laughs> the only time I ever felt like there was a place I belonged was when I was immersed in the dreamlike world of ukiyo-e. Though I'm sure you never noticed. Really, I had no idea. It saved me. Hokusai is the reason I'm still alive today. I didn't know you felt so hopeless. You would only realize it now, but it's too late. Feeling sorry won't do either of us any good. Jeez, lady. How's the game so far? I just woke up from that. I think I'm at the end. I don't know. Even if I donged you, you wouldn't understand. What the? Mimi, this is his daughter. Or, the Mimi. Dude, this is his daughter. You need to... No. You need to stop that. <laughs> Hope the nap was good. Yeah, how was your nap? Not yet? You're very, very close? Okay. <clears throat> From the moment I heard about... <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, I have to give her her accent. From the moment I heard about the right of resurrection, I knew that was my destiny. If this is all I ever accomplish, I'll die happy. You're really serious about this. About Nejima. Then I'll put this bluntly. Did you kill Nejima? And if I did... Would you hide me from the police? Mm. Well, I, I don't know if I... That's what I thought. Your job is the only thing you care about. Yes, I did it. You... I didn't even... I didn't think he even knew I was a curse bearer. He brought me to those gardens and I realized while he was talking to me that he fulfilled the conditions of my curse, so I gave it a shot. I didn't think it would actually activate. There's no going back now. That's not true. You can still make things right before you make them worse. I love when he does that pose. It's so funny. Then let me say it another way. This is my chance and I won't throw it away. Your chance. Did Nejima say anything to you? He said a lot of bad things about you. That's for sure. Yeah, not surprised there. So I said a lot about things about you back. I didn't want to be outdone. Oh my god. Harsh. In that sense, I felt just a little like he was my kindred spirit. No, no, no. Kindred spirit? What are you talking about? He's a dangerous criminal. But I'm a murderer now too, aren't I? Maybe we're not so different. Ugh. No, you're, you're different. Am I? Well, maybe not that different. But at least you're honest. Because <laughs> then she can't kill him. I know I haven't been the best father. But I wonder, of all the fathers in the world, are there any who wouldn't cover for their child if they committed a crime? How should I know? You're the detective here. You must have seen plenty of cases like that. Yeah, plenty of parents take the fall for their children or give them a place to hide. As a person, it's wrong, but maybe as a parent, it's the right thing to do. I don't know. But I think having a father like that would make it easier to go for to him for advice if I did do something wrong. Maybe there's a sense of security in knowing that no matter what happened, you'd have at least one person on your side. I see, so that's what it would take to be on your side. I can't do that. That's okay. I wasn't really expecting you to. Hmm. When your kindred sp when your kindred spirit is a serial killer, <laughs> honestly. Thank you, Elvis. Good thing they didn't kill cereals. That was a close one. That would be so sad. So Nejima really didn't tell you anything? Not really, no. But the talisman. Can I ask you one thing? Do you know anything about the talisman Michio had? Michio Shiraishi? From the car crash you were in with that Namigaki guy? Ooh, with Yotaro? Yeah, I was there. Yotaro? Yeah, that sounds like... So you... You and him were... I mean... 
Eh, not really. He was kind of a boring guy. What? You're serious? But he's a... Ah, uh, you're getting off track, Mr. Tsutsumi. The talisman! Get back to the talisman! We shouldn't have relied on him for this. <laughs> no, I don't have any fire on me. <coughs> well, if you don't plan on seeing him again, it doesn't matter. But with the hit and run case on top of everything, you're really in deep. Is that really what you wanted to talk about? Yeah, I mean, no. Tell me about the talisman. Did you take it from the scene? You mean this? That's it! I picked it up at the scene of the crash. I didn't want to leave fingerprints behind. That's it? There's really no other reason? What's the big deal? Is it really that special, this old thing? Yes, it's really important. Would you mind giving it to me? Important for what? For putting a stop to the curses of the seven mysteries. Oh. So that means if I give you the talisman, I won't be able to use the right? Then no way! I'm definitely keeping it. Ugh, I screwed that one up. Mr. Tsutsumi, you really can't do any better than that. Come on, the talisman. The duck licks get me every time. I know, it's so funny. Will you give me the talisman? What? No way, I can't lose the right. About being taken hostage. I'm sorry I couldn't save you from Nejima. Are you hurt? And there it is. That's so like you. What? You're only mentioning that now? Shouldn't that have been the first thing you asked? Well, I was just... You're not worried about me. All you care about is yourself. Yeah, you're right. I've been selfish, I know. Oh, come on, Mr. Susumi. You can do better than that. You really screwed up there, huh? I'm fine. I managed to get away somehow or other. Right, I'm glad. I'm glad. How is she? Yasuko, I mean. Mom, I haven't kept in touch with her. I've been on my own this whole time. I'm sure you've reached out to her, though, haven't you? I did call her this morning, actually, just to make sure she was safe. She's been running around all over the place looking for you. Hmm, sounds like she's fine to me. Did you contact her after I called the police to tell her you've heard from me? Did you contact her after I called the police to tell her you've, you'd heard from me? I did not. Pisk, pisk. <laughs> well, I've heard you're into nightlife and staying out late these days. Didn't want her to worry more than she already was. You're one to talk. I think I've let you talk enough. Mind letting me have a turn? By all means. You're hiding something. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Well, sure, you can't live as long as I have without having a secret or two. Of course you try to dodge the question. Now then. Let me tell you how my curse stone, the Taiko of Tugaru, works. What? My curse bludgeons to death anyone I find is hiding something from me. If you try to cover something up that I know is true, I'll be able to use my curse on you. With that in mind, can I ask you one more thing? Ah, uh, I get it. Why you wanted to see me. Let me tell- then let me tell you one thing first. The Evergreen Beach has a similar condition. I can use my curse on anyone who tells me a lie. What? How is that fair? And you'd use that curse on me? As an officer of the law, it's inexcusable, but as a parent with a duty to his child, I have no other choice. Are you threatening me? Do you really think that's enough to convince me to do as you say? I don't want to use it either, but for your sake, I suggest you try not to lie. Go ahead then. If I lie, then so be it. Well, it's not even that he'd use it. It's just that he knows when you're lying because... The corner of the screen goes, use curse. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask. If you try to hide it now, you really will die. Am I? Am I your real daughter? I'm just a baby you picked up to replace your stillborn, aren't I? And you could never bring yourself to tell me who my real parents were. So you just kept hiding it. Still too much of a coward to tell me, huh? You don't like the truth, so you won't admit it. That my real parent is the man I was just with. Ayame! Is that all you have to say? Then the only... Then I have only one answer for you. 
you are honestly and truly our daughter. Nothing more, nothing less. Even now, you're still trying to hide it? Why? Are you really that stupid? Ah! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, boss, boss! Is your pride worth dying for? Oh, God. Have known. Why? Why go this far to hide it? Yame, listen. Huh? You're how? Yame. <sighs> Hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, he's so beat up. <clears throat> Be proud. No matter what happens, you are our precious daughter. No way! How are you still alive? I don't know what that piece of shit Nejima filled your head with. But you're not Shino. You're not a Shino, either. You're our daughter, Ayame Tsutsumi. Oh, Alright, I guess it's Tono now. Well, that's fine, too. Tsutsumi, Tono, both will always be part of who you are. What? Why are you doing this? That's not true! The curse proves that it's not! Sure, you probably don't have many memories of us playing together. But I did leave everything- and I did leave everything at home to your mom, and I was barely ever there for you. Even so, when I was working, no matter how grisly a crime scene I was at, all I ever wanted was for you to grow up to be happy, that's it. Why? Why say all of this now? So do one last thing for me. I want you to tell me the truth, too. And if you lie to me now, I'm taking you with me. Stop, I can't. The mastermind behind all of this, the one who awakened the curses of the Seven Mysteries in order to use the right, was, wasn't was you, was it? No, no. I wouldn't even know how to do that. And picking up Michio, Michio's talisman, was just coincidence, right? Huh? Yeah, I already told you that. Ah, uh, good. Hearing that, I can rest easy. Is he gonna die?! You're nothing like Nejima. You can stand on your own two legs. You can keep living without escaping into a fantasy. You can hate me. You can dream all the crazy dreams you want. Just don't ever stop trying to do good. You're a victim of your curse, too. It's not too late to atone for the hit and run, for using the curse. Don't run away. You can still make things right. I know you can, because you're my daughter. And after that, just live the best life that you can. Dad! No! Boss! Boss! No! What? That day at 6.18, Ayame Tono was taken into custody. Tatsumi... Tatsumi's death was confirmed at the same time. The five curse stones possessed by Tatsumi, as well as the three given up by Ayame, lost their curse bearers. This temporarily extinguished their spirit power, allowing Miu to obtain them and seal them away without difficulty. The yin talisman possessed by Ayame was recovered and entrusted to Miu as well. Thus, any massacre that could potentially be caused by this iteration of the curses was prevented before it could ever happen. But Tetsuyo, or so it seemed. Why are all curse echoes? My allowance! No, Abyss! Kills by bludgeoning one who is discovered by hiding something. So the fake story is there once was a, a daimyo from the Hirosaki domain in Tsugaru who built 
a residence in Midorichi on the, a large piece of land. On this estate was an almost 8 meter tall tower that served as a lookout for fires. Only a designated firefighter was allowed to use the large drum that resided atop the tower in the event of a fire. While most towers used wooden blocks to sound the fire alarm, for some reason this resident was permitted to use drums. The residence and its special privileges led to a much to much speculation and gossip among the town folk. Freaking why? Okay, the real story is the deep sound of the drums once more reverberates through the night air. How long has it been since we started hearing them each day? Could it be coming from the Daimo's residence? I've heard they have a drum in the fire watchtower instead of wooden clackers, but I don't see a fire. So why are they sounding the drum? Then one morning, a body was found. Isn't that old man Kanzo, the UK painter? He lived nearby but had been down and out for years despite his best efforts to sell his works. Every now and then, his granddaughter would visit, and he would teach her to paint. It was the old man's only pleasure. One day, his granddaughter told him about her dreams, Curse's soul's resurrection. Hearing her tale, the old man was gripped by a sudden zeal and began to paint with great fervor. His works quickly became famous, enchanting all those who viewed his strange imagery. Even the daimo had taken notice. What could possibly have happened? People whispered amongst each other. It looked as um, almost as if he had been beaten like a drum. What the fuck? That's weird. And then one-sided read. The real story is... Oh, I guess the fake story is... Oh yeah, we read that one. The real story is... Uh, Akoma was a lovely woman. She was surprised, worked hard, and lived a frugal yet pleasant life until her husband hanged himself. A husband, a swindler, who would believe such a thing. Okoma was determined to clear her husband's name. That, that is when she met Tomezo a man who was a stranger of these parts. This man must be one of Daimo's spies. It appears that after my husband, I will be next. So be it. But what is he hunting for? Okoma put on the air of a woman mourning her husband, went to the bridge nightly to seek information from Tomezo. She soon discovered that she was right and that her husband had been deceived. Okoma decided to bring her newfound knowledge to the Daimo, such as Tomezo's alarm. Um, angered at having been misled, he confronted her on the bridge, but Okoma would not listen. She cursed him called him vile names, and eventually his patience had worn thin, blood spattered everywhere by the time he returned to his sentence. That senses it was already too late. He looked over at the bridge in the river, the blood below. All the corpses of a woman missing both her arm and her leg. What the f- What the f Okay. So... Okay. We're aerial? Smiling about. Sorry for keeping you out so late, Mio. I can't take my mind off the curse bearer who was never found. Oh, it's fucking, it's fucking, it's this bitch. It's Yoko. Oh, it's no problem for me. I usually work at night anyways. Did you see, um, Yako home safely? Yep, we sent her home in a patrol car earlier. Apparently she put up quite a fuss, saying she wanted to see things through to the end. Thank you. The Feast of Shadows was starting to take effect, so it would have been dangerous. I thought that was done. 8 p.m. with no one around this place is silent as a grave. No one wants to go out at night in these parts after everything that's happened over the past two days. <sighs> I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a bird sticker here because I remember one of the clues being revisiting the park at night or something like that. Yep, there it is. Oh! <laughs> Barb. Uh, I can't get my mind off the remaining curse on the Whispering Canal and who the mastermind is. But we have to deal with that thing before I could worry about any of that. How's it going with the two talismans? Have you figured out the location of the records of Fate Yin Scroll? I have, more or less. <clears throat> when I combine the contents of the two talismans, they formed a seal which can be undone. The things inside the talismans that looked like scraps of wood were actually a tiny scroll kept folded up by the seal. Who'd have thought the talismans actually contained the scroll itself? So that's the yin scroll then, what's it say? Well, there's one more seal we have to undo to open the scroll. It's giving me some trouble, so I was actually hoping you could help me out. Okay, unlock the seal, got it, sure thing. I don't know what I'll be able to do, but let me add it. Wow, I didn't expect you to be so eager to help, it's oddly reassuring. Okay, let's see. Oh. I say you got about an hour or so left, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> <coughs> there are five seals holding the scroll shut. <coughs> I think we have to remove them in the correct order. 
Each seal has a different design. A carp, a light, a beech leaf, a taiko drum, and a reed. Remove the five seals in the right order. Okay. If we get it wrong, is it going to, you know, go boom? Huh? No, we'll just have to try again. I just did it once already. Oh, you already tried it yourself. So brave. <laughs> this puzzle is a lot. Took me a while. Oof. I think it's devised so the seal can only be undone if the curses for the right have already been unleashed. I think there's a hint to opening it hidden in something related to the curses. Yeah, I could already tell because of the drum and the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hum. Just let me know when you're ready. I mean, I, mean, I want to see it. Oh. Hmm? What's wrong? Next is... Detective Eria? What? 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 Is she fucking possessed? What's wrong? Go with me. Let's try it. Remove the five seals in the correct order. Okay, so we have the carp, the light, the beech leaf, which is obviously the beech tree, the taiko drum, the one-sided reel, <clears throat> the carp seal and the light seal. So... Carp seal? And the light seal? This one? Leaf? The drum? And the reed. Would this be the lantern? Is it a lantern or a light? It's a light, so it would be this, the beckoning light. Okay, so let's try it. <clears throat> <coughs> let's try it in the order that they're listed. Which would be... Carp? Carp, light, beach, drum, reed. Too obvious. Hmm, I don't think that was right. Nope, no good. Yes, it makes sense for such an important document to be sealed so tight. Might help to talk things over with me if I got stuck. Any other clues? Do you recognize any of these things on the seal? They sort of look familiar. I mean, I know, I get it, but like... Probably want to consult with her fully. Okay. I get it right by accident, I'm gonna be pissed. <clears throat> Seals look like some of the cursed stone's designs. That must mean that there is some order to the seven mysteries home that corresponds with them. Right. right. Some order to the seven mysteries of Hondra that corresponds with them. right the seal was applied during the Edo period it was probably has to do with the do with the events that took place around then like the incident can you can you just get out of here 
That clue's not really helpful. I'll be honest with you, Mia. <coughs> the resentful memories for the mysteries. There are fragments of the dying moments of those who became the curse echoes. Reading closely, doesn't it feel like there's a connection between them? I think I'm starting to notice something. I think that the order for the seals could be the order in which the people who became Curse Echoes died. Okay, that's what I was thinking, but like, how am I supposed to know the order? The information in the resentful memories are only fragments, but we might be able to see their relative order. Would that make the old man from the Taiko of Tsugaru the first? I'm gonna take some notes. <clears throat> Carp. Oh, I clicked on my controller by accident. Stop it. loved her dearly. Miso soup. Their wicker baskets on their backs, they would leave for the canal every morning and fish till the evening. The miso soup her mother Koma made using the carp they caught was to die for. Her mother, um, her parents loved her dearly. One day, however, her father disappeared. Toki's mother went to look for him and never came back either. Those who came to express their concern eventually stopped visiting her out of fear. Toki continued to wait all alone. Mother, father, where did you go? Don't leave me behind. Unable to bear the loneliness, she left her home and trudged along the roads until night fell. Neither her mother nor father were anywhere to be found. Tears stung her eyes. Suddenly, the sound of fish splashing in the water cut through the silence. She found herself standing before the canal where they used to fish together. The taste of carp and the memory of her father's smile flashed across her mind without think thinking Toki walked into the moat. The sound of water splashing echoed throughout the night. Passersby thought it was only as the fish in the canal. The splashing faded. The silence returned to the lonely night. Okay, so fish in the canal. We don't need that one. Um, oh no. Brain. Um, we need this one, right? Oh, and here's the bridge. Is this the... Is this the same moat or canal? <clears throat> Visions of the past is mine. Memories of a young couple and their daughter had lost everything. This is a different family. You repaid his kindness shown um, to him through evil. The regret gnaws at him now. It's too late to undo it. His mind turns the Omnyoji woman. It was all her doing. But the blame laid with him and his inexperience. He had foolishly involved himself with the forbidden, inviting evil into his life. I should have left the rite of resurrection well enough alone. The light of the man's life began to fade as regret and anger washed over him in turns. If only I had accomplished it in the end. 
Alas, it's too late for that now. I am prepared for hell. Perhaps in another life I can fulfill my dreams. Even if this body perishes, I can atone for my sins. Near a bridge. deceived us with his so-called rite of resurrection. Man who tricked the people with his false dark arts brings from a rope. They said this one was first? <coughs> Excuse me. They thought the man had escaped <clears throat> the previous night, but oddly enough, he was found hanging in the garden of the daimyo's mansion that morning. The daimyo was mentioned here, too. Could it be coming from the daimyo's residence? The drums. Old man Kanzo. A local named Jinkichi. He was the kind of man who would take care of those who didn't have anyone else to rely on. The prosperity of the Ukiyo Ibum brought um, must have been what fanned the flames of his greed. The old craftsman was found in a miserable state, as if sentenced to some cruel fate. Perhaps he'd ended his own life, unable to bear the weight of his crimes. The dead men tell no tales, and the people thought of him as a bad man, even in death. He hung there for days, till his neck stretched horrifically. <clears throat> it was clear the man struggled greatly as he died. Beech tree's leaves do not fall, and neither did the man's body hanging from it, as the mansion's owner was not at home. The mansion's owner was not at home. <clears throat> That's important, I think. What was it? A, the leaf or whatever? Or the beech? Leaf, beech leaf? Yeah. Okay, so... Hold on. Yeah, beach leaf. <clears throat> Light seal. Beach. Leaf. Seal. And then we got... Uh, the Tycho from Seal, and then we got the Reed Seal. Oh, <clears throat> okay, so this, um, and it's not these, the superstition has nothing to do with it, it's all the, it's all the resentful memories. Yeah, resentful memories. Okay. Yeah, the real stories. Okay. Yeah. So this is Toki. Father was Jinkichi. Oh, Jinkichi it was just in the Evergreen one, wasn't it? And mother was coma. <clears throat> I don't know if I said it, um, but good night, sheep jeans. Good night, waifu. I had a good time being comfy today. Of course. I hope you have a good EP. 
One day her father disappeared, so maybe that is when he was hung? And then I'm gonna write fish splashing. Father gone. Mom went looking. Okay. And then for this one. <clears throat> A vague silhouette. This one doesn't have any name, so I'm I'm pretty sure that this one is Samen. Man. Young couple and daughter. Resurrection. So this one would have to be after um, the Evergreen Beach because the Evergreen Beach dude was like telling everybody about the Rite of Resurrection. Maybe maybe the beach one is the is Samens. I don't know. So this one, this is Jinkinchi. So this is. Oops, an H. So this is Toki's father, the carp one. Hung in Daimyo's mansion. So this one was before the canal. Ukiyo-e boom? I'm just gonna write ukiyo -e. Maybe that's related to a different one. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Mansion empty. I'm gonna write empty. <clears throat> Hi, Abyss! People held their tongues, fearing divine punishment. Okay. And then the drums. So this one again had the... This one was the Taiko of Tsukaru. You're back! Again! Welcome back! Again! So happy to see you! So this one was the Daimyo's residence. I heard they have a drum in the firewash tower instead of wooden clappers. I don't see a fire. Why are they sounding the drum? So this means that it was vac um it was occupied. So someone was there because they were doing the drums. So this one would be before the Evergreen Beach. Old Man Kanzo? We got more mysteries? Yeah, we're reading stories to figure out the timeline. 
Oh, another the, the Okio Okio -E painter. So he started the boom, maybe. Oh yeah, that he started with great fervor and then he got really popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one was definitely before the beech leaf. His granddaughter. Granddaughter, let me write that down. <clears throat> no mention of her name though. Told him about her dreams, curses, souls, resurrection. Verses, souls, resurrections. So that's interesting. Even the daimyo had taken notice. So they were they were home. And then the one-sided read. <clears throat> Okoma. Okoma. Her husband hung himself. But that couldn't be... Oh, maybe. This says Okoma... No, it's different. Because this says Okoma, and this says Koma. But it's not the same. <clears throat> My husband, a swindler, who would believe such a thing? Man must be one of Daimo's spies. It appears that after my husband, I will be next. I'm just ever she was right and that her husband had been deceived. Oh, really? Okay. But then what? Why would she leave her daughter then? <laughs> And they said that, uh, would that make the old man from Taiko of Ugaru the first? 
Information in the resulting memories are only fragments, but we might be able to see their relative order. Oops. So they're saying this one is the first. And the reed seed also has the Daimo residence occupied. What about the beckoning light? There was nobody... This would have been after everything though. So this would be last, I think. So I think it's, I think it's the Tycho drum, and then the Whispering Canal, and then the Beech Leaf, and then the Reed Seed, and then the Beckoning Light. And if it's not that, then I'm looking it up. <laughs> so I don't want to be here forever. <laughs> Okay, I think it's the Tycho Drum, and then the Carb, and then the Beech Leaf, and then the Reed Seal, and then the Light. Ah! No good. Order that they died? She was alone when she died because her parents were already gone? It says they're missing! It doesn't say that they're dead. Uh, okay, so then it would be the drum. Yeah, I mean... So then it would be... That's stupid. Then it would be the drum. This. And then this. And then this. And then this. Wah! Oh, you got it right! First try. <laughs> First try. Open. You were counting? Mio. Well, like, five of those was me just pushing your your consulting dialogue, so... More like three attempts. I realized that since there are only 120 possible combinations, I was bound to get it eventually. What the fuck, Iron? Now we can finally read what's written inside. Let's see. It said that Saman, author of the Record of Fates, wrote the Yin Scroll because he feared that the descendants of those involved in the Honshu incident might become cursed and used in the collection of soul drakes for the Rite of Resurrection. The existence of the Yin Scroll was indicated in the postscript, yada yada yada. The text has been preserved in the form of two talismans held by Hajime and Michio. Here's the full account of the Honjo incident and the following. We bequeath the scroll um, to future generations to be used in the event that calamity should arise from this grievous incident. Those who seek the for forestall disaster must gather these three items in one place to cast my rite of cleansing and expel all rituals and curses in full. My soul, that is my curse echo, my body, that is a living continuation of my bloodline, my spirit, that is my own consciousness. Oh boy, how are we gonna do that? Blah, 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 blah. That's just the order of how everything happened. Cool. What does it say? 
He still the count of the strategy, the, tra the strategy, the tragedy surrounding the rite of resurrection that occurred. The whole story of what we call the Hanjo incident is laid out clearly. That incident was the origin of the seven mysteries of Hanjo and their curses, right? Yes, the resentment of the victims and their incidents uh, turned into curses, which are the curse echoes. The contents are organized like an answer sheet, so it doesn't just give us the information we need. Uh, is there anything else? Yes, here's what we've been looking for. <clears throat> For he foresaw all of this happening. Those who seek the forestall disaster must gather these three items. Oh, yep. Wow, so if we gather these three things in one place... Hello, Rogue Moon! Welcome in! Welcome in, how are you doing? I believe... You're the one that made my stinger, aren't you? <laughs> Hi! I love it! Thank you! Demon's Rite of Cleansing will activate um, and completely negate the curses and the Rite of Resurrection. Um, oh, that's it. That's exactly what we need. The three things are Saman's soul, body, and mind. It says the soul of Saman's... This is Saman's curse echo. This curse echo. So Saman himself is part of the Seven Mysteries? Now that you mention it, Mr. Ariishi said something along those lines before. There's another hint written here. My curse echo holds my curse. Well, well no kidding. <laughs> my curse brings ruin to curse bearers. What kind of hint is that? Maybe it'll make more sense as we keep going? But will the curse echo still appear if the curse bearer is already gone? Uh oh. Hi, hi, hi! How's stream going? It's going good. It's going good. We're trying to beat this game, but it's dragging on a little bit. <laughs> it's dragging on a little bit. A little bit. How are you? Oh, you've been playing Supermarket Sim? How do you like it? How do you like it so far? <clears throat> Thank you for working on the stinger. I really like it. Next, the body is the descendant of Seiman's, it seems. Wasn't Yoshimi a relative of Seiman? He and Machio, who had the other talisman. Ugh, both of them had already passed by the time this iteration of the curses was unleashed. That's true, what are we gonna do? Yeah, we don't have anybody. This game looks super interesting. It's very, it's very fun. It's very, very fun. It's like, it's like a, a mystery, but then also like, I don't even know how to explain it, dude. <laughs> It's like this curse thing like implodes on this town and then you have to like figure out what's going on and also try to stop it and then there's some people who are like, yeah, let's kill people and then others who are like, no, let's not do that. Let's, let's not. And then there's like, uh, it's crazy. It's very fun though. Super fun. I should try it out, the, the supermarket sim. I'm happy to hear you're doing well. It's nice to see you. <clears throat> this bloodline was so split up. Um, there have to be others. Yeah, so we're like right at the end. We're trying to figure out like how to stop everything. Ooh, there's one other note here. Where? Is it another hint? Wait, what, what, wait, what was the... My curse brings ruin to curse bears. Oh, wait, is that the one? So that must be the one that is, uh... This. The lantern. My curse brings ruin to curse bearers. So, kills one who has become a curse bearer by means of the curse they possess. So it must be this one, right? The lantern. The light. The beckoning light. That makes sense, right? As for the body, seek not only one who bears my blood, but one with strong spirits. That's two, two prerequisites? That's terrible. Let's an individual be able, if a spirit attempts to possess them, to instead take control of that spirit themselves. Hey, yo. Oh, it says. Do we know of anyone like that? I can't think of anyone. Let's move on for now. He looks pissed. <laughs> Next is the mind. What's the difference between the mind and the soul? Um, in paranormal theory, it's said that humans are made up of the soul, body, and mind. The mind is essentially thought to be part of the spirit that makes up one's consciousness or oneself. It's like driving. The body is the car, the soul is the control system, and the mind is the driver. Hmm, I see. I think that makes sense. So is there a hint for finding this one too? Oh, well, let's see. There's this. Should the rite of resurrection be activated elsewhere, so too shall my mind be awakened there. Damon tried to seal away the rite of resurrection, but before he could, Ashino stole the record of fates. 
So as to countermeasure to the right being activated, he made it so that his mind would be released from the seal. Okay, but what does that actually mean? That's a great question. <laughs> what it means is, it's okay, Mio knows. Simon's, um, Simon's mind awoke the night the right was activated and must be possessing someone out there right now. Ain't no way. What? So we have to get that person together with everyone else. All right, so we have to find the curse echo, the descendant, and the person possessed by Simon. Then we just have to get them together in one place and we'll be good to go. Right, but there is one thing. The second and the third could both be the same person. Oh. But who could that be? It's like how Machio lost her memories when she was possessing Yako. Samen's consciousness might not be aware of who it really is. So if he learned the truth, would he start to act on his own accord? Ooh, then that person could already be... Oh, hold on a second. Someone's coming this way. Perhaps the person that we need? That would be convenient. Excuse me, could I interrupt for just a moment? Ah! There she is! I knew this bitch wasn't dead! Um, who might you be? Would you buy this empty can of juice I just finished drinking for 10,000 yen? Excuse me? I even threw in these bones from some fried chicken. You can't beat a deal like that. This bitch crazy. I don't really want them. Don't say that. Come on, they're delicious. Actually, I thought I might just have a picnic right here. Won't you join me? Is she- is she good? Sorry, um... I don't understand. What should we do? Well, it's not like we need this exact spot and we can't do anything with other people around. Let's just move somewhere else. I wouldn't turn my back on her if I were you. I'm sorry, we're in the middle of something, so we'll just be on our way. Yeah, yeah, that's why I just said I wouldn't turn my back on her. Ah! No! 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 <laughs> Not Mio! This crazy bitch. I knew she wasn't dead. What? Oh. What do you mean? Uh, credits roll. What do you mean? Oh, hello again. You have my heartfelt thanks for all your hard work thus far. This brings the story of the seven mysteries of Hanjo to a close. And who could have foreseen such a conclusion? Me, I've been saying it the whole time. That bitch is not dead. Unfortunately, it seems the so-called mastermind was one step ahead of you. She remains hidden, leaving behind no evidence. Perhaps there is truly no way to stop her. However, should you find that this conclusion is not to your liking, by all means, please pursue a different path. You have done it once before, so I am sure you already know how. With that, I shall be taking my leave. I have been your humble storyteller. Good night. Reach Tetsuya Tsutsumi's ending. Well, how do I get... How do I get out of here? How do I do more? Come on! How do I do more? Wait, 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 Think back to something weird that you saw that never made sense. Like, think back how far back. <laughs> far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Good night, Abyss. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is it here, like right at the beginning? Is it, is it when that spirit appears in the park when I'm talking to what's-his-face? Is it here, part three? Or is it when she's still alive in part two? Is it here when I'm talking to Takumi? When you see this okay yeah because this huh looks like a light floating in midair because hi Kenzie hi welcome in what do I do though? Right closer. Touch it. Huh? Am I supposed to touch it? I'm scared. Cleansing of the body, soul, and mind of Samen. Wait, is Shogo <coughs> right? If cleansing is activated, spelling all rituals and curses. Yo, how are you, Kenzie? Welcome in. Hello, my my. Finally, what do you mean? Finally, it took me two seconds. <laughs> You've arrived at this uh, juncture. I expected no less from you. That would mean that you have managed to bring everything to light. Though there is the possibility that you have wound up here by chance. So before I take you any further, I must ask you a number of questions. Okay. All right. What exactly? About what exactly the soul, body, and mind of semen blah 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 are? Firstly, which Chris Echo represents the soul? Uh, the. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I keep... This one, this one's a light. The light, the light. The light. Uh, back to being up. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, that is exactly it. Okay. <clears throat> Katina has three tabas! Yay! And Lint! Hi, Lint! Hi, Lint! Uh, after his defeat at the hands of Ashino in the Hundred Incident, Simon wandered, wandered about near Honji. The form of his cursed echo changed over time um, with the legend he left behind. This is the cursed echo which was acquired by Mayu, yes. But when he called forth but when called forth by Samen's body and mind, it appeared momentarily before him. The form of his curse echo changed over time. But when called forth by Seaman's body and mind, it appeared momentarily before him. Let's continue. Okay, that sentence doesn't make sense, but... Who served as the self of Seaman? Who, who was his body, his descendant, who carried his blood in their veins? Wait, I don't know that. 
Hi, Lynn! <laughs> She's so cute. Wait, I don't know. No, I don't know that, Kellen! Was it? Wait, I do know that, but now I don't remember. Oh, it was, um, it was, um, it was him. Right? Ah, but Jesus. <clears throat> Someone who could see parrots? Where is that his descendant was someone who could see spirits? I need to say that. Wait, I thought the the, the descendants were were Hajime and and Machio. There might be another. Oh. Well, if it's someone who can see spirits, then it's probably Mia. Oh, fucking hell. Knocking everything over. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so late. You're fine. You're fine. We're going long today. We're almost done, though. These spirits, huh? Yeah, she said it when she was reading the, the information. Well... Yeah. But I also saw one as... Well, all the curse- all the curse bearers could see spirits. I saw one as freaking Haraway, too. Well, like any one of them could be the frickin' Who brought up a question? Stone, though. Spirit unconnected from the curse. He doesn't see them, I don't Although Shogoki was born to an ordinary family, the blood of a distant relative ran thick in his veins. In truth, the same is true for Yoko. Oh. He was also one who had the blood of a distant relative coursing through her. In her case, it was Ashino. Damon and Ashino faded to meet again all these hundreds of years later. I thought, for some reason, I thought Damon and Ashino were going to be, um, Tetsuyo and 
his daughter. Now for the final question. Who is the... Who is the mind? Tell me the name of the person whose consciousness was directly tied to... Wait, wait, no. The, that explanation confused me! The consciousness is the... The inner workings of... No, the, the mind is the driver of the car? What did we just answer? As the self? The soul? Is the car itself? <laughs> the... the body... Wait, what? The body is the car itself? The body is the car itself. <clears throat> so that was Shogo. Um, the the soul is like the the inner workings, the the UI of the car, and then the 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 consciousness, the mind is the driver. But what what what? Why is this so difficult for me? Any of these people build like a bus? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> Mind. Oh, I want to see Mio for this one. Can you just explain to me like what this question means? Like what it? Tell me the name of the person whose consciousness was directly tied to his. What does this mean? person who is the descendant. So that should be Hajime. Ah, who is wrong? Oh, the mind is who is able to take control even after semen possesses them. The answer to this is most important. Why don't- why don't I get it? Sometimes I like get it and then sometimes I don't. So this person should definitely be alive right now. I say Miu. I always say Miu with a U. This is a Dangarampa, but it's Mio. You remember when way, way back the storyteller asked you how many people you killed? And it changed based on whether you press the button or not? No. Told me I killed zero because I wasn't the one using the curse stone. be the same person. That's not it either?
I feel like I'm missing something so... Be him, can't be him. Wait, it might be him. A little bit different from what you expect. Is it like not a person? <laughs> Hi, Chickity! Hi, how are you? Come in. You want a really big hint? Yes! Uh. <laughs> How you doing? It's not a person? Went to the market and you got rid of a lot of things? That's such a refreshing feeling. But that felt good. I need to clean my room so desperately, but I so... Oh, it's me. Me. Scuffed cat. Yeah, I need to clean my room. How about I clean your room and you can clean mine? That sounds great. Let's do it. It's me! Are you saying you believe it to be yourself? Are you certain? No, I'm scared. Yes, you are correct! Finally, you have remembered! Of course, how could I forget that I'm literally in the game? <laughs> That's right, you are. Damon's consciousness, awoken by the curses on the right of Russia. Of, co of course! How could I forget? However, having lost your memories, you forgot about your duty assigned to you. Of course! Of course! If I may say so, where I played my part guiding you through the events of the story. Of course! As your consciousness was all that was left of you. Oh, so, of oh, jeez! How could I forget? I, you manipulated time and space by way of the story chart, jumping from vessel to vessel. Of course! Oh my god! You manipulated your host's actions by whispering commands into the- Oh my god. How could I forget? <laughs> Jeez! Uh, wow! 
<laughs> Remember it seemed weird that we could null the echo of the foot washing by turning down the sound because you were him. Oh. We are all powerful. How could this happen to us? <laughs> I forgot I did that. Wow, what the heck? This heavily reminds me of Zero Time Dilemma. I loved Zero Time Dilemma, dude. We could lose our head. I tell you what, I tell you what, if that wasn't glued onto my neck, I would lose it. <laughs> I would lose that head of mine. <laughs> In doing so, you were able to get the full picture of what needed to be done. Obviously, obviously. Ah, uh, but at one point, while still unconscious, you managed to remember your duty. The so-called mastermind behind these events, the one who awakened the right and the curses, was Yoko. Yeah, that bitch was never dead. She didn't fool me. She didn't fool me. I knew the whole time. I knew the whole time. <laughs> that loco Yoko. I swear to God. <laughs> I bloody well tell ya. <laughs> I love you, Chick. You unconsciously activated your curse and killed her. Aww. How interesting that she awakened Simon's consciousness at the same time as the curse is No way. That was the one and only time she could have stopped she could have been stopped. Ah! But due to your influence on Shogo Oki's will, Yuko Fukunagi was brought back to life! Whoopsie daisy! <laughs> Using the story chart to undo her death! I led you to believe that it was the work of the Rite of Resurrection itself. But as it turns out, seeing that you would transpire if the ma tra I, I would transpire if the Mastermind was not killed at the outset is what would ultimate is what ultimately revealed the way to put an end to the curses for good! Yippee! There were there were certain things which would have answered to all which would have answered all of your questions had you noticed them. For example, even while under your control, Shogooki willingly used his curse. When I asked you early on how many Shogooki had killed, this is what you this is what I meant. Had you not used the curse, Shogooki would have done so of his own accord. I did notice that when I went through again to get that other death. I didn't click use curse when 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 this guy when, No, 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 not him. When this guy turned around and walked away. I I only clicked on the screen. I didn't click in the corner up here to use the curse. I only clicked on the screen and he used the curse on his own. And I was like, wait, what the heck? I didn't click use curse. Why did he kill him? Because I was like, oh, I'm not gonna kill him this time. And he did it on his own. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Shoko Okitoki. <laughs> Turn around. Furthermore, Mayu was able to recall information which only you knew. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that was, she was able to do this because she was connected to you through her curse echo, the beckoning light. Oh, because she had the beckoning light. I see. I see. This bitch. This Yoko... Yoko Loko. Yoko is the descendant of the Amyoji who continued to practice in modern times her ancestor Ashino. Blah, 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 blah. So much information. The beckoning light now. I'm gonna ask you one last question. No, no more questions, please. If you, knowing all that you know now, had the ability to resurrect one life, what would you do? I wouldn't want it, I would destroy it. Oh, I see, I see. That was Seaman's original intention. I apologize for leaving it leaving out. I apologize for leaving it out of the options when I first asked you this question. Now it is time to bring things to a close. Upon your arrival here, the rite of cleansing was activated, dispelling all the other rituals and curses. Look upon the fruit of your efforts, and then we shall leave this world behind for good. Thank you, truly, for all the work you have done. You're welcome. No more curses! I just got here and honestly have no idea what's happening, but I'm mostly invested in Loco Yoko. She crazy. That bitch crazy. Oh, that's what happened? I can't believe it. Well, he just he just had a vision of the whole game. <laughs> See that bitch dead? But she's playing dead. She's not actually dead. I finally understand. Yeah, I was the one who did that to Yoko. The blood of the Omnyoji that's inside me broke into my consciousness and gave me that curse. Yoko was after the Rite of Resurrection. Uh, she's fully dead now? Okay, great. 
He was the one who awakened um, the curses of the seven mysteries and cast the Feast of Shadows. Oh, because he was saying that we brought her back to life in order to do the rest of the game so we would be able to stop it all for good. Yeah, 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 and then she kills him for good mission. Okay. She came back to life in this route because Shogo killed enough to bring her back. Oh, with her thingy. Yeah, the Feast of Shadows is not good. And the only way to stop all of it was to put a stop to her here. Otherwise, the right of cleansing might have been neg negated too. I wonder how much of it was really her doing all of this. Wait, what? I wonder how much of it was really her doing all those things. Yoko. I guess that explains why I felt like it was fate when this all started. Though she didn't seem to notice. I guess things were really destined to end like this from the moment we met. I wish we could have met under different circumstances. Yeah, he had a crush on her. No, no point in thinking like that now. God, I need a drink. Dude, God damn, dude. You just gonna leave her there? I'm thinking a Moscow mule or two or three. I want a fuzzy navel. Oh, with Hare. How's she doing? Does she have her kiddo? It's MJ! What's up, handsome? Ma'am, what is it? Oh, no, they're not gonna get the- they're not gonna get the curse stones now. <laughs> ah, just a dream. It seems that it was all just a dream. I dreamt that there was such a thing as the rite of resurrection. Just a dream. Sorry to say it, but there isn't. Right, of course not. Shaman! <laughs> Even if there's no such thing, I promise you that I will get to the bottom of the kidnapping. In fact, I've happened to find a very important lead from over a year ago. Something that's evaded our reach until now, an eyewitness from the scene of the kidnapping. See? Aww. Atsuyo? He's not gonna get his curse stone! Jesus Christ! Okay. <laughs> See, this game's scary, but it's not like scary. You know? <laughs> whoa, 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 what the hell is this? The medical unit told me to get down here, what happened? Detective MJ gonna catch that smooth camera. <laughs> you better believe it. <clears throat> As I was looking into Yoshimi's death at the former Yasuda Gardens, another body was discovered at a different park in the area. Could they be related? Hmm, it sure looks like it, but... Excuse me, we found this among the victim's belongings. Thought you'd want to know. Hmm, what's this? Uh-oh. Is it the curse stone? What the hell? Boss, look what was in the female victim's address book. Yoshimi's phone number and photo? What? Picture? There's an X drawn on it and a bunch of weird symbols and a hole where his heart would be? What the fuck? No. Do you think, I mean, could this be some kind of curse or something? How many times do I have to tell you to not try to connect everything to the occult? Damn it, is this a Nagigoshi case after all? Hmm, what was that boss? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Make sure you put that photo into the ovens. There's no doubt this is related to Yoshimi. Make sure you do a thorough sweep of the area. I'm gonna make a phone call. Got it. Leave it to me. Spend as long as you want on the phone. Uh, we still don't know what killed Yoshimi. Okay, hey, Yako. She's doing her... She's doing her, her... Her Luigi board. Mio, it turns out Michio really did die in an accident. Yeah, if we ask around, we might be able to get a little more information. I guess there never really was such a thing as the Rite of Resurrection. Yeah, Luigi board. Yeah, Luigi board. <laughs> but I did feel like there was a spirit watching over us. A wah, Luigi board! <laughs> wah. Damn it, why? Nothing's happening. But now my contract won't be- No! I should never have believed in this blasted record of fates. Gosh darn it. At least you'll live to see another day, buddy. He never died, but... 12 of you watching from far, far away. That's me! That's us, guys! We're watching from far, far away. The Rite of Resurrection has never existed. Not in any world, not in any time. So I ask you to take the life you hold and move boldly forward one step at a time. Yo, is this gonna hit me right in my depression? Jesus Christ. 
Richter, he was out. Do you want to question him? Hang on, Ariel. I want to get enough evidence for a search warrant. Let him go for now, and I'll follow him. That's the kidnapper? <gasps> They're gonna get him. Tenzi, we're right at the end! I don't know if you want to be here! Mm, yes. I'm the one who did it. So please, help me! She's, she's always following me! Tenzi, a virtual right and dies! Not the spoilers! <laughs> oh, Mio! I'm so sorry, Michio. I had no idea. Hi. What? Hachime was killed? By this Yoko Funaga? How can that be? He wasn't the kind of guy who could just get picked off like that. You know that! And boss is hiding something. Hmm, there seems to be some kind of secret hidden in Hajime's family tree. Oh dear. Oh my. Let me see if I can find out what it is. MJ, so cool. Oh no! This guy. This fucking zombie. I had heard you would be absent today. Is there something you need? Well, I seem to have this spirit sense thing all of a sudden. I know it's the sort of thing our chairwoman doesn't approve of. Doesn't approve of? All of a sudden? So I thought I'd mention it. Why, did, why the change of heart? This fucking guy. You could have called. Didn't think you were the standoffish type. I had to find out from EY. Whoops, sorry. I forgot all about my favorite chief inspector. Casual conversation with a serial killer? The hell are you planning? Can you just lock him up, please? I'm fucking so done with this guy. Nothing so heinous as you're thinking. I'm only Makoto Ash uh, Ashimiya, after all. Nothing but a lowly janitor. Can you please just lock him up? How are things with you? Are you getting along with your daughter? Well, you know, more or less. Oh, they you talking? I hope so. Brandy? the file after the ending okay 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 i want to let the credits roll soak it in <sighs> what a game what a game callan i really i really lost it when um the the dude i can never remember his name the dude with the fancy sweater and the glasses when he when he name dropped the girl he was with and and Tsutsumi fucking lost it, and I was like, that's his fucking daughter! <laughs> I think that's the most I freaked out. I think that's the plot twist that I freaked out the most at. I think that was the one that got me the most. <clears throat> I was like, why? <laughs> just freaking out. <laughs> you did so good, thank you! Thank you! I really liked it, I really liked it. It was very, very fun. Only one mystery left. Who is Nagagoshi? Yeah. Yeah. The, the mystery paranormal... Paranormal bureau, bureau... Head guy. I wonder if Nagagoshi is the storyteller. Hmm? I think that's the only thing... Yeah, that I don't know. I think we're safe now, yeah. I think we're safe now. Oh, not yet. No safe. No safe. Callan said, no safe. Callan said, uh-uh. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Seven hours? That's not- that's what I expected. Seven, eight hours. I still- I also find it hilarious that 
all three main male protagonists from the Danganronpa series um, had had name character names in this game too. I think that's so funny. <clears throat> That'd be cool if they made another one. The storytelling was really good. Though I hope if they make another one, there's at least some voice acting. Because <laughs> it fucking was horrible on my throat to read everything. <clears throat> at least some voice acting. This is great, though. I really like how they incorporated, like, legends. And, like, paranormal into, like... And then they also had, like, some ser like modern-day, like, serial killing and stuff like that and how they mix everything in. Oh, it's in the, it's in the, it's in the pin message at the bottom. <clears throat> Thank you, Sandy. Hi, Trav! Like the file, you said? Oh. Thank you for playing our game all the way to the very end. We look forward to the day we can present you with another paranormal site. Yippee! Sincerely yours, Nagagoshi. Oh. Okay. I'm only missing two files. Got the Hanjo incident? Wrong. I'm, I'm scared. Good night, Kenzie. Good night. I always keep Lint company, don't you worry. Why you trav? <clears throat> and lurking for a bit? Thank you, I appreciate the lurky. Maybe the beckoning light? Oh. No. So the mystery is half hundred? It's not in here, so it'd be here. I saw salmon down here. Yeah. <clears throat> Doing pretty good. Play some magic with some friends earlier. Nice. Been chilling here to wind down. Get ready for sleep. Yay. Oh, there it is. They took in a man. A, a hot Asian man with a huge penis. <laughs> By the name of Scuffed Cat! Wow. That's crazy. So they didn't... So they didn't end up fucking locking him up? What the fuck? Come on, Tsutsumi. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on, brother. Yeah. 
Never killed anyone? I don't care! He's a freak. <laughs> he should be in jail forever. <laughs> okay, it's safe now, Sanzi! Safe. Wow, we did it! <coughs> Thank you for hydrate! I gotta finish my energy drink or I'm never gonna go sleep. All done. We did it. We beat the game. Yippee! Oh, that was fun. So next, are you guys wondering what we're gonna be playing next? Next for for mystery, mystery, spooky, spooky game. You have quite the vod to watch. Yeah, we literally played like the whole time pretty much. I think we only chatted for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Do you guys want to know what's next? You want to know what's next? <clears throat> what's next is... Drum roll please! Omori! Omori is next. We're gonna be playing Omori. I know nothing about Omori. Um, nothing. <laughs> so I'm very excited to check it out. And, uh, try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, also, I, I also I want to show you that I'm gonna be... I also know nothing about Mori. Um, I want to watch the trailer and then also I want to show you this. The way I, the way I, I'm also going to be using this. There's a, um, there's a YouTuber model that like match the aesthetic of a Mori. And, um, I'm going to. I downloaded it. I'm gonna see if I can make it work. Um, I'm gonna make a cute little Omori model to use um, as well. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it cute? Adorable, right? It like matches the. Whoa! See, it's like super intensive. Creative. Let's do it. I think it'll be super cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Um... The goal... Oh. <coughs> Let's watch this. Everything is gonna be okay. Apparently it's a little spooky, but they cute. As its moments, yeah. Look at that! Giving Earthbound. Whoa! Oh, it's like an RPG. See, I didn't. I had no idea this is what it even was like. Whoa! The little treadmills. a little spooky. Whoa, tripping. I'm tripping balls. Oh, that's a little ghost. Ah!
I'm a little sad now. Whoa, 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 whoa! Um. Kitty! Oh. Okay. Okay, we're gonna start that next Friday. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had no, I had no idea it was even like an RPG or anything. <laughs> no idea, absolutely no idea. <clears throat> With emotions, like as your elements. Ooh, interesting. <coughs> Is DDLC vibes? Doki Doki Literature Club. Starts off cutesy and then you taste into weird shit as you go on. Oh boy. Hopefully it's not like triggering. It's not too much. It's not too, too much. Okay, who are we gonna go see? We're gonna go do a little raid. This song is too much. It's too much. Actually, maybe we don't raid because I'm so tired and it's been lunch. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. <sighs> raid and run. Okay. Oh wait, we should raid. We should raid my. Okay, someone followed me last Sunday. I think it was. Um. We have the same. We have the same model, Mama. Yeah, maybe lethal tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know if you're if you're up. Um, except she did so much more with her model than I did. Mine's, mine's very simple, but she really customized hers. It's really cute. Like a little bear. It's adorable. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go say hi to her. And. <clears throat> um, yeah, let me know if you- if you're up- me? Um, I do have plans at like 4 p.m. I- if I- I'm up for it. Uh... Go to the mall and like, get new work shoes and stuff. But, uh... Yeah, during the day I'm free. Um, uh, bum 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 bum. And I won't be gone long, even if I do. Hey, morning, Adam can join? Okay. And everything should be modded now, so it should be. Thank you for everything today, guys. <clears throat> I appreciate you so, so much. I'll see you on Sunday. We're gonna do more Abadol Questing. Um, we had our three villagers moved in. I actually also laid in bed last night with the Switch and uh, picked up all the weeds off my island, so all the weeds are gone. <laughs> I was like, I need to get this fucking shit done. <laughs> so I did it last night. Um, so uh, we are weedless, and um, we're gonna start um, early. We're gonna set the clock to like 6 a.m. I think. Um, get our turnips, and then I also want to do um, like a nighttime um, session. I want to try and catch a tarantula. Um, and maybe go on an island, try and find a scorpion or something. I think that would be fun. Um, I do some night fishing and night bug catching. Um, and then I think we can start placing home plots and do some villager hunting. So I think Animal Crossing is going to be really fun this Sunday. And, um, and I have missed playing Genshin, so maybe some Genshin. I don't know. Um, so many games, not enough time. Never enough time. Um, but I love you all. I love you all so much. Um, here are your raid messages. First one if you aren't sub. Second one if you are. I love you all so much. Thank you everybody for being here. It's such a fun stream. I'm so glad we got the game done. It was a very, very fun game. Thank you and shout out to Callan um, for recommending it to me. Um, I enjoyed it very, very much. Um, the, the, it was just, it was great. It was great. I, I don't, I don't have words for it. Um, 
it was just it was just great. It was just great. It was a great experience. It was an awesome experience. Um, yeah, I appreciate you you um, recommending it to me. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Kitty is eepy. Kitty takes anxiety pills, so Kitty um, actually goes to sleep instead of uh, only feeling eepy and not actually being eepy because of that energy drink. And we go raid new friends. Uh, scrubs online. Did I do it, it right? I said yes. Yay! Thank you, babies! I see you very soon! I love you so much! And I hope you all have a good eat and you have a good weekend. If you're seeing family or friends for Easter weekend, I hope you have a delicious meal and you have some good times with good people. Um, I love you all so much. Take care, stay safe, be kind to yourselves and everyone that you meet. You never know what someone's going through. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Mwah! And good night. Bye, 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 bye. Love you all.